And we are live. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a certain point of view here on a Sunday evening. Uh, our typical time, uh, our, no, our not typical time. Excuse I was me. like, since when? Our not since typical when is this our time? Uh, we are a couple hours early, but that is for one special reason. And we are here for Ladies Appreciation Night, the second annual Ladies Appreciation Night. Um, and for the first time, uh, it's all four of us. Last year, Molly was a guest. Uh, so it's it's a first of many and we're very excited and we have 25 incredible women to talk to tonight all in five different groups for the next four hours uh we'll be hanging out talking to them kind of schmo down non schmo down backstage stuff all that good stuff uh and i'm doing it with you three how's everybody doing stoked i'm excited i want to get this started <laughs> i need to see That's everybody fair. and see all their amazing faces that is fair that is fair <laughs> It is crazy to me to, to think back on when I was on this last year. I know. Now I'm, now I'm hosting. Yay. Yay. <laughs> yay. <laughs> yay. <laughs> yeah, just cheers ready. to that. Just, yes, very much cheers. Just ready to get this going, talk to some, some people, and uh, yeah, excited. Well, I mean, so we'll, we'll just say right off the bat, and you guys can see it on both the bottom and top. Uh, all of our donations tonight, uh, any questions you guys have, they're going straight to the Trevor Project. Uh, so if you guys want to ask any questions to all the ladies we have on, go ahead and hit the Streamlabs link. It should be pinned in the comments. If not, all of our mods will be putting those out in the chat throughout the night. Uh, and we'll be taking them uh, in, in the groups. If there are, is an influx of them, we will try our best to get to them. But we obviously have some questions uh, for them as well. So we'll... we'll be asking those on top of the Streamlabs. Uh, just keep that in mind uh, throughout the night for the next four hours. But with all that said, guys, should we just get to it? Let's bring our first Let's five do guests it. on. Um, Let's this do is, it. This is a really cool group. Uh, you know, we had two of them on last year, and now we have the trio of female managers plus two behind the stage women who are very heavily involved. And we're very excited to talk to them. So I'm gonna bring in one by one here. We have Kim Bowden, we have Courtney Luby. Kate Mulligan, Roxy Stryer, and Shannon Barney all Yay! on screen with us. What is up, what? ladies? Hello, hello. I've hello. never seen Kim Bowden. Yeah. <laughs> Kim, everybody, Kim. <laughs> Kim is yeah. very much behind the scenes. Hi, Kim. I know, Cora. Yeah. I'm a good person. I'm real. <laughs> well uh big, big thank you to all of you for joining us uh this is obviously something we've been wanting to do and we're glad to get everyone involved um and big shout out to abby Friel for hooking us up with both courtney and kim uh that's that we she is solely the reason why we were able to get in touch with you guys um but i wanted to kind of go score on the table real quick and just a base level question about you know what does it mean to be a part of the schmodown the female presence uh, your involvement since you've been in this league and kind of just how it's grown all in one. And uh, Courtney, I'll go ahead and just start with you right off the bat. Okay. So I'm Courtney. <laughs> I am the producer and I have been a part of Schmodown since Skybound was attached to it. And one of the first things I did notice was specifically like the female presence because being a female person in film, you don't see a ton of them. And then so it has meant a lot to me seeing so many and trying to push even more is more that I can, as well as just, uh, I do secretly hope any female that is competing wins. And that's kind of how I go. <laughs> 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 and Kim? Oh yeah, um, I'm the post-production coordinator for Skybound and that, I had a similar introduction to Schmodown when they were, they were brought in. Um, and I pretty much started at Skybound like right when Schmodown was brought in. So it was kind of like, it, it's like 90% of my job because <laughs> it's such a big production. Um, and yeah, I agree with Courtney. Every time there's a female competitor, I'm like, <laughs> 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 <That's true. laughs> yeah. Uh, and Miss Kate Mulligan. Yes. I was like, Molly. No, nope, Molly's not. <laughs> I'm here all night. Listen, first of all, Molly has the most perfect nose I've ever seen. I know, that's not the question. I know that's not the question that was asked, but that's the one I'm leading with. Is that, like, I was looking at her stupid face while we're waiting. 
Roxy and Harley, that's the dumbest person I've ever seen. Right? I, <laughs> yeah. I just, that person's so pretty. Yeah. Um, just, that's yeah. what the Shemel down means to me. It's beautiful women. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Um, no, uh, my introduction to the Schmodown was a couple years back. And I think that I, like Roxy and Shannon, um, have been like actually like such a lifeline for me because I feel like we sort of navigate this together. We're the, the three of us that are in the, in this particular position. And I feel like both of them have been like such mentors to me. And I feel like that really set off a sort of, uh, feeling of well-being <laughs> for me was to have these women that are like, oh, da, da, and like to talk before the draft and be like, oh, there's the, you know, it, it's, it was great to, uh, that's, I just adore sort of like women helping women. So that's been a, a great place for the Schmettan. But also I'll say something is that this has been an incredibly supportive community of men towards mm -hmm. women. I feel like we have such great fans and such great um, competitors that I've, and I, I do think it's a priority for both Mark and Christian. So I do feel like it's just, a, it's a really nice space to be in. That's my take. And also, um, Molly Davis knows this person. Roxy? I think that I, and you guys correct me if I'm wrong, I'm, I'm the woman who's been here the longest. Uh, which means that there was a time in which there was me and none of you guys. Um, so I'm just really, really fucking happy to have any other women. Uh, and that is something that wasn't always the case, even though it was important to Christian and Mark the entire time and that they wanted that to be the way that it was. But I think women didn't feel as comfortable getting involved early on or we it just wasn't who was in the circle and they were always looking out and reaching out. So I'm really stoked to just not be the only the only one um because it's really really hard it's really hard I, I, can, I can imagine i can i can completely imagine it'd be i would it'd be scary i think being not like scary but like in, kind of intimidating in a way being the only female in there among a bunch of these guys you know but i don't you, know about as much intimidating as much just like lonely and yeah, that's a good, that's a good that's a good way to put it. Yeah, but definitely not intimidating. I'm just really really happy. Um, you know, the production team is freaking phenomenal. Uh, yes. But I very closely work with the ladies to my left and right. And um, as much as I can't stand either one of them, I just love them a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very that's lucky. Fair. That's fair. <laughs> Got to keep a little character in here. Got to keep a little, <laughs> a little bit. Uh, and Shannon Barney. Thanks, Roxy. Um, no, you guys, I think everyone knows how I got involved. It's all Mike's fault. I've said it from the very beginning. Um, but it's, you know, this is a, a small pool of, of women and we are tiny but mighty. And it's fun to be a part of an organization that uh, that shines a light on that and, and encourages it. You know, um, we could be silenced and be shrinking violets in the corner, but um, everyone on the team encourages us to be our loudest, most... Mm -hmm you know, character, character, honest selves possible. And, uh, you know, the women that are involved in this support each other 110% behind the scenes, no matter how much we go, you know, in front of the camera and, and are just totally nasty to each other. There's, there's a true camaraderie and, and a true, uh, friendship between the women of this league. And like I said, small, but mighty and, and we all stick together. So that's, that's what I love about it. Uh, Jill, I'll direct it to you next. Yeah. So um, for managers, this is so, Roxy. Like you said, you've been here pretty much since the beginning. Um, Shannon and Kate, you've been here. This is like your, your second seasons as managers. Um, so what brings, what Wait, keeps is that bringing. true, Shannon? Have you been a manager only as long as I have? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You and I started. Wow, you're so much better than <laughs> <laughs> Like, the first thing you do is win the faction championship. <laughs> She's been managing Mike for a long time, though. That's like, true. Yeah, true. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is like I was just sure she had been like a ride or die from the. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> this no. All right, all right, Jill, back to your <laughs> That's that was perfect. That's fine. So, what as managers, what keeps bringing you back to the schmodown? And Kim and Courtney, what makes you excited to continue your schmodown journey? Um, I'll go in the reverse. Shannon, I'll start with you. What keeps me hanging around? 
Yeah, it's just a sick addiction that we can't quit. I don't know. I mean, that's the basic, like the most basic way to put it. It's it's so frustrating and so time consuming and so challenging. And uh, you know, maybe we're maybe we're all like masochists or something. I don't know. But um, it's it's it, it is it's community. It's the people involved that keep you coming back uh, because the work itself is really really hard, as Roxy said, and, and especially when she was like the only one. Even though we have like a nice community of women, it's still really really hard. Um, and, and it's a lot of work and it's, it's like a second full-time job, but the people that we met along the way, I mean, honestly, as cheesy as it sounds, it's the people that keep you, they keep you coming back. Roxy. Um, also shout out to Jen and Fife, cause I'm sure they'll be shouted out a lot of times on the stream today, but yeah, you know, I, I wasn't the only one because of them, but it definitely was a lot less. Um, I, I just really, really care a lot about my faction. Uh, that that's what keeps me coming back. Like I love them all so much. And honestly, like it's really hard when you're not winning to stay super hyper-focused and to really give a shit about every single person. And I do. Um, and like, I just want to be in all of their lives forever. I really, really love them and care about them. So I think that especially right now where it's been a really tough go for the stars, that's the thing that keeps me going is that I just, I really, I, I don't want to fail them at any point and I feel really committed to them. I love that. I love that. Kate. Um, my answer is going to seem very negative, but uh, I mean it to be positive. Let's hear it. Let's um, hear it. I have nothing better to do. <laughs> Which hear me out. Hear me out. <laughs> Which is to say I have nothing better to do that dot, 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 is as fulfilling, it keeps me sort of involved with people that I care about. None of us are doing it for the money. Is anybody here doing it for the money? Because you have a really sad life. Anybody? No. no. Um, it's, we're, we're doing it because, like, there's something about this that we love. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I can never tell if my person's winning or not because I don't know the answers myself. But there's just something about, like, the, the ups and downs of the matches and, like, how people get invested and, like, how do I talk, like, how, how do I help Paul Preston get to the other side? And like, there's just something that's so engaging about it all. And I think, listen, if you told me like, you're going to, you're going to be on a TV show and your TV show is going to be, uh, it's going to have as great of people and it's going to, you're going to be engaged and it, then I'd be like, okay, I don't have time for Shimoda anymore. But the truth is like, I don't think you get this kind of community. You get this kind of love and support and, engagement on any any at any other place so i think i keep coming back because there's it's like the best it's there's i have nothing better and it gives me it's you know christian plucked me out of obscurity of motherhood of me just being like well i guess that that part of my personality is gone forever i get part of my life shoved down forever i'm just a mom now and he like plucked me out and he's like well how about this thing could you do, and i you know i i absolutely love it so that's why it was negative, but a positive negative. <laughs> the perfect Kate answer. It was a couple bit negative. You know what I mean? It's a negative and a positive. <laughs> yes. Um, I kind of forget the question at this point. <laughs> so, but, so, what, what would, what, what's going to keep bringing you back to the Shmoda? What makes you excited about being a part well, of the Shmoda? It's my job. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, I am just super excited to be able to be a part of something that's so huge and to have like a pretty big impact on it. And I mean, nobody, literally nobody sees what I do, but, um, uh, for me, it's like, I'm just excited about making it like look better and be a better show every single time. And, um, like, you know, getting, being able to, we recently hired Abby Friel as uh, mm -hmm. one of our editors, which is great. And we're trying to bring in more women editors. So like anywhere I can do that, if anybody's an editor that wants to work for me, um, let me know. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's just like, I really like working with like the crew that we have and like working alongside Courtney and, and like getting to just kind of like, uh, just build, build out like a, a stronger, better team is, is what's really fun. And, and, uh, Hopefully, the fans can see that we're we're really trying our our very best to make this a really cool show and have it look awesome. And yeah, oh, we 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 can tell. We can I'd see say it. it's working. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, we yeah. can see it. <laughs> Courtney, 
Yeah, along with that, even though this is my job, I did have the yeah. option to not be on it, and I really pushed towards being on it. So, uh, and the reason is be is because even though I am not a huge movie person, I'm not a huge trivia person at all. The thing that I really saw in Schmodown was the community itself, and the biggest thing with me is community like my favorite movie is rocky horror picture show not because it's a fantastic movie it's because of the entire community around it and i see that so much in schmodown that i just appreciated it and as soon as i went to the, like the new york live event i worked it and i saw everyone and how passionate they were towards this i was like okay this is something that I understand even though I don't like movies or trivia, but this this is something special. And that's what's gonna keep me coming back to it. Perfect. I and I can I can relate to that so so much because I I can maybe get two points in a regular singles trivia match. Maybe if I'm lucky. But it's the people in the community that keep bring me back and make me watch every single episode. I, if I get three points, I'm happy. But it's definitely, I agree with all of you, it's definitely the community that is just, there's nothing can compare, in my opinion, to the community that the Schmodown has built. For well, sure. I mean, look, look at look at what, what's happening right now, right? Exactly. Because how the community is sharing and supporting and being here for this specifically, but on top of all the stuff that happens here. And it brought us together and it's bringing this entire stream together and everybody, it's, it's pretty crazy. The people that we've yeah. talked to from around, the, not just the country, but the world, uh, it is very, very special. Mm -hmm. Did you know, I did a little math before this on community. We alone in fundraisers, just this community, not us, just different fundraisers that we've done throughout the thing has raised over almost over a hundred thousand dollars for, wow. for any type of donations through streams, whether it's the smash -a -thon or Goddard's uh, Twitch stream. Uh, it's, if you add it up, it's almost over a hundred thousand dollars just That's, from this community. Wow. That's insane. That's so freaking cool. So That's it's so just cool. incredible to think that. That's so cool. Yeah. How uh, did you calculate that? I know. <laughs> just, <laughs> just from just from all the streams that I, you know, have seen through Twitter that people are doing, uh, and Twitch, a lot of people promote their stuff through the Twitter that gets retweeted and just seeing like I know Goddard when he did his was about twelve thousand dollars. Smets through smash uh, his smashathon was fifty five thousand dollars. I mean, just adding but those Brian, together. But Brian, yeah. do you know? Um, do you know how much of that I embezzled? <laughs> <laughs> that is the question. I could not figure that out. So <laughs> that's that's why you're good at doing that, though. Nobody yeah, knows. <laughs> JK, guys. JK. <laughs> I was like, we need to have a talk later, Kate. <laughs> I mean, that officially lives on the internet now, so you can't really take I that I know. Back. You can't take it back. <laughs> I also can't take me dressed up as my dad back, so I don't know what to do. <laughs> you think me pretending I invest with money is the worst thing ever? I mean, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brian, I'm going to go to you next, but I do want to read just two comments that we got real quick before it. this one disappears specifically. This one came from Thomas here. Uh, all the women are proof that we don't need a woman's league. So there you go. Thank you, Thomas, for that. Much appreciated. And then we also got a stream labs from Billy. And he says, no questions. so weird just... to have a women's league. Oh, my God. Right? Yeah. No. That, that would be awful. bizarre. Was that a pitch? <laughs> no. <laughs> back, <laughs> back when... Um, uh, who was it? The Shire it was Wolves. One Clark point. and Rachel. They were like, "We don't need a women's league. We are the league." And it was so. Yeah, it, yeah we don't. We don't need a women's league. Women are the league, hands down. Mm. Uh, we got one more from Billy here. Said, "No question. Just wanted to say I appreciate all the ladies and what they do, whether they know it or or not. They are rock stars." Hashtag View Crew. Thank you, Billy. Much appreciated. Uh, Brian, you're up next. Yeah. So I would just like to know. If, uh, for those of you that have seen it grow over the years, how does it feel to see that every single year more and more women are getting either involved in it or just viewership wise? Um, I mean, we've seen a steady growth every single year. How does uh, that feel to see? I mean, something that you wouldn't think, oh, movie trivia, you know, 
and then it, all of a sudden now we're bringing in so many people to this area. Roxy, that's all you, sister. Go. Yeah. <laughs> Brian, great question, Brian. I love that because it's the main point. I just wanted more. And so yeah. <laughs> I just wanted more the whole time. Uh, and so we're going to continue to get that. I, I think that there's something about growing up as a woman that makes you think that you're supposed to take a backseat and about the schmodown saying that you don't have to take a backseat because you watch as many movies or as, are as smart, uh, which is why I was laughing at the idea of a women's league as if like this was some kind of fucking basketball game where people are taller or something. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. We, we all have the, the same brains of anything. Sorry, but women's brains are much better. Um, don't quote me on that. <laughs> Clip no, that out. Put her, uh, <laughs> put her on it. But, you know, I, I just think that it's really exciting. Uh, even last year, the only woman that I had on my team was Stacy. Um, and I can't say enough good things about Stacy. I never can say a single bad thing about Stacy. I, I love her so freaking much. But this year, being able to have Christina and Janine and Brittany Young. And that was not by like, oh, I need to draft women to my team. That was just like, let me take the best players on the board at the time that I have the board. That's pretty cool. That just shows you just on one faction what it can look like from one year to the next. And um, I'm, I'm pretty excited that that's where the league's going. Whoever would like to field it next, Shannon. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think I think seeing more women compete and seeing, you know, women in our, our management positions and even seeing women in the crew side and on the reactor side and the streamer side and all that stuff. I think it makes women feel more comfortable to, to what I think women want to be a part of it, but maybe in the earlier days, like this is like a fucking frat house and I don't want to <laughs> yes, be like the one was. sorority sister, like all up in this jump. But now I think seeing women, on screen and knowing that women are working off screen might make other women more comfortable going, okay, you know what? I know my shit. I know, I know stuff about movie trivia. Let me throw my hat in the ring. And the fact that we've opened it up to more people, um, you know, it can be a double-edged sword, but we've got some really high quality women in the league because of it. Like in the star Wars division with like Lacey, for example, do you know what I mean? There, there's women coming from all around now that are being welcomed into the sphere. And I think that's really cool to see. Yeah, I agree. Because I mean, some of the most fierce matches so far have been female driven matches. I mean, mm -hmm. the one that immediately comes to mind is uh, Marisol and Janine. That yes. was mm -hmm. an absolute juggernaut of a match. Mm -hmm. And you got two, two top female competitors right there going against each other. Mm -hmm. Just two top competitors. And, yeah, exactly. exactly. And yeah. honestly, like, I think that's my favorite match that's ever been played, which is. It's a, up there for me. A too. Strange thing to say yeah. when you're sitting on my side of where I'm sitting on it, but I bet. it was so, it was the best. Um, and behind the scenes, I mean, all oh, four of us were sobbing. Jen was oh. sobbing. Um, it was, a, it was a, it was a estrogen ridden mess. It was beautiful. <laughs> like, we were, we were all like, couldn't even formulate full sentences. It was it was amazing to, to be a part of that and to see what happened once the camera stopped rolling between all of us. Is, yeah, that's a memory that won't go away for sure. There's no crying in Shimoda. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do know one movie. There you go. Oh, yeah. Look at you. <laughs> Now with a league Listen of their own. You. I know it too. I just want everybody. To <laughs> yeah, Rex. Manager um, bowl. Manager bowl. Maybe are we getting oh another? Um, oh, no, of no. three of us, there's no question. Shannon wins. Yeah. Oh, no. Three of us. Sure. Shannon's like no. <laughs> no, that's, yeah, sadly that's true. Shannon, you would definitely kick our asses. There's no no chance. No chance. If by like getting two points means I'd kick your ass. Yes. yes. That's really low. <laughs> Yeah. That that is what that the means. bar is so low. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you just honestly, you it's like one of you just have to put your name correctly on the top of the SAT. That's like that is like what you have like to be against. Like just write your name. That's okay. like all you have to yeah. do. Um, I feel like I feel like I don't think our women viewership is up where I would like it, is what I would say in response to that question. I do love how many women are in the league. Um, but I don't, I still don't feel like we get as many like of, I don't know, like, look, let's look at this chat. 
of the women that are here. Oh, my Peggy's here. Hi. <laughs> um, my well, Janine women... and my Christina are here. I top you, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> We're counting. <laughs> like sitting in here, like the women that are here for the most part are in the league with us. There are women that are competing. And I would love to see, um, I would love to see, like Paige is here. Hi, Paige. And, and Brandy, obviously, you know, Brandy was, but anyway, I guess what I'm saying is like, I feel like the, um, oh, Jess is here too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got two now too. <laughs> Shannon, where, where are your people? They're all in the waiting room waiting to come on the show. So <laughs> Shady. Uh, Katie, are you trying to say that you think that Brian and Jake should stop watching? <laughs> Just <cry>. yes, mm. <laughs> Brian, Jake, Brian, 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 Jake, Brian, Brian, Jake, you can't watch anyone. Else. No, um, oh, look at Ben Goddard. Why, why is your voice get this high, Kate? Why is your voice this high? <laughs> other lady on the team. <laughs> oh my god. Jenny Jean, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, no, she's not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she she's meant it. <laughs> anyway, I, I would say like I would love to see female viewership go up still, mm -hmm. and I think that probably having women in the league helps. Like having way more women in the league helps, but I do feel like. Um, I, I still wish that like when we get to a chat, it wouldn't just be our women holding it down. I wish there was, you know, a lot more. So I feel like we have a ways to go with that because I don't know if women like I don't know if there's like I don't know how to reach like where are the nerdy women? Let's like, come on. Where are the women like out there that like, you know, where are the Lacey Gillerans? Where are like where are they? Come watch. Come see what we got for you. Anyway, that's my that's that's I don't I don't disagree. I don't disagree at all. It, it's and and I as a as a female viewer, I started watching because of Clark Wolf, Rachel Cushing, Roxy. They're the reasons why I started watching. It's like, oh, look at these badass female competitors like kicking butt amongst all these these men and this movie trivia thing that I have no idea about. I'm happy when someone spins a Disney slice because that's all I know, and it's and that's why I got into it. So, and I think that there is definitely more progression because we are getting more females involved and behind the scenes in front of the camera. So that's definitely a big way to get more female viewership. I'm sure there's, well, we can brainstorm one day and we can come up with a whole bunch of different ideas to try and get that viewership up. But it's, it's definitely, it's, it's slow but steady. I think it's getting better. By the way, Brian, Jake, I was just kidding. Uh, you guys, Brian, Jake, not kidding. No more, Jake. I mean, <laughs> look, look I, I, I'm not saying I'm going to listen, but I'd say I'd have a hell of a lot more free time if I wasn't watching. <laughs> Jake, we'll just oh, no. the den matches. We just have to skip from now. On. <laughs> That's right, Brian. That's right. <laughs> no, I want all of the men. All of the men that are here are welcome too. I'm just saying, I wish that the that the women viewership could meet the men's numbers because I think I love our men fans. I love them, love them. So supportive. I agree. I agree. Oh, and Jess Schlotz, um grandmother watches now. And that does Yay. Oh. There we go. <laughs> That's so fun. That's <laughs> awesome. Uh, Kim or Courtney, what do you I mean, from the short time you've been here, how how have you seen maybe female viewership kind of grow in the short, short time you've been here? Um, Kim, I'll go first. Uh, so I, when you first asked, I was like, I definitely don't qualify to answer this because I haven't been around as much as long. But um, I mean, the the only thing I can really say about it is that I'm very excited to see more women get to like closer to championships and like seeing those big matches are really exciting for me. And I just want to see more of that. Um, in terms of viewership, if anyone works in advertising and they have any ideas of how we can raise those numbers, we will gladly take those tips. We'll just we'll just send all of our targeted ads just to women, and it'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. so, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I've I've only started like when my real involvement in Chimodan was like at the beginning of the pandemic. So as soon as we went digital, like I, I never went to live live taping or anything like that. So I've not, I really wish I could have been there. Um, and I'm excited to see that come back. But um, 
like during this like digital time, it's been it's been just really interesting to see like um like when when like Beth May uh <laughs> submitted like on Facebook her uh um audition tape for the free free uh not free agency free whatever it's called sorry um yeah, yeah, I was like, so whatever. excited because I was like this is a such a fun character I don't care if she doesn't know anything about trivia but I was I was like <laughs> messaging Christian I was like I really hope I see this and like I, I don't know uh like th seeing things like that were just like so exciting and I, I just want to see a lot more of like these interesting uh fun characters come in because that's like my favorite thing is uh just seeing all like the different um like types of types of women that that are coming in and just like mm -hmm. having such a blast with like you know kind of like poking fun at the <laughs> at <all> women. <laughs> I mean, um and like i see all the promo videos that come in and, and for a while it was like men were sitting in like shirtless promos and then and then all of a sudden kate sends in one where she's like in a bath type and i was like this is so funny <laughs> because for like a while we were consistently getting men like in the shower sending us their promo videos so i was like <laughs> <laughs> it was just fun to see like people uh, like like poking fun at that, and I I want to see a lot more of that like energy because it's it's what makes me laugh so much. Uh, can I can I, can I tell you? Yeah. No, actually, don't do that again. But <laughs> <laughs> can I tell you guys a promo idea that I had last season that got shot down like dead in the water oh, immediately? No. Yeah, <laughs> because all yes. of the guys were doing shirtless promos, and I was like, how funny would it be? if I shoot a promo and it's like very, like it's, it's a tight shot. And then as we zoom out, like I'm not actually topless, but it looks like I'm topless and everything's just pixelated. And I just like, act like <laughs> absolutely not. And, and Christian was like, that is so fucking hilarious. But Shannon, there's no way in hell I can let you do that. And I'm like, Christian, why not? I'm like, it was at the height of all the guys doing their shirtless promos. And I, I was like, it would be so funny. It would be amazing. He's like, the crap I would get, the comments that would come in about like sexualization and all that stuff. I said, but it's me. It's my idea. I want to do it. And he's like, I think it's funny, but I can't let you do it. So I never got a chance to make fun of all the guys I doing that. And it would have been so good. Together. I think that's the real part <laughs> And put it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, jump, I'll jump on your bandwagon. I will make sure all joke credit goes to you. But I, I'm not, not opposed to it. One topless lady, three. Yeah. They were like, Nick, if you stand really still under the edit, I don't know if it was Dwayne or if it was um, someone else that was working, but they were like, or maybe it was Eric Rodriguez. I don't know who it was, but I was like, would it be possible to pixelate it? Like, if I'm just wearing like a tank top, you and they're like, well, you'd have to like stand really, really still. And mm -hmm. then it never happened. So. Oh, okay. Well, Next cool. year's uh, ladies' appreciation stream—it's just going to be all of us topless. <laughs> there we Jesus. go. There we go. <laughs> We're trying to increase women viewership. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Although, hey, that might work. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> I'd tune in. <laughs> um, all right, so we do have about five minutes left with this group, and I have a bunch of streamlabs to get through real quick. I want to make sure I get all these off with you with you here. Um, the first one here is from Michael K. And he says, "Don't know how long I can stay tonight, but I want to throw some love to the ladies for the Shmoda community. You guys, have, you girls, have been a, a crucial part in taking the league to the next level. And I look forward to what lies ahead for the future." Um, and then Paige for Betty, I love all the Shmoda ladies. Thank you, Paige. Much appreciated. Uh, and then Farrell here, uh, question for Kate. Do you have nightmares about your children growing up to be Finstock Exchange? <laughs> it's so funny. Kaiser, every time he sees my son, Neil, he's like, you still got that? You still got that contract to come over? To that <laughs> and I'm like, I, I honestly, I just, I have nightmares about my children growing up. So, sure. I mean, you know, that would, <laughs> it would be like, honestly, there's that thing, like your parents would be like, okay, uh, like you can do anything you want, but like, you know, no skydiving. Like my no skydiving is no Finstock exchange. No <laughs> it's it's hard. Hard. I'll throw you out of a plane before I let you join that one. <laughs> uh, next one's from Kyle Beckworth. And he says, how about Marisol McKee? Sings champ in two more matches. Keep up the great work, managers, and behind the camera team, loving the season. Thank you, Kyle. Um, next one's from Daniel. Just happy to be here. Much respect to all these women involved in the showdown. The community will always be the best community. Is there any particular women that Roxy, Shannon, and Kate look up to when managing their factions? Oh, that's a great question. 
Kate, you want to start? Kate? Yeah, I look up to Roxy and Shannon. Honest to God, that's not just, and I don't, I don't want either of them to say me because there's no way that's the truth. But <laughs> honestly, I feel like I everything. I, I like last year I was trying out a character and like knowing, like then seeing like, oh no, you could actually like really get through to your players. You can like actually really be there for them. I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to drop, like, we're going to drop the shtick. And uh, just seeing the way that they support their players, I was like, I have to do more of that. I have to really, you know, be boots on the ground for them. So yeah, it's for me, it's Shannon and Roxy, hands down. Roxy? Uh, anybody but Tom, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> he is, I stand by the fact that he is the worst manager I've ever seen in my life. It's unbelievable. This, uh, this is slowly becoming the Tom Dagnino roast, real quick. <laughs> so, so is every text I've ever sent him. I talk about him to him the way I talk about him everywhere else. He, he I will give him this. He is a trooper for handling the, the amount of crap that I talk about him. Uh, <laughs> I started with definitely Fife. I mean, I think she was the first to have study sessions. And that was like a, a novel concept at the time because studying for a, a like trivia league that started as a more casual people are drinking beers and answering questions, actually like spending time studying for that was so foreign to a lot of people. So I think that definitely she deserves a lot of credit for what the modern day manager looks like. Um, and then really, uh, I do, I do think that the women managers in the league trump the men managers in the league, just in general. Um, Shannon is like my arch nemesis there, but she's a phenomenal manager. Otherwise I, I wouldn't not be able to stand her so much. So it's, she's really good at what she does and we have completely different tactics and um, I, I think that definitely all of us can learn from each other and, and we are still continuing to learn from each other as this looks different than it ever looked before. I also have to give a lot of credit to Winston who I don't think gets the credit that he deserves as a manager. He is a phenom manager. He's really good. He really cares about his players. And I, I saw in the Facebook group today, there's a list of the best managers, um, like the Mount Rushmore managers or whatever. And uh, I think people forget what he, because this season, both he and I are not coming out on top right now. Uh, I think people forget that he is just like so, so ridiculously committed. So I think he's pretty incredible as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to not echo um, a lot of what Roxy said there because, you know, Emma started taking, you know, Clark and Rachel and, and doing the study thing. And it was it was really the girls just going over to someone's place, having wine and, and relaxing and, and studying their movies. And like Rox, everyone was doing it, you know, drinking their beers and having their fun while we were all in studio together. And this was before I was even a part of it, but she really took it upon herself to go the extra mile for those women. And I feel like nowadays, like you can't not study. You can't not have study sessions. You can't not be there for your fat. You know what I mean? Like even last season, like, the work we put in and the amount of time that I spend online with these people days, weeks, months before a friggin' match or, you know, I mean, I we're in study sessions and I think Roxy can attest to this. I think that Kate can, I think every manager now can attest to this. We're in study sessions almost every single night, almost every night. And it's, it's pulling from a little bit of everyone. I come in and do my own thing just cause I, I like to, but you can't, I don't know what I'm doing without seeing Roxy on screen. I don't know what I'm doing without seeing Emma Fife. I don't know what I'm doing without watching Winston or seeing some of the competitors like Roca come in and talk or, you know what I mean? Or listening to Ben and all his strategizing. Like, I don't know how to do any of that without watching them do it for me. I don't know how to perform and be obnoxious like Mike, unless I watch him do it. So everything that I'm learning and everything that I try is because other people have, I don't want to say other people have done it. I'm just copying their work. That's not true. I like to put my own spin on things, but you gotta, you gotta have inspiration from somewhere. And I don't think I could, I couldn't point to a singular person who like is my motivation or is my inspiration. It's really just seeing everyone working together and, and building off of each other. I think between, as far as managers are concerned, I think the fact that like the three of us can text each other right after a match and just like 
say, hey, we're, we're you know, we're right before match. We're going in on you. Like, I'm going to totally rip you apart. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> like, let's go do it. And then when it's over, it's just like, that was so awesome. Like, well done. And it's, I don't, I mean, I don't even think I'm answering the question now, but I'm just rambling. But that's good. It's, it's, good. it's pulling from everyone. It's, you no, know, it's, Shannon it's, a, did, it's a group effort. You did the best, the, my number one favorite behind the scenes thing that's ever happened in the Schmodown ever. Um, I don't know if anybody knows this. I also don't she know that I'm allowed to say this. What? I said she slept with Mike. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that actually helped me a lot too because we hosted a show together and it made him a lot cooler and chiller. So I, I, I <laughs> one as well. But um, I, I don't know that I'm allowed to say this, but I'm going to say it anyway because uh, whatever. Shannon sent out when Shannon joined the league. Shannon, Shannon sent out the smartest email I have ever seen sent out by somebody coming into the league which was essentially, here's what my plan is as a manager. Here's what I'm intending on doing to you. Here's like how, how aggressive I'm going to be, how um, uh, abrasive I'm going to be, which are two words I use to describe myself all the time. And if you have an issue with that, let me know. And no problem, and then that will be fine. Um, but I just wanna let you guys know what my intention is to across the board. And if that doesn't work for you, then let me know. So that what are your I, boundaries? Yeah, what are your boundaries? Yeah. boundaries? Yeah. Um, and I was like, fuck, this girl's gonna be so good. Um, <laughs> yeah, and then she wins the faction champion. And then <laughs> it was the best way to come in saying, like, this is what I'm gonna do. And if if you can't hang with that, no worries. Just let me know. And then I was like, Oh, I can hang. I can hang, Shannon. <laughs> I yes, can you can. <laughs> um, and so that was so fun for me, but also I just think was a really, really smart move that mm -hmm. I hadn't seen done yet because none of us were um, communicating how we were, what we were thinking. And she just kind of laid it all out. And I was like, oh yeah, the bar is definitely raising every year on this. That's awesome. <laughs> That's so uh, cool. All right, well, yeah. <laughs> before we wrap up, uh, final Streamlabs here. One super chat from Mr. Tim Sim. Uh, just got here after seeing Cloud9 getting a uh, much needed win in the LCS. Glad to see this continuing this year. The women, as always, play a pivotal role. You are correct, sir. Um, our next one comes from, let's see, PJ. Mr. PJ, just wanted to give so much love to Courtney and Kim for all the hard work they put in behind the scenes over the last two, two and a half years. Yes. Uh, working with you two has been an absolute blast. Oh, and I like the rest of you on screen, too. And then a uh, final one here from PC. I'm here, Kate, but can't even get the men in my life to watch the show now. Let's go, Den. So there you go. Queen C, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love her. Um, well, Jill, Molly, Brian, any final questions, comments before we let these ladies uh, move on? Do we move on with the show? Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll wrap it up real quick. Just and uh, asking all of you, like, what would you say to someone who's interested in getting, like being a part of the Schmodown, whether it be behind the scenes or doing the actual trivia part, other than making money, because we know that that's not a part of it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Molly, do you mean that women was so specifically much women? The way I said it. <laughs> <laughs> Molly, do you mean girls or do you mean anybody? Anybody, but yeah, if you have yeah. a specific advice for women, sure. I would say that it's, you know, I think that it's, it's a, it's something that you have very little control over, you know, like, and so if you're somebody that really does well in a situation where you can control the outcome, this would not be for you because the internet can go out or you can get a five pointer on the one movie you've never seen. And so like, you have to really be like, you have to just sort of be like, I'm here because there's like a great community, but all, and I, and this is something I'm passionate about. This is something I love to do. Um, but I have to also just know that like, there's, there is a tremendous amount of luck involved in this. And if luck is something that like, personally, I would be a horrible competitor because like, I always just felt like when I was like a runner, I'm like, I'm going to run as fast as I can. And my fast is going to be fast enough. And like, you can be the smartest person in, on the, like, Janine and Marisol, like having to go against each other. It's like, how do you find a winner in that? Like, they're both the smartest, win like both the smartest people. So to me, I feel like if you are somebody who doesn't like, doesn't love that there's an element of luck in something, 
it's not, it's probably not for you because you can study all you need and you can be winning the whole match. And all it takes is you to know a five, not to know your five pointer and someone else to know it and you're done. So I think that is, that's something that I would say is somebody that's looking to get into it. Like, I hope you have a good relationship with Locke. Yeah. <laughs> I would say, I would say get balls of steel like Roxy Stryer. Um, Good advice. Toughen, your, toughen yourself up uh, because no matter how great you are or how bad you are, we're all human beings. We want to be liked. We want to be appreciated for what we do. And that doesn't always um, get conveyed in this show, whether it's from a, a character assassination <laughs> or people don't understand the fact that you're not who, you, you know, that you're a different person on screen. And for a lot of people, like, especially now, I know a lot of, especially I can speak for my faction, we don't have a lot of huge characters. We have a lot of people who are just elevated personalities of themselves. Um, and not everyone is, an entertainer not everyone was made to be on camera or is comfortable on camera so you have to come in with the expectation of knowing your comfort level and then you have to arm yourself with just like i don't know like those golden wonder woman wings like you, you got to shield yourself and you got to protect your your sanity because people will rip you apart every single day every single day uh, they'll do it because they hate you. They'll do it because they love you. They will make unfair comparisons for one person. They'll make they'll make justifications for one of one person and then excuses for you know what I mean. So you you can't win even when you're winning. You can't win when you're losing. Uh, you just got to come in and and you got to commit to it because these people these competitors are crazy. Um, and and the managers are all stepping up their games and we're becoming I think more committed than managers had ever been in the past. Um, like Roxy said, we live for these factions and we and we do everything for them. We're their we're their coaches, we're their managers, we're their therapists, we're their study buddies. Like we do everything now. And if you're coming in this, whether you want to compete or manage, uh, just Toughen up that skin because people are unfiltered. <laughs> so get balls to steal like Roxy. She handles yeah. it better than anyone I've ever, I've ever met in my life. Ever. <laughs> the, the, it's so funny, Shannon, because like the balls of steel thing. I remember um, for weeks being called a domestic abuser after I hit Ben in the face and everybody was calling me a domestic abuser. Uh, they were tweeting at me. They were commenting on the video. They're in my DMs. God. And um, talk about different people get different reactions for different things. I, I mean, that's that's because I have a vagina. That's what happened there. I mean, there's just no other way to say it. And yeah. it was something that obviously, like, had been discussed on both sides, whatever mm -hmm. it was. Uh, so any woman coming into the league, I always tell them, like, <laughs> that's what happens. So if you don't, if you want to avoid that, then you have to avoid the internet. That's not just the schmodown, that's the internet, uh, which is yeah. a place that I live very often. And then when, in terms of actually just coming to the league, anybody's advice, I am I am in this industry, so I'm meeting people all the time. And anytime I tell anybody about the schmodown, everybody says, I wanna get involved. I love movies. I know so much about movie trivia. I wanna get involved. And everybody wants to get involved, but nobody wants to put in the work. And so it, it's kind of pointless at this point if you want to get involved, but you don't have interest in, in actually getting involved, which means yeah. going back and watching all of the episodes and getting to know your fellow competitors and being a support system for your faction mates and writing mock matches for everybody and helping figure out who the team wants to bring on during free agency and studying your face off when you're by yourself or when you're with your team. So if that's not of interest to you, you don't actually want to get involved and you should go to a bar and do trivia. 100%. Well said. Well yeah. said. Got to put it got to put in the work and if you want to be a part of it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh Cor Courtney or Kim from your side, uh, is there anything any kind of advice? Yeah. The only thing that I would really say is if you're passionate about this, if you're truly and honest to God passionate about this, you will find a way to get yourself in. Mm -hmm. We saw a lot of people uh submit their like resume and videos for the draft and like so few people actually were able to like get in because there's so many but like if you have the trivia aspect and you don't have the personality or the on-camera stuff you know that you need to work towards like getting better to be on camera or work on your character some more but if you're a really good character and you don't have enough knowledge in trivia you have to work towards it you have to be a full package and it's very difficult 
to be all of it at once. But if you just keep working, if you're truly passionate, you will find a way to elevate yourself and get in. Yeah, and even from like a true like behind the scenes perspective, um, like this is one of the most fast paced jobs I've ever worked. It is not an easy job by any means. And uh, it's, it's just like all about like working with like the most amazing team and all of that. But uh, yeah, it's the whole, the whole system of Shimona is not for the faint of heart at all. Um, so that's all I have to say about that. <laughs> it should so definitely come with like a warning, like bef like roller coasters. Like if you're somebody who experiences heart palpitations, is <laughs> Just, or like, don't. do not get on this ride. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, ladies, while we wrap this group up, I just want to send a big thank you to all of you uh, for the hard work you guys do, both behind scenes and in front of the camera. Um, it was awesome to get to talk to all of you all at once and kind of get your perspective on everything. And I hope everyone watching enjoyed it just as much as I did. Um, you, you all work so hard. And I know as a fan, not just as the after show part, but as a fan, it really pays off. And uh, the product is is there every single time. So thank you, guys. Thank you guys for having yeah. us. Thank you so much. And Jake, you. Jake, we did have one uh, super chat for our stream. Yeah, super chat from Will. Super chat oh, from there Will. We go. All right, we'll quickly, quickly gotta, here. Gotta get Will Time to roll through and show support to all these awesome ladies. And us. Kate, your humor, Roxy, your heart, and Shannon, your sass. There you go. <laughs> yes. Yeah. But. Thank all you right. all so much for coming. I that is ass. I'm not going <laughs> to. <laughs> I was like, I know. <laughs> I love you guys. Yeah. Well, thank you guys again, and uh, have a great night, everybody. Thank, thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night, you guys. Thank you. All right. Woo. First group out of the way, I do want to say quickly, uh, to all, all of our uh, incoming guests, we are running a few minutes behind, so we will wait for all of them to filter in. Um, incredible group. Such good insight from all of them. I'm really glad we got mm -hmm. to talk to both Kim and Courtney as well. Yes. Uh, that's awesome. And so while we wait for the the, the next couple to filter in, uh, the Shimonown always begins with one thing. Each match always begins with one single thing. It gets you hyped up for about what you're about to watch, right? No. So Mr. Nerd Chronic has no. gifted us one more time. <laughs> Get is. your tissues out. Oh, Here God. Is this no, year's version. not. Ladies of Shimona. Eric! God. You know, oh, there should be a women's league. There's no women's league. Yeah. There's no women's league. We are the league. We're in the league. And we're the winners right now. I am from my future, never knew what I was meant for. Scared to take a step, cause if I left, then it would mean more. If I go to battle, will I make it back? And if I never do, will I wish I had? I'm, I'm proud of it. I'm proud that we're both two amazing women, but today and the skill on display today has nothing to do with the fact that we're women. These are just two elite competitors playing today and going to the wire, period. Yay. Can we talk about all the new additions that I we know have there's so video? many. There's, there's so it. many new additions yeah. and that makes me so freaking hyped. That yeah. uh Eric, you've done it again, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible stuff. Uh Nerd Chronic, you are the best. Thank you so much for that. Greatly appreciated, sir. I'm sure everyone watching is also loving that as well. So Every year, just adding more and more to that Austin Pro world. <laughs> yeah. Man. It is very, very true. Um, all right. Well, we do need to get the show moving. And while we are still waiting for one guest to arrive, let's go ahead and bring in a three waiting in the waiting room right now. We have a really cool group here. 
uh, three amazing ladies who have been at this for, they've been doing this for a little while. The three of them have been doing this for a little while. So let's bring them in. We have Liz, Liz Shannon, Shannon Miller, Miller, Video Drew, Video Drew and, and Casey Casey Power. Power. How's everybody, How's everybody doing? Okay. Cheers. 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 If someone if someone might be playing stream, stream in the background, uh, I'm I'm not I'm not wearing headphones. That might that be might be why. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. All right, yeah. here I'll go on mute and see if that helps. Okay, yeah, because I just went on mute yep. and it was still there. Oh, so, there, yeah. we there we go. That is it, yeah. Okay. Right. I'll, be right, I'll be right back then. You guys <laughs> no worries. Worries. You you stop, 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 stop. Go. There we go. <laughs> well, video <laughs> guru, Stacy, welcome. welcome. Hello. Hey. Hello. Um, thank thank you, ladies, so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for thank having you. us. I mean, my background is not as cool as uh as video drews <laughs> I, I i i lack the uh stripes behind me in beetlejuice vibe and i regret that all i'm bringing is my rose and which i just almost Girl. built <laughs> uh, team can we get a can we get a team rose yes team cheers rose, team rose, rose yes, all day yes. listen it's officially summer this is the drink of summer uh you, you know i couldn't help myself but but uh, bring it today girl. so cheers <laughs> cheers to that it's, cheers what to is that. it called is it called like hot hot bitch summer hot girl summer what is it called <laughs> yeah i think it's just summer. called i finally hot need to shave summer. my legs summer because it's yes. been <laughs> a second i like, definitely did that today. i don't know what the term is but it feels like that's what rosé in the summer means <laughs> yes yes absolutely it, it's whatever whatever vibe you want it to mean to get you in the mood to you know, do what you want to do this summer. So what I did, what you know, my summer is full of like books in the park. That's what I did today. So I'm coming in hot and sweaty with like, you know, grasshoppers in my hair today. So it's that kind of summer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> mine is, uh, I get in the mood by uh, watching Cruella like five times in the theater and then nice. buying it and then waiting for the sequel and only tweeting about it for the rest of the summer. That's my, that's my hot bitch. That's fair. That's, that's perfect. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to shoot it to Miss Jill to go first here. Uh, a question for you three to kind of kick off the conversation. Jill? Yeah, so you three have been competitors here in the showdown for a couple of seasons. Um, what is it that keeps bringing you back to the showdown? What makes you excited to compete? Uh, so we can start from there. Let's go with, uh, we'll start with Stacy. Okay. Well, I think this is like, what is it? My fifth season doing the Schmodown? It's so. actually, it's, I've been in it since like 2015, I think something like that. So it's, it's been a minute. Um, I, what keeps me, what keeps bringing me back? Christian, he's never asked me to leave. So he just keeps <laughs> putting good. me in the draft every year. And I'm like, Oh, I'm in a new faction. Cool. Every couple of years. Um, <laughs> so that's been good. And honestly, it's just fun. You make friends, you have fun talking about movies. You, you know, have formed these like friendships, marriages have come out of it. I mean, right. You know, some, some pretty incredible, uh, human connection comes out of this silly little movie show that we do. So that's what brings me back. It's the people. It's honestly the people. Forget, forget about those online dating sites. Just join the Schmodown and you can find the love of your life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, real, real quick before video Jew or Liz Shannon Miller uh, answer, we do have our fourth guest. She has arrived. Um, and it is the brown dwarf star herself, Miss Mara Kanaka. Mara! Whoa. Hi, Mara. Hi. Oh, now I'll hop it. Summer can start. Sorry, can I curse? I shouldn't curse. I will have <laughs> Mara, I think you might be muted just in case. Maybe. Mm -hmm. possibly. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh. There we go. There we go. Oh, no. um, all right, well, uh, same, same question for all the ladies. Uh, Video Drew, if you want to go next. Yeah, I would say it's uh, the cult-like fandom that I've developed uh, really brings me back. It certainly wasn't the movie trivia at first. Uh, it was really the, the immense amount of praise and applause and uh, fandom that immediately grew up around me and Tom. And it was unreal and unlike anything I experienced. And yes, that sounds completely narcissistic but i'm gonna just be honest and say yeah it was it was be honest it girl came to me, it was it came to me at a part of my life that i really needed uh validation and needed to be told that like you know that i was cool and doing cool things and it was like the only time i'd ever performed or done anything that's even remotely like frontward focused like that and not just writing 
and uh, just being embraced by all the by all the community. I think I got a like I got like a reprieve of a lot of the the bad stuff that can come with the good stuff um, at first, and I'm really really grateful for that. And yeah, the friendships, the the love, all the things. Like I feel like I'm in a great cult. Like I feel like I'm I found the Schmodown in the same year that I found Midsummer. And I just really like comparing the two because I'm like, you see, it's not for everyone. But when you can find the Horgath and then burn your boyfriend alive in a bear suit, spoiler alert for Midsummer, um, like, then you know you really found your tribe of people. And I feel like that's yeah. why I, I got out of Schmodown. I, I'm glad you have the same takeaway of Midsummer as I did, which is that it's a really positive uh, yeah. feminist message about yes. finding your flower crown. <laughs> And uh -huh. your family, you know, that actually supports you instead of her boyfriend who didn't, he would have left yes. her just like that other. Yeah, no, exactly. It's about choosing exactly. platonic love and communal <laughs> love over the like the fake idea of romantic love being the end all be all. It's about being this supported. This is what I've been saying. This is what hot girl summer is ultimately about. <laughs> hot girl, hot girl summer. Sacrifice yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Liz, same question. So uh, what keeps you coming back? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I think essentially uh, the faction element's pretty big in that yeah. like, I, I, I don't feel like I'm, I don't feel like I'm doing this on my own. I feel like I'm part of a team and I'm part of a group that, you know, I want to see succeed. Even if I don't do well, like I just want them to do well. And that's why the hardest, uh, the hardest moments for me of my Shmodan career are the, are, is this new TKO cost you a point rule. Uh, Cause yeah. I just, it, it just, like, I, I can, I can, I can handle losing. I can't handle, I, I can handle it, but I don't really like that part where I'm hurting my team. Like that, yeah. that fucking kills me. And yeah. sorry, I should, I should ask for a lot of swear. It's fine. It's fine. All right. We've got, we've got wine. We we're like good. donate to somewhere. All right. <laughs> There's a swear jar. Fair enough. <laughs> All donations go to the Trevor Project, by the way. I just want to point that yeah. out. Very nice. <laughs> Cheers. Happy and let, let me point out, that's not just uh, that 15-year-old guy, Trevor, who helps me train uh, going to him. It's, it's, no. It's yeah. <laughs> no. But shout out to Trevor. Shout, shout out to Trevor. Trevor. Shout out to Trevor. Shout out to Trevor. Uh, Miss Mara as well? I wasn't here when the question oh, was so, so, yes. So, so similar, you, you as well have been here for many a season. What is the reason, what, what, what keeps, what brings you back to Schmodown? What is the reason that keeps you in the Schmodown part of the community? Uh, what is it about that you love so much that it keeps you coming back? Well, for me, there was a huge paradigm shift from people being very nice and very friendly um, on a surface level to me when I would be there when Dan was competing to me being a human being that people got to know like on a personality level and learned things about me and mm -hmm. shared things about themselves with me when I started playing. So uh, I was actually able to make friends in the Schmodown. Some of my first friends in LA after being there for years. So mm -hmm. uh, honestly, yeah. I know it sounds really crappy. Like no one was ever unkind to me, but I was looked at like I was my own person for the first time. And that yeah. was kind of terrible, but great. Mm -hmm. Uh, to piggyback off of what Mara said, yeah, I'd been living in LA for two years and had like come here with a job and like a whole thing going on and like left here like basically in shambles. And like the Schmodown, I found the Schmodown, I'd been working at Collider, but like I found the Schmodown right on my way out of LA. And I must have spent so much money in my one year I spent in New York, like in 2019, 2019? yeah, 2019, I just spent all like just commuting back to LA on my own dime just because that was like, I'd finally found friends and like a place in Los Angeles. And then, of course, we went digital. So, yeah. <laughs> of well, course. The showdown brought us together, Drew. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the hugging. The, the hugging now. Spirit animals. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I still remember. It's meant to pull up, is he? <laughs> uh, we, we, we did get a couple Streamlabs real quick that I want to make sure I read with this group on. Uh, this is from Courtney, Courtney Luby. Uh, and she says, Drew, you look amazing. Yes. And Drew, Liz, Molly, Stacy, and Mara, uh, you are all great to work with, and I appreciate all of you. But we don't look amazing. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's clear. Fair. I mean, fair. Look, yeah, I just I just put a t-shirt on and got and put on, and some lipstick. I'm not. I, I didn't really. I didn't put a you ton all, of effort into you that. You all always. Look, you I all did even less. I just took a shower and then showed up. <laughs> there you go. I did not show. Look, I mean, I video Drew. Okay, I mean, but video Drew deserves the flowers. She she does come to play. Oh yes. Yeah. 
I mean, oh, yeah. here's what you do, guys. It's a really simple hack. You just buy all really expensive sulky dresses online that you never plan on wearing outdoors because you'd look ridiculous. This is like a ridiculous outfit. You can't wear this outside. You just wear it because you think quarantine is going to last forever and you're pretty sure the world's ended. And then you make sure to do your makeup on air so people can actively see you trying. And then, and then you, get the, you get the compliments. I mean, you I, I dye your hair like a, a trailer that you really like and then hope the movie's good. That's actually pretty <laughs> solid advice and I might steal that. Later, Go ahead. That's pretty yeah, solid. perfect. We're gonna perfect. get a sequel. I'll just. I'm gonna do my hair. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. <laughs> do <laughs> and I'm just gonna, you know, make up tutorials, man. Yes. Everything's a makeup It'll tutorial. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. What you want to do, ladies, is you want to contour, <laughs> contour. We just had you know, a for the summer times. Yes, it's, yes. it's hot girl summer. You just had a contour. It it's hot girl it's hot summer. That's summer. right. It's hot. Uh, it's I also and, really like, and that's like, it. That's what yeah. you do. Can I be honest? That seems like a joke, but honestly, I just watched you and I was like, how'd she get the, okay, so she put it up right here. <laughs> <laughs> Those are my really tutorials so or anti-tutorials where I'm going, how do I How do I put the bread in? And I just wait in case somebody knows. I'm like, okay, how do I, what do I do with it? I thought eyeshadow went on the eye and that's it. I thought that's how it worked until last I used month. to put, I used to, I mean, before, I, listen, this is like, you know, aging me a little bit, but I used to put lip gloss on like my cheeks like this. Yes, as, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yes. You know, oh, yeah. so that, like Not there's no such thing as highlighters. Okay. <laughs> you had like shiny things and you do your lips and you do like this a little bit. That and bath, then you have like that bath and body lips. works blueberry roll on glitter. Oh, the roll on glitter. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Glitter. You can't, you can't mess with each other. Oh, yes, yeah. this has become a makeup tutorial stream. I just want everyone to know. <laughs> and also, not like of those current, recently. Yeah, and not current, current makeup. This was picture. like 2007 makeup. So, mm -hmm. I saw a picture of Molly and and uh, Alex, oh, yeah. and you guys but, seem to be. I'm not going to say biting my style, but definitely <laughs> biting my style. And I was like, what is? We, are they we doing my bit? <laughs> definitely did makeup on uh, last happy hour. That may or may not have happened. So we had look a lot of tequila. We had a it lot of tequila me. that night. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, I'm also leaving my hair like this the entire time. I don't really care Please if I do. look like a loon. It's just going to, you know. <laughs> I think it works. I think it's working. Thank I you. It's it. honestly, I was a little bit hot too. So like now my know. neck is cooling down. Now it's, now it's too, now it's too hot, girl summer. We're too hot now. It's too hot. Mm -hmm. You got to, oh hot. God. It's too hot. You gotta, I got the, yeah. the booby sweat going, <laughs> under boob sweat. You know, even though I don't really have boobs, I'm very flat chested. You still somehow get under boob sweat. Mm -hmm. um, Global warming through. summer. Global <laughs> warming <laughs> summer. Perfect. Fair. Fair. Perfect. I wanted uh, to point out this before we go. Uh, Nerd Chronic, Stacey, you have the oh, most wow. seniority of all current Schmodown. Yeah. Oh, you, can wow. us. you can technically tell us to like do 10 push ups. <laughs> nice. Do it. Yeah. Do it. Do 10 push ups. Everybody, everybody dye your good. hair. Pierce, I, Pierce I just did rough. today, so check. <laughs> <laughs> Mars got one down. <laughs> For as much as I, like I, do, I do my own, like, beat into my own drum, I am very, very susceptible to uh, influence by anybody <laughs> saying anything about me. Like, I'm just like, okay, okay I'll do it. Like, you, okay, is okay. that what you want? I'll do it. <laughs> Shave my eyebrows? Fine. That's, if that's going to get your attention. I think that would actually look really cool. If you had, actually, like, I think so too, silver wait, eyebrows so. with your silver hair Ooh. to go, Ooh. that'd be really cool. So, like, I have these things that you can kind of put on top of your eyebrows that make your eyebrows go away. They're like little jewels. Ooh, you gem. should do that. 100% oh. you, know? you should do that. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Oh, like, yes. Ooh. Those are very cool. These don't stick anymore, but I like you can get white ones and stuff, and like I, I'll do that. I will shave my eyebrows. Don't even tempt me. But you'll be, like, you'll be like Jeffrey Star, except less, pro less problematic. Less and problematic. <laughs> I'll be like Amanda Palmer, except less problematic. Yeah, yeah. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. I love that this shape. is in no way related to the Schmodown, and we're just talking about our looks. And <laughs> well, that's yeah. the best thing about well, the Schmodown is uh, finding a well, community that you don't have to talk movie trivia about sometimes. True, yeah. true. Well, true. Speaking, speaking of non Schmodown stuff, there is a question that is non Schmodown. Uh, Ooh, this okay. one comes from Daniel. Just wanted to say hi to Video Drew, Liz, Stacy, and Mara, and wanted to know your favorite female driven movie. Mine is The okay. Devil Wears Prada. Ooh, female driven movie like uh, that has a female lead or is like only female okay probably a female lead probably a female lead or two yeah i i, I, mean, I got good go ahead. go ahead no you go 
I was gonna say recency bias, but I really did. I know it's not a perfect film. I want my Snyder cut of it, but like I really, really freaking loved Cruella. I thought it was an I amazing film. It, it looks yeah, so it's good. So good. I thought it was like it's it's really up there with like I think the best live action Disney movie that's ever been made. Ooh. It is like Joker meets like not Joker the movie, but like the concept of Joker. The Joker, like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the Joker meets Devil Wears Prada meets like a heist film meets Ooh, like sold. ten other genres and they're all slay and it's so good. <laughs> I, I highly recommend. I took a bunch cool. of Schmidt people for my birthday to like rent out a theater and they're chronic rented out a theater. I know we, we got invited oh, nice. and we couldn't go. I'm yeah. so mad. Awesome. Awesome. It was real good. Awesome. I've got to go with, uh, oh, this is, I mean, there are so many. This is this is a tough one to try and pick one. But, I mean, I, my mind automatically goes to Thelma and Louise. Um, mm, it's just such solid. a fun and cool story. Um, just such a, such a, like, epitome of the 90s, you know, kind of like, a little bit of action, a little bit of drama, a little bit of comedy. Just that, you know, kind of like big blockbuster that they used to put a lot of money behind these really big, you know, studio films that they don't necessarily put money behind nowadays. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I would go I would go Thelma and Louise is where my first is where my first thought goes. Classic. It's a classic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Liz. Um uh, I think for me, uh, the first one that came to mind uh, was not just uh, Carol, Karen Cassava's first film, but really uh, Michelle Rodriguez's first film, uh, which is the 1999 film Girl Fight. I believe it's, it's either 1999 or 2000. But it is a, if you've never seen it, it's a great little indie. It's very small. It's very small in its scope, but it's basically Michelle Rodriguez is a young girl, who, a young woman, who uh, wants to be a boxer. And uh, it's you know it's just you know it's a, it's a very classic sports movie setup. Um, and she's got there's a there's a there's a cute guy um, who, in a perfect acknowledgement of the film Rocky, is named Adrian. Uh, mm. And uh, it's 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 just really well done. It's it's one of those great like great like m great small movies, but it just it it, it it stuck with me all these years. The soundtrack's incredible. Uh, I highly recommend if you've never Michelle seen it. I, yeah, Michelle it, Rodriguez is great, but it's the best she's ever been. It is pretty much. I would not. I would not argue with that. She's. She's. I mean, they kind of just kind of kind of cast her because she, at that point, I guess in her life, was that character. Was back, yeah. Yeah, and so it was not like a heart necessarily a stretch for her acting wise, but she is great in it. And yeah, I, I'd highly recommend checking it out if you've ever seen it. Mara. I'm so glad that I wasn't first because I immediately panicked <laughs> because movies. I don't normally find common ground with women in movies uh, uh -huh. at all, ever. So uh, luckily I went back to my roots of the fact that I just love action movies. And so I'm going to pick T2. Uh, yes. There we go. That was in our bracket. What a, a lot of studios make these strong female characters today that have absolutely zero flaws. They can do anything and everything because mm -hmm. that's what they think feminism is. But mm -hmm. I love how broken she is and how she's not perfect, but she's completely and totally capable when she needs to accomplish something. And mm -hmm. she is willing to accept help even at times when she does discount help, she ultimately accepts it. So I like that she felt really three dimensional. Yeah, I, we, we did a bracket poll of the best uh, female character in all of movie history. And it was me, Paige and um, uh, I think it was Jen Kemp and we came up with Sarah Connor was like the number one character, female character mm -hmm. in all cinematic history just because her arc is so good. What she goes from in like the first Terminator, who she is to like how she develops as a character is probably the best narrative we've ever been given uh, on a female character in, in film. I just know that if I got locked up in, in, a, in an asylum, I would probably just spend a lot of time sulking and not yeah. getting hella ripped. So I, I respect her game. Same. Yeah. yeah. When she comes back and you're just like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I would 100% mm -hmm. stab my therapist in any character. Okay, so, like, Ripley was also a very strong contender oh, for this like, best female character role, but Ripley starts out badass and she just continues to be badass. Whereas uh -huh. like Linda Hamilton starts out like girly and then she just becomes this freaking lack of a better term, Terminator person. Yeah. She yeah. she just wants to be. She's a nice waitress who wants to like go out partying with her friends. Like she's kind of hanging out with her iguana. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Nor yeah. Normal nineteen eighties girl stuff. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm.
Um, real quick, we did get two Streamlabs that came in. The first one from Alden Diaz is a very generous hundred dollar donation. Wow. Thank you, Alden. Very Thank appreciate you, Alden. He says, uh, hey all, just wanted to say that I absolutely love what you're doing tonight and donating to the Trevor Project. Cheers to all of you. As for a fun question, who would play you in a movie or would you direct your own biopic? Ooh, Ooh. I love that question. I'm huh. horrified by this question. Oh, <laughs> well, we can, tomorrow do you want to go last again? <laughs> okay. I feel like uh, Drew might already be ready. Do you have No, a weirdly, I'm like, I'm like, I'm, I'm blanking. Stacy looks I, I, can I, can I can go. I can go. I want to get chronic to figure it out for me. Tell me what's going on. I will <laughs> say that a lot of people have told me Judy Greer is like, my Ooh, vibe. Oh, that's a good okay. one. I, I am Some jealous. Of my that. looks. Someone my <laughs> she looks. Can do anything. Um, that's perfect. She's amazing and apparently a very, very sweet person in real life. And, you know, what I love about Judy Greer is that she is normally like the best friend in a movie, you know, mm -hmm. but she hasn't, but she has built a, a career about be, around being that you know, yeah. supporting role, that funny woman, sassy. She's like, you know, the bad guy in 13 going on 30. She has like, you know, so much range, but she like always kills it and gives it her all and brings it, even though she's not necessarily the Julia Roberts, you know, the, the lead. She has worked consistently for decades and is just like gorgeous, glowing, smart light in Hollywood and has started to produce her own things and do her own projects. And I just think that she's fantastic. So I've gotten like people say that I kind of look like her. So I would be honored if she would play me in a biopic of some kind. And yes, I would direct it so that I could direct her <laughs> and just, just work with her. It would be really cool. So, Perfect. yeah, Judy Greer and I would direct it, too. I just I just watched her in Twenty Seven Dresses, so there you go. Mm -hmm. yeah. She's been supporting Actually, funny role in that movie, so there that, you go. Exactly. You know, a, a movie unexpectedly uh, that where she appears and not is not only the female lead but also the main lo the love interest for the main character uh, playing with fire the uh, the firefighter co a kids comedy from a couple mm -hmm. from a couple years ago. Oh she's, really? She's, mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, I with, believe with it's John Ch Cena and Yeah, she is John Cena's love interest in that film. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like really happy for Judy Greer. I mean, that's what I heard. Book about yeah. being the best friend in movies. She, it's not yeah. like a, she wrote a, like a memoir about it. It's awesome. Yeah. That's perfect. That's perfect. I love it. Oh, I love Judy. I love Judy getting some John Cena D. That's perfect. <laughs> yes. That's really perfect. <laughs> Uh, uh, does be, anybody want to go next? That needs to be someone's Twitter bot, like Twitter bio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, we're getting some John Cena D. John Cena right. D. <laughs> Cheers. Um, I about tw uh, twenty years ago. I'm semi revealing how old I am, uh, but I had a boss who, and this was right around the time Ghost World came out. But yeah. my boss at the time said you could that he re that I reminded him of Scarlett Johansson. And this is again twenty years ago before Scarlett Johansson is like the sexiest woman alive. Uh, but if Scarlett Johansson wants to spend like a couple of months eating some pasta, like she could play me, I'm, I'm fine with that. Oh, well, well, I had the same situation happen, but my it was my book agent. He went, "You look like Ghost World. You want to write a new Ghost World?" And I went, "I don't, I don't know." Was you, you just like, you don't you just like the general concept of Ghost World? Yeah, he was like, "You look like Ghost World. Do you want to write Ghost World?" And I was like, "I think it's I think they already wrote." Goat. I don't know what you're asking me, sir. <laughs> what does that mean? I, 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 I'm not Daniel Klaus. I, I'll no. do, you know. <laughs> but if anyone has any better... Sorry, no, I, I think that, 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 uh, I would pick go with Charlie Day uh, for my biopic. Let's do a gender yes. blind casting. <laughs> uh, okay, I it. love Charlie Day so much. I feel like he is my energy. I feel like he, like, Spaceship is my ground level of, like, reality. Spaceship! <laughs> like, it's just, he's, <laughs> like... It's it's like who I am inside is Charlie Day. So yeah, let's do a biopic of of my life, but Charlie Day as me, and that's I, perfect. I feel that energy because uh, at, at at a previous job, 
I was notorious for loving to loving to make spreadsheets to track various things to the oh, point yeah. where anytime I had an opportunity to make a spreadsheet, I would shout out spreadsheet like Charlie Day <laughs> in the Lego yeah. movie. I mean, to the point, I, am, have, I actually have like a meme somewhere that a friend of my coworker made for me so that I had just can sh- shoot that image out into the world whenever I need to. Everything about Charlie Day's character from Always Sunny like is me to a T. I'm mean, not illiterate, but I do have the n- lyrics, his, his hieroglyph lyrics to Nightman tattooed on my leg. Because, uh, like, yeah, the whole thing about, like, him pretending. Yeah, like, it says, like, uh, oh, I'm not sure if I can show it. Let's see if I can do it. Hold on. Show us your tattoo. Yeah, tat. show them show legs. Show us your tattoo. Yes. Yeah, that, that's my leg. tattoo. That's not it. It's, oh, I'm going to show it to my butt, too. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to try to do that. I'm wearing spanks. But it says, I need, I need to show us your tattoos video Drew episode. I need it. Yeah, I've, I've, I have great tattoos. I have tattoos that have been referenced on the Colbert Report. Obama has liked my tattoos twice. Oh, and okay. like the time. I have heard yeah. that story. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers to Obama liking your tattoos. Nice. Dude. Nice. Yeah. Nice. I just, just got, got my first tattoo. Time tattoo and I realized it's a line that he says. I saw that, Stacey. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I just got my first. I got a wrist tattoo. Oh, wait. Sorry. This. Ooh. This. Oh, and oh, then nice. um, I think I want to get um, a, a line from the mummy. On my arm, that would be awesome. Um, I might get, mm, I might get. I know what you're thinking. What's a place like me doing in a girl like this? I love uh, it. From Random here. movie quote tattoos are tight. Are yes, tight. yes. And starts conversations at parties, or then people think you're weird for referencing things. And we're like, why would anybody <laughs> like 1999 <laughs> the mummy, the one with the the one with the guy and you're like Brendan Fraser yeah that one it's awesome and then no. they freak out and then they I, uh, run away from you one of my but, earliest mm-hmm. tattoos was uh in heaven everything is fine from Eraserhead but it was famously covered by the pixies and everyone's always like oh you like the pixies so now it looks like in heaven everything is pine or everything <laughs> is vino and no one knows what I'm talking about but one time Matthew Lillard uh touched my back without asking and Ooh. I like slapped his hand away because he was like oh is that Eraserhead and I slapped his hand and I was like oh shit that's Stu from Scream <laughs> yeah, don't, don't slap, don't slap away. Uh, yeah. You know what's his face from Scooby Doo? I forgot yeah, the character. Right. Yeah, I, 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 from I was, I was so happy, but like also so that. angry because don't touch women. That have uh, yeah, true, Correct. true. Yeah, consent. Um, always consent, friends. Consent yeah. is key. For, for yeah, a we long time, I'd be- Patrick Stewart. So no big deal. <laughs> yeah. For a long Mara. time, I thought it would be really funny if uh, I got the. Tattoo, the a tattoo of the map to dry land from Waterworld on my back. Yes, uh, yes. I, but I, I never, I never got around to it. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm for that. I'm for it, that. I do love it. it. Yeah. Love it. All right. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't mean to interrupt, Mara. Uh, Mara, yeah, Mara. Did you, did you think of a uh, someone to play you or in your bio? I, I came up with the closest possible solution that presented itself, and it's very appropriate that Stacey mentioned the good version of the mummy, because I'm going to mention the shitty version of the mummy. Um, <laughs> Sophia Butella is the closest actress I could uh, find yeah. in my brain that has a similar ethnic background, yeah. so because uh, that kind of makes it hard since I'm blended, but um, yeah, I would say that she's, I, we could call her the Hollywood version of me. So, uh, you know, okay. like whenever there's a biopic or something and it's like, oh, that person doesn't really look like that person, but they're like, yeah, okay, well, we'll just say they're the Hollywood version because they're, like, better. So <laughs> I feel I like Audrey Plaza it. for you as well. I mean, I know Ooh, she's, she's I can see Hispanic Audrey and Plaza. stuff, but, like, I, I think she is got your energy. She's from Delaware like me. Um, <laughs> I wish I could be Aubrey Plaza, but I can't be Aubrey Plaza. But Mara could be Aubrey Plaza. <laughs> we'll just put Aubrey Plaza's attitude in Sophia Butello's body. Oh, hello, Kat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we, we do have. Oh, oh there gosh. Go. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Careful. We, uh, we, we do have a couple questions while, while Mara's grabbing the kitty. Uh, oh, Courtney here God. says, My Lion Falcon tattoo got me some major credit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Courtney. Nice. That's going to. Yeah. Go. Any Star Wars nonsense in this community gets you bonus points. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> yes. um, and then we do have two comments that have come through Streamlabs real quick. Brought the show. Uh, commented and said, "Cheers to the Trevor Project. Can everyone give us their best Greedo McClunky?" Oh my! God. Oh Speaking Lord! Of Star Wars. Which one is he? <laughs> so sorry, <laughs> don't know this reference. I apologize. Molly, you got okay. it. I know the reference. Molly's got to do it. Wago Wago or something? Wabu Wabu or something? Molly, Molly, go. Oh, I just uh, McClunky. 
I was like a Pokemon. Does he say his name? <laughs> Is he like a no. Pokemon? No, it's when he gets shot oh, by right, Han right. Solo. He his yeah, name. right. Okay. I I'm just realizing that. Cool. I've never actually watched the clip. I I, I haven't oh, watched no, uh, a new hope a since they beauty. made the switch. So I haven't. It's a thing of beauty. Yeah, I, I know. I know what we're talking about. I just don't know how to imitate it. It was when um, they put it on Disney Plus, I think, right? Yeah, it's yeah. on Disney Plus. I can do a really yeah. good Chub uh, not Chewbacca, uh, Jabba the Hutt. Ooh, really let's hear your Jabba. Jabba. Yeah, let's hear the Jabba. It's about this solo. I love it. Bravo. 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 Because anyone else would like to try a McClunky? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll I mean, my I, best. Oh, go Mara, go. Go Mara. McClunky. Yes. <laughs> now, what did you say in the original version? Did he just make like make a noise or something? I think he just, just, yeah, just died. He yeah. yeah. got shot. Uh, anything. Also, Han yeah. shot first. Oh, that, oh, oh. Also, he Han did. definitely shoots first. 100%. Yeah. Han shooting. They, they didn't have like a Cobra Kai like reboot of like the McClunky version where he's like, that was not fucking, that wasn't fair. Like, that was. <laughs> <laughs> that me. I was trying to just bring him in peacefully. <laughs> Uh, well, we do have because uh, we only have about five ten minutes or so with the with you lovely ladies back. Uh, we have Frank Alvarez, the suspect himself, has commented with the Streamlabs. Oh, hi, Frank. Says, uh, much love to everyone involved. Here's a question: What drink, alcoholic or non, do you think best represents your personality? Also, look at all these suspects on the screen. So many suspects. Ooh. <laughs> so many suspects. Suspect, it's suspects and dungeon. We got equal representation. Oh yeah. Look at yeah. Us. There we go. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> Okay, so there was this drink uh, at this place called the Zombie Hut that used to be down the street oh, from me in Carroll Gardens. And it was like a hundred proof alcohol, but dressed up in so much like sweet liqueur and oh, put into a that glass and blended like a frozen slushy. And then they put something on top of it and set it on fire and you would drink it. And that's did fire it was like bright blue and it's me as a drink. Did, it did fire zombie. make it good? Drinking the fire made it fun. And dangerous and unnecessary, just like me. The perfect. <laughs> Fun, dangerous, perfect. and unnecessary. That's a Twitter bio right there. Fun, yeah, dangerous, and dangerous right now. Fun, dangerous, and unnecessary. <laughs> uh, I'll say that I would be, it has to be one specific brand. Uh, it's vodka. It's actual Russian vodka. It's delicious. Everyone should drink it. Don't drink French vodka. That's insane. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to say that I am straight vodka right from the freezer and directly from the bottle because Ooh. I'm a very polarizing person. People generally either very much like me or very much don't. And the good news is I always know I know where I stand with people. But most people either really, really, really like drinking vodka straight from the bottle or you very, very, very don't. Mm. Love mm. it. That's <laughs> not... That's great. I was gonna say I, I just said love it, and I was like, did I just say I love drinking straight vodka? <laughs> I was gonna say I love, I love Mara. I, I don't know if I can drink straight vodka, but I do love Mara. So. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> this is a judgment-free zone. It's okay. Yes. <laughs> uh, Liz. Um. So I got a soda stream recently. Oh, and so I like one of those. Um, and it, it it has been it has been a life changer. Because I love me some fizzy water, so I I, I like I, you know I, I I feel like I, I feel like I'm feeling very akin to fizzy water right now, and like you know I feel like I'm a pretty versatile person. I can do a lot of different kinds of things, and fizzy water you add a, you add a dash of some sort of syrup, or you mix it with some lemonade. It takes on a whole different like level of things. You know I'm feeling good about fizzy water. Just like fizzy water is a lifestyle choice. I can't wait. I'm gonna buy a second soda stream bottle, you guys, and then I'm gonna have two soda stream bottles in my fridge. Yes. And wait, I'm gonna wait, make, that is how I'm gonna that is how I'm going to survive summer is just by drinking <laughs> unending amounts of fizzy water. Why don't you just buy a bigger <laughs> liter of of fizz, like of the thing? Can't you get like a bigger version of that bottle? But you know you no, want two. No, I want two because that way I can be constantly one will always be cold. Uh, oh, and then one will like one, oh, one, oh, and then oh, and then I'm refilling it. It's, if you like that, and I know we're leaving soon, so everyone else go, but I have something that you would like. <laughs> it's fizzing, and it keeps beverages cold. I have it in log form, obviously, but it is like sort of yes. like a this thing, and it keeps all your beverages super, super cold. You, you don't even have to put it in the fridge. It just like knows how to do it. Nice. It's like you, put it, you can put cans in there, oh. you can put bottles, and it just like keeps it ice cold and like carbonated somehow. Magic. Yeah. 
I think I might have gotten one of something like that for, in, a, mm -hmm. in a swag box. So I'll have to check that out. I have an like, incredibly from, pressing question for Liz. Did you get the soda stream where like you control how fizzy it gets or the one with the buttons where it's like pre-programmed amounts of fizz? Cause I've been struggling over which model to buy and I don't know. I got, I got the, uh, where you get three different options of fizz. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's, I feel like that's the level of choice making. I'm wait, 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 they have ones that have okay. optional fizz levels now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's so like, it, it, it's like, as long as you yeah. Want. It's like the one, it's called, I think it was the soda stream one touch uh, where yeah. it's, uh, it, I, I feel like it, yeah. Uh, Oh. And so that's a, a yeah. So it's like what you get one one bubble, two bubbles, three bubbles. I've used the kind where you could literally control the percentage of of, of bubbling that would happen. Like there was like there was like a machine in the Netflix lobby I went to once, and that was a little too much for me. Like I just want like give me give me like one through three as a scale. And I, I just have the thing where you just press the top <laughs> and like it bubbles, and you press it again, and it bubbles, and you press it third time, and then you're done. I guess like you could do that, but they, you know, they, uh, that would be the low key version. Maybe I didn't need to spend as much money as I did online, but <laughs> no, 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 what no, matters is it's in my more. house and I love it. And so if fizzy need, water is a life changer. I need eight more soda streams, stat. Do you guys ever make, um, do you guys ever make mocktails? Like if you don't feel like drinking, but you want oh, the yeah. feel of like a fun oh, yeah. cocktail. Oh yeah. So I do, I'll get yeah. a bubbly, you know, and put yeah. some kind of like, you know, carbonated water thing, and then I'll get like lemonade and a little splash of this or that, add a little fruit thing, just to feel, you know, fancy in some way. Sometimes I put on a dress and some music and dance by myself. It's fine, it's not weird, it's fine. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'll just make like a little mocktail, a little mocktail thing. That's my drink, no, that's I, what I've decided, it's my I mocktail. Don't like <laughs> I, love I don't it. like, I like getting yeah. drunk, but I don't like the taste of alcohol. Like that's why I have to drink mm. really sweet, disgustingly sweet things, because I can't Me too. stand the Me taste. Too. I only yeah. drink, I only drink Diet 7-Up, and this is true. I only drink Diet 7-Up. It's the only thing I drink. Uh, uh, so yes. like, you have to convince so me that stream. alcohol tastes different. Oh, down. oh yes. Oh, yeah. God. So That'd be good. Yes. That's perfect. Yeah. Um, I will yeah. say, though, uh, vodka straight from the freezer is indeed pretty delicious and very, very smooth. <laughs> so I will, I will agree with Mara on that. I don't know if I'm brave enough to drink it straight from the bottle, because usually it's like a gigantic Grey Goose bottle that'd be like... <laughs> 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 but yes straight from there it's incredibly yeah. smooth almost almost syrupy it's so so mm -hmm. ice cold and frozen so that's that's, yeah. that's a good time right there yes i think that's i think when it's super night. cold like that the sweetness the sweetness of the vodka comes yes out, which is yes. very nice mm -hmm. i can't wait to get hot girl summer trashed is the thing it's i can't wait <laughs> the first time that that is going to happen in public hot, hot summer girl trash Hot yeah. Perfect. If you want to check out Happy Hour with Jill and Molly, <laughs> yeah, yes, Happy Hour with Jill and Molly. <laughs> I want to make sure that I'm doing in front of people though, because I feel like the thing with me is I'm like I don't want to get trashed and not make a fool of myself, uh, like in front of yeah. Like what's the point? People. Then you have a hangover for no reason. It's like yeah. no, you need to have a story that goes with the hangover. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, that's like, why that's yeah, we just why feel we like do shit. Happy Hour. There is a story with our drinking excursions. There you go. So true. I need to get pressured into drinking. I can't. I can never convince myself to. I need to literally be like other people are there physically and drinking, and then I'll be like, okay, yeah. I'll have a little bit. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> true. Uh, I have to force myself. Yeah. Yeah. Quick, quickly here, because we are going to have to uh, move on to the next group here very shortly. I do want to get kind of back to Shimona just quickly. Um, okay. And, I guess. And, uh, just, okay. Just, just for the last moment, I know. I guess I know, that's I why we're all here. Um, I'm, I'm just going to piggy piggyback off of what Molly had asked for the last group, and, and just Smodown related in general. Um, the league has come so far as far as women involvement, both in front of the camera and behind the camera. Um, first of all, what does it mean for you guys to kind of be a part of it? Because you are four of the most, uh, the, the women who have been here the longest. And also, what do you say to those who may want to enter the league, whether it's next year, a couple years down the road, uh, in front of the camera, behind the camera? Uh, Video Drew, I will start with you. Yeah, I mean, I will just say what I, I've been saying and, and say to say to any new female competitor, which is like, hi, welcome. Uh, love, love to see you here. Really happy to have you. Come be on my shows. Come meet all of us. Uh, because it is it, that has not been the experience, I think, of many uh, women, I can't speak for the guys, but I know it hasn't been the experience of many women, especially women rookies, uh, coming in that like, you know, that there's just a welcome wagon of people, uh, waiting to, it's sort of, it's sort of like an insular club. This can be very intimidating when you're looking from the outside in, 
Um, and if you're not part of the fandom or like the fan leagues and stuff, you can, it just feels really, I think, intense and lonely, especially with these virtual matches. So what I have to say is, hi, welcome. Nice. Um, nice to have you. We love having you and thank you for being here. Uh, Liz. Uh, I mean, echoing all of that. Uh, absolutely. I heard a little bit of what the uh, women in the group before were talking about. And uh, I want to say that, you know, it, it's good to have a thick skin. It's also good to know what your boundaries are and be really upfront about them. Say, say to Christian, hey, I don't want to be bullied. I don't want to, this is the level of, this is the level of stuff I'm comfortable with. Yeah, yeah. you don't need to have, you know, I, I I want to I, I want to push back slightly on the idea that in order to do this, you have to be prepared to get beaten up in the comments, yeah. and you have to be prepared yeah. to deal with that some crap. Like that's if you're doing if you have to deal with that stuff. Like, that's why I think a lot of women have left the league is because they've been told just put up with it, and that's yeah. not the way this should work. I also yeah. want to say push back. What you do, say what you're comfortable with. Don't go in the Reddit. Yeah, don't go in the Reddit. Reddit. No, it, 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 it will engage with Reddit. The, the, yeah, the Reddit the Reddit people are nice if you talk to them. Yeah, uh, and that's, that's uh, fair. That's true. And also, uh, yeah. Do I need there's, to know this? There's a Reddit. Don't, don't, don't do it. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I it, it's, 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 it's swinging. I don't care. I oh, Reddit, I know you I would, will. <laughs> I yeah. would literally give gold and silver to people who were talking smack about me and just be like, thanks so much. I have your PayPal information. Did you get the like receipt that I sent you? Like <laughs> pretending like I gave them money and then they would just have nothing better to say because like anything they said would look like they were secretly like a shill for me somehow. <laughs> so I'm giving gold and silver to people talking crap and uh with the exception of one crate oaks i think i've i've managed to win them all over but yeah, yeah I think liz is right don't don't put up with with bs like you that's not a requirement yeah, well, i didn't have to pull it up with it when i first joined the league because i got this like weird pass of being not quite a woman i think in a lot of people's eyes and so i yeah don't put up with that stuff you don't have to it's not a requirement yeah, I'm not saying, like, you know, you should go into the comments and fight people. Like, I don't engage with the comments if they're negative because I don't care that much, frankly. Mm -hmm. Like, life is too short to be having fights on the internet with strangers. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, just know what you're comfortable with and actually, you know, stand up for yourself and don't let yourself be pushed into things you're not comfortable doing. Like, yeah. you have you have all the authority here. You have the ability to say no if you don't want to do something. It's this something I forget all the time, but I feel like it needs to be restated from time to time. Yes, that's such a good point. Such a good point. Uh, Mara? Uh, I would say that as far as me, I've been very proud to represent people from the part of the world that I can represent and uh, to be some sort of ambassador in that way, even if that's not something that I was looking to do. But as far as people that might be looking to get into the Schmodown, I would say try to maybe consider the fan leagues because a lot of really amazing female competitors from the fan leagues were drafted yeah. this year. So there is a huge vacuum of female presence there if that's something you're interested in. Um, also contact the competitors you respect in the Schmodown and ask them mm -hmm. to mentor you because mentorship mm -hmm. is the single most powerful tool in society that is widely underutilized to help bridge people from where they are to where they want to be. Mm -hmm. So obviously I'm not speaking for anybody specifically to say like they will mentor you, but I'm sure they would at least be able to offer you some advice and support, um, even just emotional support as you continue on that journey. Hello, Kat. Um, <laughs> and it's straight truth. Uh, These are straight I mean, bombs. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'll go ahead and say it. Like, I don't know how valuable my mentorship would be, but I'll mentor anyone who asks me. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. And I will it, pretend it, to it, mentor it. you when actually getting just help from you, because I need help. <laughs> <laughs> Much love to Trevor. Much love to Trevor. <laughs> Shout out to Trevor. <laughs> Stacy. Um, you know, my 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 relationship with this with the Schmodown is kind of unique in that it, it's very much separated from my personal and professional life. I don't work in the industry at all. I don't, you know, I'm not like a, a wonderful writer or producer or anything or, you know, host or anything like that. So I, if anybody needs any advice on how to kind of like get involved, but keep it separate, that's what I'm able to offer. <laughs> I'm not really good at like how to, you know, get into the Schmodown and how to, you know, get certain matches and this and that. But I think just being able to have that kind of like that balance within the Schmodown is really important. So, um, you know, that's what I'd be able to offer in terms of mentorship. And, you know, I, I welcome any and everyone in the Schmodown. I think it's so fun. It's a really positive experience if you put, you know, put into it what you want to get out of it. So just have a good time. Don't worry about the haters. Yeah. F them. 
you know, and if not, I'll go and beat him up. I have no problem going I ham on someone on the internet. Yes, I have a lot I of I believe that aggression. so much. Yeah, yeah <laughs> I will absolutely go. That's such someone. a good point, too. I think that's such a good point, too, because, like, having fun, I think that's the thing that the first season, I really got this blessed thing because I didn't really know what the Schmodown was. I came in and just did my thing and, like, really didn't know about the community except that, like, it seemed like everyone loved me. Now, like, I'm sure there were a bunch of people in comments being like, she doesn't know anything, and Tom's carrying her and all this stuff, but I, like, didn't care. All I heard was, like, the applause and the happy stuff and the good stuff, and I really did not care about learning movie trivia. And like that had to come later when I realized that's my only way to get more matches and get more attention. Uh, so, <laughs> and like now I'm part of a faction and now I care and now I'm like committed. But like, honestly, if you're just here to have fun, like more power to you. Yeah. Have fun. Yeah. I mean, God, if, 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 if all of us aren't, if that isn't at least a, an aspect of why you're doing this. Then yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That and the attention. <laughs> I just really like the attention, I guys. I really it's, 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 is it the attention, the fun part, or is that just feel feeling like another need? I don't know. Nom 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 nom. It's delicious though. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I think that is a perfect way to end this group. Um, fun and attention is what we got from these four. Fun ladies. and attention. Yeah. Uh, and we and hot, girl ask, summer. We yeah, hot, hot girl summer. summer. Hot girl summer. Yeah, hot girl Cheers summer. Hot girl um, summer. Girl. Yeah, just, <laughs> I, I do want to say, just like I said to the last group, uh, the four of you we mentioned have been involved in this this for a very long time, and we cannot thank you guys enough for dedication, what you guys bring to the league. Uh, overall, just in, in general, and it, I know that I'm speaking for everyone who's watching as well. Um, it means a lot. The product shows, and we greatly appreciate all of you. So thank you. Thank You're you. You're welcome. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Of course. Thank well, you have a good night, so ladies, so and hopefully we'll all talk thank soon. Thank you. Yeah, we'll talk to you. Stay guys safe later. out there. Bye. 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 Cheers, Bye. you beautiful, beautiful people. Oh all right. man, that was oh. fun. That was good. No, that was good. Um, See, that's I, a, this is where this is why I'm saying that this is equal parts interview show and happy hour. Yes, yes. <laughs> we learned what a that, hot girl summer is today. A palate cleanser on that. One. It's a palate cleanser. Yes. Um, Cheers. I'm almost done with my wine. Before we get to the next one, and I know they're waiting. I'm uh, out. A my couple bottle's you, empty. A couple of you've been trying to get in. Get into the. You, the broadcast is open now. You can get in the backstage while we wait for them to kick in. Uh, we do have a video from someone who was not able to make it tonight. Um, and that is one Colonel Carrots himself, Mr. Mark Allen. <gasps> Mark oh. Allen! Here we go. Hey, gang, it's Mark. So originally I wanted to either participate in the show live or send a nice high-quality video, but life happened, and the little lady in my life had her senior wellness check. She did great, by the way. I'm going to say hi. My, well, she's a little preoccupied. So I just wanted to say thanks for organizing this to a certain point of view and also just to remind everyone that, look, this whole thing – was started by two simpletons who like talking movies. We might have built the house, but it's the community that made it a home. And that trail has largely been blazed by strong, powerful, intelligent women that have taught us, that have had patience in teaching us and allowed us to keep up. And so I'm just so appreciative to everybody who truly makes this a fan base of friends and family. And I know it can't be easy. I imagine it can be quite trying and frustrating sometimes, but I can promise everybody watching this, if y'all continue to lead, I will do my best to follow, to listen, to learn, and support however I can, because I cannot tell you how much it means to me to have a community and really a family that is made up of so many great females (laughs) and her. (laughs) So to Jillian, to Molly, to everybody on the show who's proctoring it and everybody who's watching and celebrating around the world, Sending all of the love from me and my Molly. And I'm not just doing this because every time I competed in the Schmodown against women, they kicked the shit out of me. <laughs> the view is quite nice from the desk that I'm on now, and I think I'll keep it there. Have a great show, everyone. Thanks so much, and I'll see you soon. And if anybody, for whatever reason, needs to reach out or talk, vent about anything, I'm always around. You can hit me up anytime. Just flash the bat signal which looks a lot like a giant Coors Light logo. Enjoy the show, folks. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? You want to say hi? My little golden girl. Oh. <laughs> oh. The Coors Light logo killed me. It <laughs> so killed good. me. As amazing. I, Mark, Ellis is, Mark Ellis is just a special breed of human yes. being, man. Yes. He, is, he really is. He is just... <sighs> 
All thank you, thank you, Mark, for strive, strive to be. Thank you, Mark. Strive to be like yes. Mark Ellis. That should be everybody's life mantra. Just strive to be like Mark Ellis. Absolutely. And Absolutely. What a Robert Parker, I see you in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> um, I all right, see well, you, well, we we've had a great show so far, and it is not stopping. We still have three groups not. to go. Um, let's just go and bring them on. We have a really fun group here. Uh, we have a mixture of all leagues in this group, which is a lot oh, of fun. Yes. So mm -hmm. we have Marie Wilson, Nikki Diamalanta, Paige Yay. for Betty, and Jen Kemp. Oh my gosh! Hello, Hello. Hello ladies. Look, Thank you so will, much for joining us. I will say, I will say, when it, this is a lot of league variety, but this is just a lot of Star Wars love that's happening. <laughs> yeah, right, right here. Let's yeah, just and I say were talking that. beforehand, and we were just like, uh, should I, we just like run away? I feel a little <laughs> cold side at this moment in time. Like I do play an inner geekdom, but Star Wars always kind of terrifies me because yeah. y'all ladies just kill it. So yeah, <laughs> I was gonna wear this just for you guys. So. Yeah, I, I, I don't want you back nice. here. He's back here. We're we're good. Look at this Star Wars representation. Love it. Love it. Uh, well, again, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us, being a part of this. Uh, very excited to get to talk to you for. I do want to start with a quick uh, comment from one Frank Janish. Uh, oh, Frank. Uh, Lord, who has sent in a very generous $50 who's, donation. Who's so, that? Frank, thank you very much. Um, thank you, he says, thank you. he says, POV, always continue to do great things like this stream. And to the ladies of the Schmodown, we wouldn't be nearly as successful without your presence in the league. Thank you for putting it all out there. So thank you for that very Cheers, much, Frank. Frankie. Um, thank you, very, Frank. Very Cheers, Frankie. Thank you, Frankie. Thank you, Frankie Numbers. <laughs> Frankie Numbers. Um, <laughs> Brian, I'm going to shoot it to you first, sir. Do you have a question for the four ladies down below? Yeah, so you all are either new or been around for a while or seen it through <laughs> someone uh, as the Schmodown has been growing and you are a part of it. How does it feel being in it and seeing so many women come in in di every division, whether it's Star Wars, Inner Geekdom, teams, singles? How does it feel to know like you're surrounded with just with women everywhere that just do what they do and have fun doing it? Who wants to go first, guys? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I'll go first. I'm talking. Go for it. Like, you're go. <laughs> it's so nice. I'm surrounded by so much beauty and not like sweat stains and beards. So <laughs> that's always a plus. Uh, hey, there's Brian, nothing Brian wrong Ward. With Brian Ward, I know you're watching. Wrong Please with the good make that a t-shirt. Sweat stains <laughs> and beards. There's nothing wrong with a good beard. I will, the, I will that I agree with that 100%. Unfortunately, I can't grow one. So no, we're, I can. <laughs> Maybe I can. we're SOL on that. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, honestly, it's a huge honor. Like, like Clockwork is, Clockwolf has said, and like many have said before, like that we don't need a women's league. Like we are the league. And it's like mm -hmm. such an honor for, at least for me to like be part of this league and to be in the rankings with all these extremely intelligent women. And it's nice that we're just like showing that it's not a men's league <laughs> and that we are here to play and we're here to kick ass and take names. So, I mean, it's just, it's so fun. I love it. The diversity is amazing. It's just great to see so many lovely women on screen. So many beautiful, lovely ladies. So it's awesome. <laughs> Cheers to that. Uh, Jen, if you want to go next. Yeah, honestly, like I've, I've been around for a long time. Like I know this all started because there was an extra ticket to a live event <laughs> kind of thing. Um, so yeah, like it, the game has evolved and fortunately the level of play and the people that are playing both in front and behind the cameras, like it has just become more and more diverse as time has gone on. And that's like something that should be commended to the entire production team and to Ellis and Christian. Because, yeah, people just keep stepping up their game every time. And, like, when we were approached to be on this, I was like, I don't care who's going to be on the panel with me because everyone is just a friggin' star. And it's just great that there's so many amazing women to pick from to, like, come and just celebrate how much, like, we've changed the game. And, like, it started with, like, Clark and Rachel and Janine. And it just keeps going up and up every time. Like, I, I just can't believe the level of play that's coming from some of the rookies, Paige being one of them right here. So, yeah, like, it's just amazing to see it continue to grow. And just the community has been more and more welcoming as time has gone on. Like, this is a second annual kind of thing. And uh, so far, like, change has happened. And I think, like, that's uh, kudos to you guys. Because, honestly, uh, I like, my day job, I work in, like, politics and engineering 
two fields that are not uh, recommended for gender disparity. And yeah, so like I, I know what it feels like. I'm very familiar with the issues that come up. And uh, yeah, it's just one of those things where you need to be at the top of your game to really make it ahead just to be on the level playing field. And so often than not, now that things are changing, it's those women that like trailblaze ahead that bring up the others because you don't quite know that it's a problem until someone points it out. And unfortunately the women team seem to be the only ones that point that out, but it's getting better. So yes. Uh, uh, yeah. Marie? Yeah, I I echo what uh, she said about being in a field in work that is surrounded by men. Um, at my, I work at a science museum, and oh. my boss is a male, and my three coworkers on my team are male. Wow. So it's like I'm the only female in the room, and wow. it's it's so great seeing females in a space that is so masculine driven or has been for so long. Um, and especially in Star Wars, seeing yeah. more women, because <laughs> this is a crazy story, but I was, I used to work at Michael's Arts and Crafts store oh, and nice. we had, it was awesome. <laughs> you got a lot of my money. <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot of my <laughs> out, I am broke now. <laughs> and we we got in stock the Star Wars crochet kit. And I was I saw it and I freaked out and I'm like, oh my God, this is so cool. And my boss was like, You like Star Wars? And I was like, Wow. Yes. What year is it? <laughs> and he was like, if this was only like maybe five years ago wow and oh he said isn't it a little bit strange for a girl to like star wars are wow. you I I would have like, him. I'm, I'm sorry look yeah. look every I, there's three women on the screen right now that would kick my ass at star wars trivia so. <laughs> <laughs> with a smile on their face exactly. a hundred percent yeah wow. wow that so, makes me wow. mad yeah. It's great. Oh, I was like, it just blew my mind. I was like, are you serious? Really? What? So, Not okay. I know, Sean. I know it has. <laughs> I know it has. <laughs> I know from, I, thank you. Um, <laughs> they get group ones all the time. Like, it's I, I, don't, I don't know. Jen, like, Jen, don't tell him that. We don't need any more stuff from Michael's <laughs> in our house. <laughs> <laughs> um, Nikki, you're, you're coming from an interesting perspective, very similar to what Molly started out as. We haven't seen your official match yet. You haven't yet to play one. Yeah. Um, and I know you always kind of play their side on your show and everything, but uh, <laughs> Andrew's been involved in it for, for a number of years. You, you're as involved in it as he is, you know, helping him, obviously, on the other side of the country and everything. Um, what does it mean on the outside perspective, but also now coming into the league and yeah. seeing the league grow from what it has been to now? It's wild, man. You know, <laughs> like I feel I almost feel like bad even being on the stream because I haven't debuted. <laughs> but like, no, girl, no, I didn't have no. this either. We're good. We're no. good. Girl, don't even. As someone but, who helped someone study Star Wars, I know you are just as in there with him studying Star Wars as he is. So uh, yes. Molly, I'm sure, can also attest to that. So that's what oh, I'm yeah. saying. You guys there's know so, you guys there's know. yeah, there's <laughs> you know. so many uh spouses, partners that yes. are just as Integral to there he is. their Hi, Andrew. yeah, <laughs> exactly. Look at him! Wow, <laughs> good man. Does that mean the baby's sleeping? I hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's wild, man. Like, oh, I, I echo everything all the other ladies said, and like, especially from a Star Wars perspective, with all the ladies coming into the league, it's kind of daunting. Like, especially as uh, I think I'm the only person in the Star Wars division that hasn't debuted yet. So as a lady, it's kind of nerve wracking because I know that if I don't do super well, it's going to be like, what does this chick know about Star Wars? What an idiot, you know? And especially knowing I'll that like- I'll fight someone for you. I will fight <laughs> I got That's you, girl. girl right there. I That's got you, girl. girl. I'll fight I will too. somebody. Come I got you, girl. But 
At least I just realized no, uh, Jen is no. the only suspect not on screen right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. This is, oh, no, suspects right here. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I feel very comfortable right now. But yeah, no, it's uh, it's crazy. Um, it's It feels so comfortable because like, just like Marie was saying, like last year when we were getting ready for celebration, last year, right? I think no. I don't even know. Two years. Two years. Two years. My bad. Did the last year even happen? <laughs> yeah. No. Like, oh, when we were getting ready. <laughs> <laughs> when we were getting ready for celebration last time, I remember taking off time from work and I work in healthcare administration mm -hmm. at this point. I used to be clinical, but now I'm in administration, whatever, who cares? But when I was getting ready for celebration, I remember some of my like female coworkers were like, Yo, what are you going to like? Are you going to dress up as Princess Leia? I'm like, <laughs> what, can I just go to fucking appreciate it? Like, damn. <laughs> Star Wars celebration. <laughs> Who cares? No, I I'm like Star Wars, to. damn it. Like, <laughs> I'm going to dress up as Luke Skywalker and enjoy yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> the craziest thing is that I didn't dress up. Andrew did. <laughs> I didn't dress up at all. But it's like, it's so comforting being part of a community where it's not only accepted, but celebrated. So it's yes. really, yeah. really, really cool to be a part of a community that is like, hey, man, you know about that stupid tertiary character? Like, people <laughs> love to see it. Like, that last match with Ace and Thomas, who cares about Kabe or Cape, however you pronounce it? Cape, <laughs> who cares? But it's so cool that you knew it. And it's yeah. celebrated. Yeah. And especially with the ladies of this community, like, Marie, I see you with that MC80, with that home one. Get it, girl. <laughs> that, was that was amazing. So it's just so cool. I hope I can even hold a candle to the other ladies in the Star Wars division when and if that day comes for me. But I hope I can. And you you guys have blazed such a trail. And it's it's so empowering. And it's so cool. And I'm, I'm honored to be a part of it all. I was going to say, the one amazing thing is that we're all fans of each other. Like... Unfortunately, yeah. we've all had to play. A lot of us females have had to play against each other so far. But like, we're all such like huge fans of each other. Even though like we're going against each other, like we still root for each other. Mm -hmm. I think that's the one like like playing ground that we all have is that we've got each other's backs no matter what in this league. And it's oh, definitely well, so does another suspect apparently. There's another there suspect. <laughs> in the yep. What's up, hey. Frankie? Frankie. Hey. Love Frankie. Uh, I, I don't. I don't know if if this is uh, legit or not. But Nerd Chronic says, "Can't wait for Nikki and Jen to play later this year." I don't think he means against each other. I'm like. Fair I'm enough. like, spill Fair that enough. tea, though. I mean, depending <laughs> on what the vision that would be, I think it would be a very different story. So, like, <laughs> so we're talking Jen Sturger because I'm down. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, we did get we did get a Streamlabs. This one is from Miss Teresa Sky. Uh, this one was a little while ago, and actually, I actually accidentally missed it. But she says, "Hello, ladies. Thank you for being a constant source of inspiration." Question: What female TV slash movie character inspired or inspires you? Ooh. I love Ooh. these questions we're getting, but like, I have a feeling we'll get a lot of Star Wars. Marie got <laughs> real excited. Yeah, Marie, yeah. Yeah. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. 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 Yes. Because my very first tattoo, it was, it's on my back, and it's the Buffy B, where the bottom of it turns into a stake and has a blood drop coming from it. Ooh. So it's like, yeah, I. Don't I, start it <laughs> and that B could stand for like you know brave, beautiful, like it Whatever means so much want. more than just Buffy. Badass, like, yeah. and, badass, <laughs> yeah. So she absolutely is a huge inspiration, just in being a really powerful woman. Absolutely, so yeah. You just, you just, you just made you a can see the beam. The beam happened always based when Buffy happened. She was like, yeah. <laughs> 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 "You can't see my like." I've got all this Star Wars crap back here, but I have a like a little cubby dedicated to Buffy. So. Buffy oh, cubby. I love it. <laughs> 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 Interesting. <Frankie>. Interesting. <laughs> I mean, for me, I would say like Sarah Connor, man. I mean, like yeah. what those guns that she has. I mean, she's such an empowering, badass woman that like just that woman could face anyone and kick anyone's ass at any time of day. So, I mean, she, I would say Sarah Connor is for me at least. Like Perfect. her and like, uh, 
Ripley too from Alien. Like, I mean, I'm a huge. Yeah. I, I love like horror movies and stuff like that. So for me, it was definitely like those two chicks. I was just like, I want to be you. I wish I could shave my head and look that cool, but that would <laughs> never work. So I can't, I can't pull it off either. So I feel you. I don't have the face for it. Yeah, I, I don't at all. <laughs> girl, girl, if I could, it, this would be God. I would just look like a weird mouse with this like. PJ agrees. Weird, I feel like just stick it out. I don't know. <laughs> Mr. PJ Campbell agrees. So there you go. Yeah. If, if you like that, like Paige and I did a whole debate with Drew on uh, the Sherlock reel about. She talked about it. Yeah. yeah. Like, so if you want like two hours of us, like just fawning over Linda Hamilton. Yeah. Go check that out. There you go. Hey, man, Paige can't shave her head. Paige's hair is too. It's too. Yeah, I, I do like it. my hair. Yeah. Guys, I will say Paige's that. Paige's hair is. Girl, girl, drop that hair care routine, girlfriend. I wouldn't even like, let Paige shave it. Like, <laughs> no. I will say my shampoo and conditioner is very, very expensive. <laughs> drop that routine, girl. Drop it. Drop that link. Drop that link, girl. I'll do it me. in the private chat. I got you. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> I would want to be really cool like Ellie uh, Golding and shave like half my head. But I was like, well, not that. Do like a flip. That. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I wanted to do that like, so bad. Yeah. I was but like, then growing just, it out would be weird. That's yeah. like, that's you'd be like bad. itching one side of your head all the time. Yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> it would just be like sticking out like this. And you'd just be like, what the fuck is going on? Like, <laughs> yeah. I had wigs before. You invest in some cool wigs that year. That's all. Molly kind of yes. did it. I had the sides shaved and like, I still get these little pieces that it's like, come on, grow, 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 grow. Go back, go back. No. Yeah, I'd be afraid if I shaved it that I wouldn't grow back or something. I'd be like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I like my flow. <laughs> uh, Jen, Jen, do you have a, do you have an answer to that? Yeah, like, like growing up, uh, like Indiana Jones is one of my favorite things ever. And like, yeah, obviously I loved Indy. Like I wanted to kiss him and I also wanted to be him a little bit. Mar but Marion Ravenwood was like, that was just a, like a benchmark character for me just because like her introduction is her just getting like totally shit faced in a bar and like drinking exactly. someone to the table that's and like my life she, that's yeah. my life story so <laughs> it's like it was just like she something that i'd never seen before and i was just like wow okay so women are allowed to drink and also to fight and like to be beautiful at the same time because she's absolutely gorgeous uh but then like that that's a very fantasy kind of thing of like you shouldn't really be this kind of person uh <laughs> but uh, the other one for me is uh broadcast news uh holly hunter's character because that is just oh. a very realistic mm -hmm. portrayal of how i feel most of the time at my job of um just trying to like get ahead and do the best you can and not always getting appreciated for what you're doing and everything so that always like it, that one really speaks to me and also has like one of my favorite scenes ever of all time so like her and albert brooks just like break my heart every time so yeah i absolutely love her but yeah there's, there's so many like amazing characters that it's easy to pick like anything and we wouldn't repeat so yeah i agree with what yes, she is sean <laughs> did anyone see what frankie said in the chat that's so funny he said kristen dunn's because in Small show Soldiers, she kicks some ass. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and like, she's wearing like win. bell bottoms and a sweater at the time. So like, it's really great. Small like that. I was, I was, I was literally gonna say, don't get Sean started on Small Soldiers, but he is currently starting in the chat about Small Soldiers. <laughs> small Soldiers yeah. for the win. Yes, do it, do it. Uh, Nikki, yeah. Nikki, what you got? Hey man, if I had to say like a not on brand thing, like not Star Wars, do I'd it. probably, well, you know, not Star Wars. I'd probably say like Amy Santiago from, Brooklyn Nine Nine. Yes. Uh, yes. You know, that's a good one, right? Oh, and that's yes. solid. Kind that's of solid. like a. I mean, on the same, in the same vein. If I'm gonna be on brand with Ray, like I feel like starting out kind of, starting out kind of like you know green. Like I'm not sure what I'm doing. Like I'm trying to be confident, but I really don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Like I'm gonna try to. <laughs> I'm gonna look like I know what I'm doing, but I don't. And like as time <laughs> goes on, you're like, wait a minute. I am awesome. Like I do know you what I'm doing. You are awesome. Thank you. You are awesome. I will say <laughs> you I will too. say I will say a story. Um Nikki and I bonded at the award show. I think it was the award. Was it the awards? It sure we, was. We drunkenly shared a quesadilla together. We oh, it was a <laughs> magical moment. It was, it was an appetizer. It was so damn big it that was I was like, so hey, girl, big. have some. Girl, it was like, <laughs> no lie. It was like, they're like, here's your appetizer quesadilla. And you were like, do you want some of this? And I'm like, uh, you're offering me food. Hell yeah. I'm not going to say no. <laughs> Yeah, it was gigantic. It was ridiculous. It was, like, what are you doing as an appetizer? It was a magical <laughs> bonding moment, and I will always tell that yes. story. And I can't wait to do it again. Right? You know, it's we gonna need happen. To get a case of together. It's gonna happen. <laughs> I believe it. I believe it happen. in my bones. But yeah, man, 
you know, those kind of characters start out like, I don't know, I don't really know what I'm, you know. And then they, 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 you know, time goes on, they grow as people, they grow as ladies, and then they become badasses. So I feel like that's me. I'm still on my way, you know, but I'll get there. You know, Love. Love. <laughs> we'll see what Perfect. happens. Perfect. Um, I'm gonna throw one out there and say uh, Leslie Nope from Parks and Recreation. Yes, yes. Leslie. Yes. <laughs> I love that I show never, so, so much. I was never a Parks and Rex chick. I was The Office forever. But I'm like, who would you pick from The Office? Like, I don't want to be Jan. That's the thing. <laughs> I'm actually like, I've it's thought crazy. about this. Like, as you, if you go back and watch The Office, like a lot of the times you're like, some of these people are just full on assholes. And the only one that I always come back to is like, Meredith. Meredith totally just yes. accepts who she yes. is. Yes. And she doesn't yes. have I any do qualms like about it. It's like, accept me for who I am. So yeah. I have all respect for Meredith. It's particularly yeah. towards yeah, the Yeah, I don't want to be Angela at all. No, no. Or Kelly. I so. do love it. Maybe I, I do love Kelly. Meredith. <laughs> Meredith is solid. I do love me some Meredith too. <laughs> um, we did get a Streamlabs while we were talking. This one's from Daniel. And this one can go to everybody, not just the Star Wars competitors. But what's up, Star Wars fam? Do hey, you all think they should start introducing the TV shows into the division? The Mandalorian, Bad Batch, etc. I don't see the Star Wars division lasting very long with only the same 12 <laughs> movies. May I direct you to the FCL? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That too. <laughs> see, all the things, I don't know how they pull those questions out of their ass. <laughs> but every single time I'm just like, you really need to sit there with a paper and pen writing like cliff notes every five yeah. seconds. Yep. Like you should pause, you should pause. come over when I'm helping write notes. That's exactly what it is. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I've sat in on like some study sessions with Ace and Laura and the two of them just blow my freaking mind. So I don't know how you guys yeah, handle all that. But yeah, like yeah. Yeah, I, I like I, I think it it probably is gonna happen at some point just because like Disney Plus has become more of a Mm -hmm. Kind of, kind this of is as important, important as the movies, movies kind of thing. So, so unfortunately, yeah. But Dude, uh, make it happen. Yeah. It, it'll probably make the writer's job a little bit yeah, easier, so. just because you get some variety <laughs> in there and not have to worry about did we do this already? So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I could see them doing live action shows maybe at some point. I mean, oh, oh. hi, Hilo. Uh, hello, <laughs> Hilo. He has a lot to say about this. Um. But yeah, like, I don't know, like something, something like the Clone like Wars would be just a lot to just dump yeah. on the writers and it's the players. Yeah. Uh, so I think there's some players that might end up dropping out if that was the case. <laughs> so yeah, yeah like that becomes right another job. <laughs> <I'll> <laughs> <Sorry. push it. laughs> But I mean, I may maybe uh, with the live action shows. I want to and... pull this one up real quick. Listen. Sean Sullivan. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I mean, that's that's only Sean. That is all, clearly. Of course, only it's Sean. of course it's only Sean. Of course it is. <laughs> I mean, Bibbs probably would push for it too, but he's oh, not in Star Wars anytime true. soon. He's not in so. Star Wars. Very true. He doesn't get. A but maybe he would if you put that in. So. <laughs> <laughs> Enticing. It's pretty inevitable. Like adding the TV shows is inevitable. Like I yeah, get it. Yeah. This Star Wars universe right now is finite. There's 12 movies. I get it. Like they did. They announced the Rogue Squadron movie. They, they, you know, there's there's movies announced. Blah blah blah. Whatever. It's inevitable. I get it. But honestly, Jill, back me up. Molly, back me up. Marie, back me up. We're not running out of questions anytime soon. Am I right, ladies? No. I mean, thank you. There's plenty. That's there's true. so much that's still ex that's no. unexcavated. Like. You know, I don't, I mean, not to get too, like, well, into there's, the there's details not, and everything, but yeah. like, well, the there's no the lack team. of information, but the, no. pro the problem is from an entertainment standpoint of, mm. you all know this stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But does Joe Schmo, does, does he care Playing about the, 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 I mean, I mean, I've got, I've got, I've got 250 like yeah. Clone Wars questions written up. Thank I mean, you. Oh, yeah. we got Thank time. <laughs> we got time. <laughs> all I gotta say is literally. I'm there. You three <laughs> ladies above me literally want to get my Star Wars tattoos removed because I'm just like, oh. <laughs> I've watched these matches and I'm just like, oh God. You <laughs> can't keep yourself <laughs> right out of it, Paige. You're fine. My head when you that's, guys that tattoo, awesome. that is, I, I just want to say that tattoo, Paige, I love that. is that's awesome. freaking cool. Thank you. Like, you know what's better? It's just even funnier. Someone commented on it like on Twitter and they're like, oh, so is the badass going to make her debut in Star Wars? <laughs> I literally laughed out loud because I was like, oh, <laughs> that's a funny one. Like, 
<laughs> I was like, maybe if one day if I like could be like a, a team with like Nikki or Marie and Star Wars. Hell yeah, let's see. Star Wars teams. Star Wars teams. That would be fun. Star Wars teams. But yeah, then you have to like pick who's the light and who's the dark because there must always be reality. <laughs> or you have like a, a master and a Padawan. Like, mm. who knows? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Personally, I feel like if they're going to add teams, which is going to happen, we all know it. I feel like I'm scared of personally. This is okay. Let me expose myself. <laughs> this is coming from somebody who was the only TV show I've watched is Mandalorian. Oops. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> I don't know what to say. But like, I'm hoping it's a lot to add every TV show at once. So I'm hoping that maybe we kind of, I feel like Molly touched on this. Yeah. Maybe like, incrementally like mandalorian yeah. huh and then maybe we add rebels <laughs> and then maybe we add clone wars like Every maybe incrementally yes, yeah exactly yeah, because yeah. doing it all at once uh no no thank you ghost you need a year uh, off just for everybody to get in exactly there, yeah. and yeah. i'm yeah. sorry to pj and his staff like that's a lot to add that's to them a lot. that is I, and whenever whenever this guy, wherever he's sitting, whatever he retires, I'm down to write for you, PJ. Call me. You know where to find me. But yeah, I'm hoping that we. Yeah, no, you gotta kick like ass first, though, in the schmodown. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we gotta debut, oh, yeah. girl. Let's see, let's see, let's see you rock hard in that uh that match we got going on. We'll see about that, guys. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see, what, happens. We'll see what happens. I I say the same thing all the time. Like if I wasn't an active competitor, I would absolutely help you write questions, PJ. But. That's yeah, what I'm saying. I, I can't do yeah. it in, unless I quit. And yeah, and then these would be really husbands, p- they're competing still, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, you know. Yeah, Nikki, why haven't you like buried your husband in the backyard to steal that belt? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, he, I need to ask him questions sometimes. So he's he's a he's a valuable resource. <laughs> <laughs> one day, um, PJ. One day. All right, one we day. did we and, did get a super chat and. Oh. Hold Can on. we not pull that super chat? I, I have to real quick, real quick. It's, it's a quick <laughs> comment. Uh, or like, you know, add the two Ewok movies and the two holiday specials. Mm. That shows. There mm. Okay, the second holiday special not, is okay. They're not canon. I mean, there canon. could be a holiday exhibition match about the holiday special. <laughs> I think that's the next Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, exhibition matches. That is a good Yanni, idea. You watching? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Marie, Marie, go ahead. Yeah, I just wanted to say that um, that question about Kabe, um that that so my flashcards are mm-hmm. they started out as dragon con flashcards so there are questions in there that i always when i'm going through them i'm like oh that's not a schmodown question the kabe question that's a dragon con question mm-hmm. you know, and i was yep. like oh no <laughs> like oh wow <laughs> Okay, World's colliding. So, yeah, so my my Welcome. Dragon Con questions are apparently now full game yeah. or Schmodown. That question so blew my like, mind. Yes. <laughs> they all blow my mind, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. Marie, I, I, I was there. Yeah. I would like to direct a question to Marie. How has it been going from something like Dragon Con into a world like this where you, you basically came in knowing like Molly and Alex, but have now met. You have to l- learn all these other freaks in here. Like that's yeah. <laughs> yeah. all these other weirdos. <laughs> yeah. And now you're on a team with people you just maybe study with or just ha- you're getting to meet all these people. How has that been? Um, it's been really, really great um, with Dragon Con, like the top 10 for the past few years has been female wise me and maybe someone else. And it's like, it's not many people, many females. So coming into this and seeing all these females is just really cool. So it's, it's nice to know that I'm not alone. So it's it's really, really great. And it's been so much fun getting to know everybody in this community and just People that are nerdy about knowing trivial information, because I've always loved trivial information, especially about Star Wars. But, you know, really anything is interesting. So I I think it's been really, really cool that I'm surrounded by a whole bunch of nerds and we all <laughs> love each other for it. So it's super cool. It's also really cool that the reigning Dragon Con champ is a lady. Can I yes. Say? Yes, it is. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Marie, when you won Dragon Con trivia last year, I about lost my shit. And <laughs> I was just like, if we don't get her in the showdown, <laughs> like, what's the point? 
And Alex was so helpful and so beneficial for all of that. And I thank him so much for that. Um, he was definitely a big like proponent of me being in the Schmodown. And so oh, yeah. that was super helpful to have that bit of support for sure. Um, we, we are going to have to wrap up here in just a quick second, but no. I, I want to end with uh, Molly's question that she asked a group earlier today about advice. Molly, if you'd like to ask that. Yeah. So I've just been asking basically uh, what your advice would be to anyone out there currently watching or wa watching this later that is thinking about trying to get involved in the Schmodown, whether it be on the trivia side, behind the scenes, you know, working on editing or promo shooting promos or any of that kind of stuff. Um, just from your experience so far, what would you say to someone who is wanting to get involved? Who wants to go first? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll go first. Ready. We changed my name to I'll guess I'll go first. Yeah. I guess I'll go first. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly though, like do it. I never I've always been a huge fan of the Schmodown. I never thought in a million years that I would have this opportunity that's still mind boggling to me to be able to do it. Like the thing is, if you love movies. And you want to meet some people that love movies and be able to hang out with them and call them like your pals. Like this is like the community for you. And like in the community is just growing so much, whether it be players or managers or after shows or just like reactionaries mm -hmm. or just like editors, or anything like there's room for everyone in this community, which I think is just like amazing. And especially for women, because I feel like we need more women followers in this league. That's why it's so nice that there's so many women like represented now in the Schmodown. Cause like, it's hopeful that we can show and show all like ladies that like, or anyone that like, this is a place for you. And it's like a safe place that all us movie nerds can be and just like love each other and answer questions. Like, yeah. Like, my first match I played against Peggy, like, yeah, I smack talked the whole time. But you know what? Right afterwards, like we did a nice like virtual air hug. Like <laughs> we love each other. Like it's just about like, it nice. too. It's the <laughs> best thing about it. It's especially and it comes from the people that that do the most trash talking in mm -hmm. the match afterward. It's like, oh my God, you're amazing. You're yeah. the best. Let's go get yeah. a drink across the street when we were in studio. It was let's go get a drink across the street tonight. Like that's the thing. It's like you on in screen, you guys will completely obliterate each other <laughs> but like as soon as the camera is off it's just oh, yeah. this huge camaraderie and everyone behind the scenes it's, it's a family yeah. like it, it really is yeah. and i i've never and that's the amazing thing because i've never been part of it before i was never in the fan leagues or anything like that i was just a huge fan mm -hmm. and like I, I feel like i'm part of something now and like mm -hmm. literally like the schmodown has done so much for me like mentally like, last year sucked for everyone and like I am so grateful and like it was such a huge blessing in disguise that the pandemic happened because I would have never yeah. gotten this grateful opportunity to meet all you lovely people and be on screen with all these beautiful people right now. So it's just like dreams come true. Anything could happen. Come join the community because it's worth the wild. Like <laughs> cheers awesome. to that. Yeah. Uh Jen. Uh, yeah, like like I concur with everything that Paige said. Like uh, I have been on pretty much like every uh, side of the Schmodown at this point. I started as a fan. I've been an admin. I did the fan leagues. Uh, I was a question writer for a very long time. And like so, yeah, I I was I briefly was an editor when I had to make my own promo. And uh, <laughs> I have so much respect for Eric Nerd Chronic now. Uh, but yeah, like I honestly, uh, yeah, like the the Schmodown. I got the Schmodown. Like I fell into it because I was bored. Really, and I was just one of those things. Uh, like it I was happens. surfing the web, and I found the shows, and I got stuck in this weird little community. Because like I, I'm, I, I would argue that I'm probably the biggest loser on this <laughs> this panel, honestly. Uh, but you know, like for more reasons than one, I, I'm all, I'm sitting on zero and two. Can I just appreciate uh, you that? said that everyone here went. To a lot of people, to a lot of people, you were the MVP of the free for all. Don't don't yeah. sell. Oh yourself. girl. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, don't but like yourself. the the thing is, like the well is so deep now because like everyone is so great and everyone just keeps upping each other's game that like I know that if I go zero and three. I probably won't be here for next year's thing, honestly. But, like I'll be in the family. I like I'll still be a fan, but I might not still be here. Uh, but yeah, like 
it's this is just one of those things of it's movies is always something that spoke to me and then you kind of find this weird little community that everyone kind of feels the same way and to see the women slowly but surely being accepted more and more into both the community and the players and behind the mm -hmm. scenes and everything it's just a beautiful thing because like like we were talking before of like people still to this day making fun of people that's like, oh, really women like Star Wars? I never knew that kind of stuff. Like, and I'm gonna age myself a little bit here, but something that always stuck in the back of my brain is a weird little line from Fairly Odd Parents of, I like kissy kissy goo goo and skull squisher. Never put yourself in a box. I love like, Fairly Odd Parents so much. Yeah, oh like, you can like everyone involved, like we all have these weird little overlaps of things that we enjoy and that should be celebrated that you're your own person and each individual that gets introduced to the Shmodan, it's not just another girl. It's not just another Star Wars player. It's a complete individual and I can't wait to see mm -hmm. like all these other people really get to blossom and show themselves. So if you feel like you're like, we're talking about Pride Month, like if you feel like you don't know who you are and you're looking for somewhere to celebrate and maybe like discover yourself, this is a good place to start, so. Come, come and guys, I must say, Jen and I, little fun fact, we went to the same high school and we're, we're like, we, live, school. we live very close to each other and like no we way. have not met. And I wish like, hold I was on, I'm gonna go get it right now, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. That, that's insane. That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> That's amazing. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Like this community cool. brings so many people together. Like I would have never known like Jen. Like this is just like crazy. And like Jen, I'm gonna call you. We're gonna go get drinks next weekend. Like <laughs> it's just like it's awesome that we like have this experience that like we all everyone's there for each other and it's just yeah. so beautiful. That's uh, Marie. Sad. I I guess just the biggest thing is get involved and just go for it. Like that's that's really all I have to add, but I something that's that's really helped me get immersed in the community is by being involved and um, you know, I'll be on shows or watching shows, the after shows and watching every single match and seeing what's going on and like just you know, immersing yourself in it. Mm -hmm. And Nikki? Well, as somebody who hasn't <laughs> debuted, <laughs> my advice. <laughs> well, you know, I haven't debuted myself, but I have vicariously lived through another competitor. Absolutely. I mean, you only, have a, you only have a belt in your clearly, living room. Clearly. Yeah. 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 Are there times like, nights where like, I'm going to go take care of the baby, but Suki, you're like, oh, this yeah. belt looks really good. Yeah. Right I was going to say, <laughs> is it in the living room or is it in Andrew's lap right no, now? No, it's in this room, but I'm not allowed to touch it. So. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Behind glass, it, like really. Alarm okay, system. I need to see a promo. Okay, your promo. You literally <laughs> need to do like a Mission Impossible thing and <laughs> and just like touch the belt. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh my god! At this point, I don't even think I could. <laughs> <laughs> It'll give you the bag to touch it, maybe steal it, lick it. Who knows? Does he, does he have like mission? Does he have like lasers? Like, yeah. Like <laughs> you know, he laid. He was like, "Hey, listen, I don't think you should touch it." And I'm like, "You know what, bro? I respect you, <laughs> like, so love, bro. <laughs> bro. I get it. I respect you. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm not gonna make you uncomfortable. So you know." <laughs> <laughs> You know, every so often I'm like, I should fucking touch it. <laughs> legally, <laughs> legally, that belt is half yours. Legally, that belt is yeah. half yours. I have, and you helped him get it. Know, so I'm the reason for some of those yeah. answers he got right. If I'm, oh, if I'm yeah. gonna be honest, you but, definitely you know, are. Touch the belt. As, <laughs> as somebody who so, has experienced the the somebody else's touch eyes. The belt. Touch, touch the, the belt. belt. You're you're the standing outside the door, seeing if she's like gonna get up and walk to the yeah. belt. <laughs> gonna go hide it now, so he knows you're coming for it now. Like, yeah. like he's gonna go like take it out in a vault somewhere, and that's where he's gonna live. What is this? <laughs> Nikki get tackled out. out of the screen real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I promise, babe, I'm not gonna touch it. But <laughs> but I would say probably my biggest. If we're talking about advice, I think that's what the original. Yes. Yeah. Was. Mm. Yes. My biggest piece of advice as somebody vicariously living through somebody else, maybe don't read comments <laughs> to YouTube. Yeah, video. Number one. Don't yes. Yes. Don't maybe don't read Reddit. Reddit. Don't read YouTube comments. Maybe don't read you uh, the Facebook comments because there's gonna always be 
just bought a safe for the belt. Damn it. <laughs> you know the code. You'll be good. Don't worry. He can't hide shit birthday. from me. <laughs> He's legally bound to me. So. <laughs> but yeah, no, I would say avoid that kind of stuff. Do you? Uh, because there's always going to be, look at, um, I know Andrew might not appreciate this, but Tom Brady, I don't know, the best of the best. There's always, there, even people hate that man. You know, and he's yeah. the best of the best. There's always going to be people, no matter how good you are, they're going to try to bring you down. And yeah. one thing that I saw somewhere online that I was like, oh, damn, I'm going to teach that to my daughter one day was people only trying to bring you down when they're already beneath you. And I'm like, damn, that's good advice. That was deep. Yeah. Very good. That's right. great yeah. because it's true. If mm -hmm. they're already below <clears> you, they're going to try to bring you down. So you know what? Don't fucking waste your time reading those comments. No. Sorry if we're not allowed to say bad words on this podcast. No, nope. <laughs> girl, go for it. We got a swear <laughs> jar going. All, all, all donations <laughs> go to the Trevor Project. It's all yes. good. Support, there you go. guys. But yeah, don't don't drag yourself down with that negative stuff. You know how yeah. good you are. And the Schmodown, the, the worst part about the Schmodown is you know so much more than anyone's ever going to see. There's yep. so many facts yep. that you know that you're never going to get to showcase. That sucks. Yep. But it's the fact of the matter. So... Yep. Just do you, do your best. You know what you know. Nobody's comments are going to erase any of the knowledge that's already in your head. Mm -hmm. You know, just yeah. because somebody says, oh, this guy's never going to fucking win this match. Does that change any of the stuff you know is in your head? Yeah. No. So just yeah. do you, just do your best. That's what I'm going to try to do whenever I get my first match, if and when, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, you know, I'm going to try to do my best. Hopefully I don't get knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> you're but, highly but even if you do it doesn't matter because we know even if know I do fit. at least I tried you know <laughs> absolutely <laughs> you still put yourself <laughs> out there I so, love it. exactly I love get out of your comfort zone every so often because this is definitely whenever that match happens it's going to be out of my comfort zone so get out of your comfort zone and don't worry about anybody else just do you baby that's what I would say hey, that's can we all know that after I know we're all in different states but I love you all so much and I can't wait to see you guys all in person yeah, yeah. 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 my ring light, and I'm not that pale. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I just I want to give a big shout out to all four of you. Uh, th thank you so much for first of all joining us, but also the commitment you guys have given to this community, this league. Um, it it really shows, and we appreciate it as hosts out of Asher after show fans. I know I'm speaking for all fans, but um, it just it all shows, and we know, and, and we're very thankful. And, and thank you guys for joining us. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, <laughs> <I appreciate laughs> it. Ha have a good night and uh, hopefully we'll talk to you guys all soon. Yeah. Love you guys. Bye. Love you guys. Bye. Good night, everybody. Oh. That was a fun group. That was a fun oh, group. Yeah. Um, all right. So I know we are running a little behind. Hey, things happen. While we wait for the next group to filter in, um, we do have another video from someone who has sent in uh, a, a two parter. It is a two parter. Oh. But it's very much needed, and that is from the crusher herself, Miss <gasps> Rachel Cushing. Rachel! So it's a two-parter. Hang on tight. But here is the words of Rachel Cushing. Rachel Cushing! Hi, everyone. I can't tell you how excited I was to hear that the Certain Point of View crew decided to turn their Schmodown Ladies Appreciation Night into an annual event. This time last year, a number of comments and tweets came out, seemingly right in a row, that specifically targeted women in the Schmodown, trying to tear them down, tell them they didn't belong. And I can't stress how important and amazing it was that we were given a platform where we could all come together and have serious and open and honest discussion of what it was like to be women, not just in the Schmodown, but in the YouTube, social media, public sphere. It's not easy. But that night, we were able to share our stories, share our truths, and we were looking for support. And I. And we got it. We got it not just from within the community, the, the Schmodown, the people who run it, the other competitors, but from the fans. I think we might even have gotten through to a handful of fans who hadn't really considered that their comments might be perpetuating double standards or could be considered demeaning toward women or sexist. The idea was to open a conversation and a dialogue. The idea was to be believed. The idea was to be understood. And every step we make towards helping people realize that these double standards exist and what we can do to fight them is a step in the right direction. And so I'm just so grateful that we had that platform last year and I'm so excited that it's back again this year. And I hope that it is just as much about celebration as it is about having those hard discussions. 
We have a long way to go, I'm not saying we don't, but I love the idea of women coming together and being supported and supporting each other and sharing the good stories and the bad stories. I want everybody to laugh and cry and celebrate and cheers. And, you know, it's about coming together and, you know, we're stronger as a group. Women are strong. We're warriors. When we come together, we're that much stronger and we can have that much more of an impact. So personally, Oof. I would just like to say to the competitors, the female competitors in the league, thank you. I want to remind you to believe in yourselves, believe in what you know, and believe in the fact that you are making a difference. I promise you that you are, whether or not you win matches. That's the important thing. You're putting yourselves out there and knowing the kinds of comments that will often come your way, but you do it anyway because you know how important it is. And I commend you for that. I love you for that. I hope you keep going. I hope you keep fighting. I'd also encourage you to keep talking about those comments. Keep calling them out. A, because some of them, we could change minds. That's the goal. Make people think twice before they make the comment. Would you say that about a male competitor? Is that demeaning? Is that about a double standard? Think about where it's coming from. It's important, not just in this tiny community about the Schmodown, but in the world at large. Also, I think that it's time we called the trolls out. I'm not about you know, letting them hide behind their names and avatars. I think it's about reminding them and everybody else that they're too scared to do what you do every day. They couldn't do what you do. You women, you are the brave ones. You are the smart ones. You are the hardworking ones. They are cowards and they could never do what you do. And they would never say those comments to your face. And if they hear that and they see that and that support comes from not just other women, but men and everybody who's involved in the league and the world at large, they're eventually going to have to shut up. So stay strong, um, be bold, be the warriors you are, and not just to the competitors, but to all the female competitors who have ever competed in the Schmodown, but have since retired, to the female managers, you guys are amazing, you kick ass, to all the female podcasters, the reactors, to the fans, like I said, we're stronger together. So take these moments, these streams and these communities, come together, be strong, support each other, have fun. And I'm so glad that this is gonna be an annual thing. Good luck, have fun, and hopefully I'll be able to join you next year. Love you all. The Yay. legend, the legend. What a queen. That was awesome. That was the awesome. Thank, thank you, Rachel. I'm sure she's gonna watch thank this on you. replay, but Rachel, thank you so much for sending that in. We greatly, gra you. greatly appreciate that. The, uh, those those words that she just said, that, that is the reason why uh, someone like me who has a losing record and we're probably continue to have a losing record, uh, I'm still going to play. Because you know what? Fuck it. Oh, <laughs> no, I mean, oh. like... But but she but what she said is so accurate is those people who say <laughs> the people who say those BS comments and we talked we talked about it briefly with the last group they would never say that to your face no and no, these people no. and yeah. the people that are saying that aren't involved yep in any capacity aren't competitors if you are in this in any capacity you would realize the kind of nonsense and it, this is a second job the schmodown it's essentially a second mm -hmm. job to a lot of people. And they're what Rachel said. They're trolls, and it's nonsense. And and I have been seeing since our last our last episode um, last year, a lot more people are sta are standing up and calling those people out. I'm seeing that a lot. I've seen it. Absolutely. I've seen it on YouTube. I've seen it on Twitter. I've seen it in the Facebook group. I've seen it on freaking Reddit. People are calling them out. So if you see that kind of nonsense. <laughs> Calling a competitor As she breaks out. Things. Sorry. As she breaks. <laughs> yes, thank you. There, there it is. It's she's and I can I can never I can never stop praising the graces of Rachel Cushing because she I said it before early in the stream. There are many women who they are the reason why I started continually watching the Schmodown, and Rachel is hundred percent one of them. And I can talk about her for her Clark well, Emma Roxy for. A millennia, but we have so many other amazing women who are adding to that list of yeah. people why I continue yeah. to watch the showdown who are joining us oh, right now. Uh, I was oh, I was gonna excited. say uh the four the four ladies that we have coming on, Rachel was probably a big inspiration for them. So let's mm -hmm. let's go ahead and bring them on. Four rookies who have absolutely made their impact so far this year. We have 
Beth May, Peggy Gubbins, Chrissy V, and Jessica Schloth. What yes! is up? Hello. 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 Welcome, ladies. Hello. Hello. Dude. How's it going? Rachel had me ready to run through a wall for a hot second. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I was absolutely ready to go to war. Right? Mm -hmm. That's what she, she does. That's amazing. what she does. Um, yeah. Well, th thank you, ladies, for so much for joining us uh, and patiently waiting. I know we are behind, but um, I'm glad that the four of you are together because you are four rookies who are all in the singles division. Uh, kind of same mindset, different factions, though, um, other than – Peggy and, Peggy. Other than Peggy and Jess. Other than Peggy and Jess. What up, but Dan? I, I, I just wanted, I wanted to start because obviously the four of you have probably been fans for a very long time. Um, you get drafted this year. You've been thrown into the mix that is the Schmodown. And now you see all these women who are flocking together and coming together throughout all this process, whether you're on different factions or not. What does it mean to you to finally be involved and see it happening from behind the scenes? Peggy, I'll start with you. You gotta start with me. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Peggy. <laughs> oh, what does it mean to me? Oh, geez. Um, well, uh, those of you who have seen my first match against Paige know the backstory of why being a part of this community to the point where I am a Schmodown competitor means so much to me because Oh, I'm probably gonna start crying now because I just oh. saw my I just saw my parents and my other brother for the first time since like pre-pandemic pretty much yesterday. Um, yeah, I shouldn't have started with me, but <laughs> <laughs> oh, it just uh, it's it was a thing that brought me and my brother Mike together. We had I, to say that we had a perfect relationship would be an overstatement. Uh, there, there's a lot of baggage there that I do not care to unpack publicly, but. Uh, uh, there was a, like, there's certain things that we could always talk about and the Schmodown became one of them very late in the game with him. And the fact that I am now a member of this community to the point where I am a competitor and maybe he's looking down on that. That just, it means the world to me. A winning competitor. <laughs> well, Almost, 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 almost. almost hey, you, you, got, ah. you got to win in the big leagues. You got to win. This in is the big true. Leagues. This is true. It's a check mark next to that W. But no, the last the last time I was on the show with you guys, I said like I got that win for him. Now I'm playing for me. I think I gotta I gotta remember that the reason I'm here really is because of him, and I think I gotta keep playing for him. And I know it's supposed to be Ladies Appreciation Night, but you caught me off guard in an emotional moment. All apparently. good. All good. <laughs> it's fine. All good. Um, Jessica, what's up? All that. <laughs> Jessica, I'll go straight to you. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Love so, you, Jessica. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess for me, yeah, so I have watched for a few years, and I've always been, like, and I don't think this is, like, me being a woman. I think this is just more my, like, personalities that I often don't think I'm good enough, like, in general. Like, the imposter syndrome is always real. And so, like, a fellow lady in the involved in the league, Abby was like person who like pushed me to do it. Like I didn't think I like was ready or good enough, but I tried and I guess I am good enough to be you here. So Hell yeah. Absolutely. Hell yeah, you are. Hell yeah, yes, is. you are. I can confirm. <laughs> <laughs> uh Christy? I'll go next. First, I want to say, Jill, whatever your hair is doing today is fabulous. Yes. Oh my God, thanks. You're working it, girl. Thanks. It's just, it's just one of those blow dry brushes, girl. Oh. Like that's. I have that, the Conair one. It's, yeah. Yes. yes. My hair is naturally curly, so I think that's why it does this. Well, you're killing it. Thank you. Brian, Brian, <laughs> how, Brian, how's your night going? Is it good? <laughs> it's good. I don't even know why we came because we have no business being here. <laughs> Yeah, Ryan is my biggest fan on Fridays. So, oh my god, can I just tell you? Sorry, yeah. off track. Uh, I went home for the weekend, both driving down and both driving up. That's all I listened to in the car. Oh. <laughs> well, this just, is, just 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 letting you know. We're, uh, we're da, 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 da. yes, you're next. You are next. <laughs> saying, just saying. So, exciting things. But, uh, um, yeah, so I guess I'll answer the question. Um, <laughs> so I started watching this, uh, I think it was season three, so the Collider. Uh, is oh, the first wow. Time the collider. Um, so I remember the first time I saw Clark Wolf play. And I said to Anthony, I was like, 
oh, there's a girl. She, she she better be good because I know how it is to be a woman in basically anything that we have to work twice as hard and we have to do it with a smile on our face and we have to be nice and we have to be approachable. And I was like, and if she's not good, the comments are going to eat her up and more women might be too afraid to do this. So it was like, there's so much weight. And I'm at that point, I was like a 26 year old, 27 year old woman to be like, there's a girl playing. Like I've been watching so many matches and it was finally a girl. Um, so yeah, just like seeing Clark play for the first time and just like killing it. And she went on that run and it was just like, you're like, oh, maybe that could be me someday. And uh, yeah, you know, so you guys clearly I'm on like a three game winning streak. I don't know where you guys have been, but I've also been killing it. <laughs> Um, just like Clark, my mentor, my inspiration yes. for life, you know? But yeah, that was like, that was a big thing for me that I was like, oh, like girls can do this too and we can kill it. So it's just an honor to even get a chance to play and potentially kill it someday. And Beth? Hello. Um, I, okay, <laughs> in contrast with everybody else's better answers, I heard of the, I heard of the Schmodown in October of, 2020 maybe a little earlier um i uh i i live in la and we got this new roommate we we live in a house with a bunch was of roommates it, was it one frankie jan oh my, my was. I, you know what i hate to give nemesis. credit to any man tonight at all but i do have to <laughs> shout out to frank um for moving in and one being just like uh, he's such a sweetie pie. He's like he the is. nicest dude, and we, uh, I'll like I'll never one that. of the greatest roommates <laughs> to have. And you know, there's like there's like seventeen hundred of us living in this house together, so um, <laughs> it's easy to get lost. But um, yeah, he uh, he introduced me to the Schmodown, and I, I work, you know, like in entertainment or whatever. So uh, you ever sit down, and you think, wow, was this made for me? Then no, it was made for a lot of people, and that's why a lot of people love it. But it just felt super. Um, uh, you know, faded in a way. And so I started watching it and um, I just, I just fell in love. It was just a, a great way to mesh personality and intelligence and stuff like that. And to see so many women doing it was honestly like, yeah, a huge relief. It was just like, thank God that we've, we've sort of, thanks to the, like to the credit of the giants that are women that are not giant, but just like you know, morally giants in this. Okay, <laughs> Sorry, legendary. Okay, legendary. yes. Okay. Um, but uh, thanks <laughs> to the people who have come before us, it's just like, you know, we are able to be normal people. We don't have to be like. I mean, I'm speaking just for myself here, but I think um, I don't know. It's it's nice to see any sort of sport that is. <laughs> Sport that is co ed evolved to the point where you can just be like, I want to be in this and I want to be okay at it. <laughs> I don't have to be the best. I just want to earn my spot and then be okay and have a great time and contribute and stuff like that. And that you don't have to be the only woman, the best woman, the the most right. pretty or whatever. So there you go. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, Jill, I'll go ahead and uh, go to you next for anything you want to ask. Yeah, so I've been asking what keeps you in the schmodown to our uh, previous uh, <sighs> guests here, but you guys are all rookies. So I'll, I'll change that up a bit. And what was it that made you say in your head, I need to be a part of this? What, what made you say, I need to be a part of the schmodown? I need to be a part of this community. Um, I will start with uh, Christina. Um, yeah, so... I mean, obviously Anthony and I have been watching this for a while and it's my, I got into the questions more because I'm not going to, it took me an extremely long time to figure out the storylines were like not real. And I just thought like people were assholes. <laughs> like welcome to the wrestling aspect. Right. Yeah. I was like, I was like, Man, they're like really mean to each other. This is like kind of rude, but I was like, I live in New Jersey. So it's like typical behavior. So I wasn't like, as, totally as someone whose family but. is from Jersey. Yeah. I was like, Oh, it's fine. Like, it's totally fine. Like I would still hang out with them. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> um, but I think like when you go to your first live event, it's one of the very few places where everyone fits in. And I was never really the type of person that had issue fitting in anywhere, but everybody is accepted. You, I mean, I've talked to people I've never spoken to before because we all like the same things. And if I see somebody that's sitting by themselves, it's like, come over and sit with us, like come hang out with people. 
and everybody's talking and everybody's getting along because we all have this common thing that we love. And I think that community is what makes you just want to be a part of it. You want to be a part of it more. You want to meet as many people as possible because I mean, everybody that I've interacted with has been so positive. This last year was hard on everybody. And I can say like, I personally, I've had some really, really dark lows, especially these past couple, like six months. And like, I'll always open up Twitter and people are just saying who I've never met before are just saying like just the most positive and inspiring things and are just like really just are there to lift you up. And I think that's just like a really positive thing to be a part of. And that's kind of why I, why I wanted to be a part of it. And I wanted to kick some ass and maybe someday I will. <laughs> you got will. this. You yes. will. You will. You can... got you. <laughs> uh, Peggy. Oh, you're muted. You're muted, you're muted, muted. girl. You're muted. Um, Shocking. Doggo, doggo yeah, it's, 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 it's very much a me thing to have done that. I just <laughs> it's like dog in my lap and everything. Oh. Um, uh, for me, I like, I, like Jess said, it was a little bit of imposter syndrome up until the first match, just because you don't know if are you really capable of hanging with these super talented people. And it wasn't until round two of my first match when I didn't have to check down to multiple choice. I went perfect. And I'm like, okay, maybe I can actually do this. But I think the thing that keeps me here, like really keeps me here, uh, yeah, the community that I've, I've made friends all around this country. I've never met them before in my entire life, but I guarantee you we're going to hug it out the minute we all get to a live event one day. And I, these are people I'm probably going to keep in contact for years to come, regardless of whatever happens. So I think just the, yeah, the community in large. But the thing that like makes me want to stay is that little tinge in round two of my first match where I'm like, okay, maybe I can actually do this. Maybe I can actually hang with these people. <laughs> uh, Beth? Uh, yeah, Beth. Sure. Um, I, get, I mean, I'm not going to say anything new, I don't think. I think that this community <laughs> is um, is amazing and supportive and fun and um, something like, uh, you know, where you have FOMO through a screen, I think is a, is a weird way to put it, but it's just like... Um, we all love movies. We all we all have been raised on these things that like take us to different places and stuff like that. And to have all of them kind of in one place in a shared collective of brains duking it out to um to say a movie <laughs> or a name is like really special. And I I think that so many people have uh, found that sense of community and sense of just sort of somebody to reach out through, um, the, especially this last year. I mean, like, that's all I can speak for because I didn't know about it before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and Jessica. Um, so the question was why I deserve to be here. <laughs> what, why, 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 what, what makes why? you stay? What makes you stay? Yeah, wait, what, what, what makes you stay? What is it about the Schmodown that kind of like just like clicks with you? Oh. Um, lots of things. I, <laughs> I'm really great at this, this part where people ask me interview <laughs> questions that I have to talk about myself. <laughs> um, well, I think that like, obviously always, I don't know where it. Like, I think the representation of like the types of women that are coming in is, is growing as well. Like, it's not just like, same age group it, that which is what I'll account for is like we're getting younger yeah and um which proves to be like a an interesting obstacle for me <laughs> because there's a lot of things I haven't um but no I I'm being really descriptive right now <laughs> um I don't know I just I mean I said how I got into it and i always watched and I enjoy both of the storyline thing and the um, trivia part and it's something that like I thought I could could be good at but I wanted to like take my shot at and so eventually I just have been trying and and now you're here you're involved in this yes. craziness <laughs> absolutely <laughs> where did that perfectly <laughs> uh, we, we do have a couple of stream labs that have come through real quick. Uh, first one's from PLD. Just wanted to hop on real quick and celebrate the ladies of the Schmodown. Much love to you all and great work, PLD, for doing this salute. 
Thank you, PLD. Much appreciated. Um, uh, kudos one. to you with the FCL, PLD. Yeah, seriously, yes. great work over there, yes. man. Great work. Um, next one comes from Canada Rocks, and he says, "Are the four of you looking forward to playing in the studio and live? Are you or, or live and or and are you nervous about that? Personally, I cannot wait to see any of you any of you at a live show. I miss it dearly." Y'all have yet to experience my studio, Jameson. Oh, God. It needs to Here happen. We go. Here we it go. It needs to happen. This I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I hope that I'm not too nervous to not just appreciate every moment of it to realize that I'm actually privileged enough to be participating in a Schmodown match being taped in a studio or a live event. Just, just I just hope whenever, if it ever happens, that I soak it all in and just have fun. I would, yeah, I would love to do an in-studio live match. I think I might, um, you know, panic like a small dog or something like that, but I can guarantee you, you that, <laughs> um, I think I would just be like, yeah, like, but um, <laughs> after that, I hopefully that would only last a, a small percentage of the time. I think I would really have a, a total blast just, uh, just meeting everybody in person and then just soaking in the live, the live energy, the live stress, the live trivia, et cetera, all live. Christina? Uh, no, thank you. I did not think for the entire day of my match in my home office. <laughs> I was so nervous. So, I mean, I'm not going to turn it down, but I'm definitely going to be nervous the entire time. So, thanks for having me. <laughs> That's fair. Come, come to me, Christina. I would feel the come same here. way. I would feel the the exact same way. I'd be I don't so do it. Like, I don't do Jameson, but if you have any vodka, I will happily. Girl, I will yeah. get you a specific one just for you if Thank you come you. down to studio. I will. I, I got you, girl. I that's can be bright. Yeah, that's one of the best things about the, whenever live events come back is, like, once the cameras turn off, everyone is there. Everyone is in person. We can turn off the character work. We can turn on just, like, being human beings and being friends and everyone, like, goes to the bar across the street after a match and bar across the street. Yeah. <laughs> as, it's, as it's been humbly called over the years. <laughs> <laughs> or everyone goes to Jill for, for some Jameson. Cle clearly that's all that happens. <laughs> We've heard it over the last year. That's clearly what happens. <laughs> so. People get mad when I don't bring it. They're like, did you bring your Jameson? I'm like, <laughs> oh, <God>. yes. <laughs> they get upset um, when I don't. Uh, Jessica, what about you? Is, is a live or studio, is that interesting at all? It is interesting, and I think I give off like nervous energy. But the more nerve wracking part for me would be like the the show part and the performance aspect of it, and like answering the like interview questions like before, yeah. and like do, I don't, and also like don't even know what the studio looks like inside. Like I can't <laughs> picture it. Like I've only seen it from the like the show, you know, like watching part. Because um, I think some people, I guess, from what I've gathered, is like you watch tapings before you start playing usually or something unless like, you're the first scheduled match then, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like no idea but um like i get super nervous but then in the in my match that i played with beth like once it started i i thought yeah. it, i was like i was pretty calm like with the game part of it all but like so so i would i would love to but don't know how showy I would be. <laughs> like uh, I said, don't know what to do with my hands most of the time. I, just, I can't tell you how many times <laughs> I, right. I, I don't, I don't, I don't, like I quote Will Ferrell, I, I, I don't know what to do with my hands. That's, that's right. something that's fantastic about digital matches because all you have to do is this. They're like, show your hands. Here you go. Here's my Here hands. <laughs> and I love the, like the different ways people like do it. Like I was like here, like giving myself a massage. Like, yeah, like this is the most like Dark. stressful thing. Like this too, like, it's too I, like fluid. I, I don't too, know. Like, I, I like, need to, like, too, like, like I like the Chance Ellison. The yeah. Chance Ellison yeah. thing I like. I either, I either hold a pen or I'm going to start just doing this. <laughs> <laughs> so that should be a I'll thing. over here like. Do the most awkward thing you can do with yeah. your hands. Just yes, yeah, like the Napoleon Dynamite. Like, yeah. This, you know, yeah. Like stare just into your opponent. Just stare into the camera. Just, <laughs> like what was this the whole thing? time? <laughs> like 
<laughs> I went Garden State. State. Yes. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Um, all right. We did get a couple more streamlines here. Next one came from Canada Rocks. He says, Peggy, you know how I feel. You're really 2-0. and A chimpanzee is not a monkey. You were robbed. Um, so there you go. Well, I also should have seen John Carter. And I also should have remembered that Travolta was in Carrie. Fair. I didn't and I should have you know that. realized Those that boy this at the end was not too bad. Yeah. Yeah. Those, Those, Those are boy answers. Those are boy answers. Those are boy answers. Gosh, PJ, stop writing boy questions. <laughs> That's another thing is slowly more girl movies are being movies. in the yeah. questions. Yes. And I'm like, mm -hmm. Love and you it, hate to separate it out that way, but yes, yeah. But it's it's just it's a it's a harsh truth. Yeah. So you don't yeah, I mean, you don't want to say that like Star Wars who, is a boy a boys movie, but yeah. then you know. And there are certain yeah. competitors who run, don't walk away from like rom coms or romance or coming of yeah. age. Yeah. And that's just the way. It, I mean, p different strokes for different folks. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, next one is a very generous hundred dollar donation oh from the one gosh. and only Mr. Mark Ellis. Um, Mark! Mark Ellis here. Apologies for not being there to support in person, but we're home from a long and successful day at the vet. Puppy did well and wanted to send a few bucks. If my vid already played, yes, those sunglasses are as expensive as they look. Cheers, ladies. <laughs> Mark Ellis, I can never stop Thank you, Mark. raising your graces, Mark. Thank you, Mark. Uh, Very so happy to hear good. that Molly had a clean bill of health. Yes, yes. I love yes. Molly. Yes. We need Ooh, Mark. Molly. If Mark, if you are still watching, we need to see more Molly in the matches. Show mm. us more Molly. Yes. I was hoping that he was possible. going to give in a public apology for calling me ma'am. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just don't run over that. Oh, well, now he might. Yeah, ho hopefully he's still watching. It. Hopefully he's now still watching. <laughs> uh, we did it. get one more here from Theral, and uh, he said, uh, if you do a studio match, you'll find out what Radis is drinking. Is it tomato? Oh, wow. Is it tomato juice? Have we figured I that out? Yeah, I, I, heard heard sauce, sauce. So I don't know if that's true. Yeah. You know, it's he's a boy, wild. and I'm not going to speculate on ladies' night. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This boy is ladies' night. night. This is ladies' <laughs> night, damn it. This is ladies' night. We don't <laughs> talk about them right now. That is fair. That is fair. Uh, Brian, I'm going to shoot it to you next. Do you have a question for the ladies? Yeah. So what is one thing that you have just absolutely loved since you've joined? Like, what is something that you just have, like, embraced or taken that you're just like ah oh, this is i'm so glad i have this from it peggy you could start immediately came <laughs> to mind uh i did not expect to land with the den but i am so happy that i did because there's such like a team spirit within that faction and i am someone who has been desperately missing that team camaraderie as someone who grew up playing team sports their entire life and just has been missing that aspect because like I will sit there and help Thomas Harper. I, I it doesn't help me worth the damn, really. I don't think I'm gonna get. I might get one Star Wars question out of like maybe a couple hundred that ever get posed to me. But the thing, I mean, I don't think I'm going for a belt anytime soon. Hopefully one day. But if I can sit there and boost somebody else up over that wall, I'm all about it. I'm all like hands in as much as I can be. And like it seems like almost everyone on that faction is willing to jump in and help and run questions and do study sessions whenever someone needs it. And that part has been awesome. Yeah, the That's fact that Tom is like, when I was like preparing for a match, like he, yeah. like, and I'm like, he's like, this is one of like the two movies that they played when I was working <laughs> in it. And so he has like, he tries his best. Yeah, with he them. tries to help with the single <laughs> team smashes and everything else. Yeah, it's crazy. Like we all, yeah, too. me with Star Lacey Wars, like all of them. Um, I, I will also uh, spread some love on my faction. I love the quirky Mercs and Koi is the most, just the most fabulous, kindest person. And I, I'm so, I feel so fortunate to have landed, um, to have landed there and then to have the support of, um, of like Fibs and Brendan, you, you know, Jesse, another rookie who just like absolutely bring in the love all the time. I feel, um, so included and i think that i uh yeah i am somebody who has a bit of an imposter <laughs> complex i think as of right now i am still officially an imposter <laughs> like i just uh, i i might never you know get rid of it but the idea that um despite despite uh where i'm at they meet me where i'm at and then i don't think you can ask for anything more um in a team or in a friend really and so um 
I, I've also been able to meet um, a couple people IRL pretty bewildering um IRL oh my god yes um <laughs> that's some AOL IDK my BFF <laughs> deal um okay. yeah no like I you as know, if I haven't meeting... heard that multiple times in my life yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well I met you know IDK my my BFF video drew uh in person a couple of weeks ago video. and it was just like uh um it's actually pretty freaky that you can just meet somebody you've only met virtually and be like Yes, this is right. You know, weird. Yes, (laughs) it's gonna be weird. (laughs) Very much. Be awesome. (laughs) Weird but awesome. Yeah, I mean, guys, you don't get to hang out with Roxy regularly, so like, obviously, I'm the real winner here because she's (laughs) the most beautiful soul in like the whole world. I know how her character wants to come off, but like, Roxy personally is just wonderful. the The relationship she's fostered in the stars. I mean, we are just. We talk about real stuff. You know, we celebrate all of our personal and professional, you know, successes and setbacks and we're all there for each other. And I mean, hello guys. I know she couldn't be here tonight, but I get to hang out with Janine who is having like the season of her life and to be able to like build her up and cheer her on is the greatest thing in the whole wide world because she's so freaking spectacular. And I'm so over these like internet bros who don't know what they're talking about crapping all over my friend. All right. And now she's finally showing you guys what is up. Sorry, I just had to give her some love. But yeah, um, but I mean, this, you can. This is a Janine love. Yes, Janine this, all the way. All the Fantastic. Love for in this household. And yeah, I got to meet nice people like you guys who are my, you know, who bullied me into watching Star Wars for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> How dare we? Yeah, I mean, I'll you, you know what? I'll take it. I, we did bully her, and I'll take it. Yeah. It's fine. I, yeah, that's fine. I, I got one thing about Janine. You're though, all helping me out. It's fine. I, uh, Alex told me whenever his last Star Wars study session was, I forget when it was, uh, that, that Janine helped on, on. I asked him how it went afterwards, and he was like, Janine had, like, really hard questions. She was, like, being really mean. Yeah. And I was like, good. <laughs> good. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm glad she was. Iron sharpens uh, iron. We love I, I, I love when a singles player helps a Star Wars player and vice versa. It's, it's quite entertaining to hear about. Um, I feel like Alex is not going to agree with that the one time I helped him. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't pronounce any, anything. Any support is is good support. I I quizzed Dan Merle on a couple of rom coms once, and I was like, I'm gonna stump him, and I did, and I was like, Oh, I'm sorry. What am I doing? <laughs> what, what, what moment I'm was that? Your belt, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yes, what, uh, Molly, would you like to enclose oh, what movie what stuff? Question Dan was Merle? that? No, I don't kidding. think I can do that. Sorry. <laughs> it's worth a shot. Worth a shot. Oh goodness. <laughs> you look for any angle, you know. I'm serious, Jake. Oh, okay. well, I stepped out, so I wasn't sure if we were still continuing on or not. Um, uh, Jill, Brian, Molly, any final questions for these lovely ladies before we uh, before we move on? Um, what's your liquor of choice, just so I can oh, have it prepared goodness. for your first studio? Don't, Jake, don't give me that. Don't even. Ellis would be uh, oh, yeah. Uh, oh, uh, Mark uh, Ellis would be liquor. so proud. Give me those blue mountains. <laughs> hey. Gets the job done. What can you say? <laughs> I love cores. I know well, that's such a weird, bizarre thing to say, but it's just like drink. I I got in trouble with my roomies the other day because I'm like, it's like water. And is that yeah. a problematic thing to say? Yes. Maybe you'd be worried about me, but don't be worried Maybe about me. Maybe I like I alcoholic water. water. I literally water. like the taste a little bit. Okay. I, cool. I Maybe I like alcoholic water. Yeah. Just be just because Frank gets drunk off too doesn't mean he gets the trash too. Okay? Frank, <laughs> actually, I hate that I'm saying the truth right now, but Frank is a tank. Uh, you hate to see it. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Man. Course, course light is my drink of choice for literally any drinking game. Yes. So yeah, if we're playing like flip cup or anything like that, it's definitely yes. Coors Light. Bring it. Yeah. Pour it down my throat. Uh, Jessica, can I put your um, liquor of choice down for future reference? If you're talking shots, do you all know oh. the name of my dog? <gasps> Hold what? on, John said. I do. What? <laughs> it's not fair. I, I should know the name of a dog. Name my dog is a Jaeger. Yeah. Oh. 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 Thank you. Oh my God. Um, Sean my said, I like a Jaeger bomb a once in a while. Sean brought me. Sean brought me. I wish Wait, Jess, you're old enough to drink, right? 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, can we legally serve you a shot? <laughs> Someone had to ask it. Someone had yeah. to ask it. Oh, goodness. Jaeger, I'll, holy I'll do, moly. I'll, I'll do anything that doesn't give me college flashbacks. I don't think there are a few things I can't really do anymore. And I think that uh, uh, I think Fireball cannot do anymore. <laughs> Yeah, and, no, uh, even thinking mm -hmm. about it is, uh, and then uh, the peppermint schnapps. I think those are no goes mm -hmm. for me. Oh, um, I used to do that all the time. Did you squirt the chocolate syrup in your mouth first before mm -hmm. you did it? Yeah. yeah. R.I.P. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm dead. Wow. Um, Jaeger, Jaeger does gross. bring me back to some college uh, nightmare times. Right. But you yeah, know what? I'm I will. I will bring it back. I will bring it back for you. Yeah. No, what Here's brings me to college? <laughs> now. Go ahead, Go. Jess. I'm sorry. Yeah. I was gonna say oh, what God. college nightmare is in I graduated a couple of years ago, but um, oh, Jesus. Oh, have you all heard of the is. Y bomb? Now, Jess, I've never asked you this. Jess, did you find the Schmodown before you were legally allowed to drink? <laughs> what do you mean? Did you, did you come across the Schmodown? Like, did you start watching it before you were legally of age to drink, or was that after? Yeah. Damn. I need to hold on. I need to, Jess. I need to prepare myself for you. Hold up, wait. You I'm, <laughs> oh my Are God. you asking us if we know what a Y bomb is? Is that what, is that what Gen Z yes. call Jaeger yeah. bombs? Because I knew all about no. that already. Oh, Jaeger bombs? Okay. No. Yeah. no. Well, no, Jaeger no. bombs are good, but a Y bomb is when you take a can of Red Bull and you go to like, um, like how you would shotgun a beer, so you like do the shotgun hole, then you pour vodka in it, and then you I shotgun know. a can of Red Bull with vodka in it. Oh my God, yeah. I am the oldest That's person cool. ever. I I never never they are putting me never. in a retirement home right now. <laughs> yeah. like, well, I, I don't. Wow. I'm not like saying I love not, doing that, but just, I would. Like, I would. The truest I mean, crazy right. kids. The truest statement of the night. I I have I have played beer pong with <laughs> with Four Loco, like the original Four oh, Loco, yes. and I don't think I would be able to shotgun a Red Bull. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, God. The combination alone. It's actually easier than no one. I think. Yeah, I would think beer's easier than like a carbonated. <laughs> okay. Like, to okay, be that completely smells a lot worse than it drink. actually tastes. To be completely honest, right, when you, Jess, when you said the Y bomb, I was like, what did Thomas? teacher <laughs> Thomas. oh yeah yeah the <laughs> y-wing yeah. shot a like, y-wing shot <laughs> wait can i, I ask another that question <laughs> do you guys shotgun like it the can facing this way or sideways sideways, sideways. sideways. so sideways. i look like a little sideways. Sideways. i go i do no, i do sideways. that sideways. this way Sideways. Yeah, I'm not, a, I'm not about to do it sorry i always <laughs> get sideways so on, i don't Peggy. watch movies and they shot i'm like like I just watched it. If Disney you get if someone donates a hundred dollars, I will. Oh, <laughs> How about that? Oh, I, I would. I would Ellis too. Ellis did. No, uh, no, I would, hey, I would, I would, no. That's no. That's Pe Peggy and Beth are shopping to be right brand now. Brand new donation. They, they will $100, donate. Hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. There you go. Oh my god. Like I, I like I said earlier, this is both a combination of a interview show and happy hour. Dear God, so, next, year's, <laughs> next, year's, next year's ladies appreciation night is just going to be Jill and Molly. Happy hour, ladies appreciation. How do I'm going to yeah. open yeah. when you're shopping a booze. beer. Are you keys or are you a different utensil? I. I Always stream labs, not super chest. It's always Wait, what? YouTube keys. after your money. Keys. Keys. Yes. keys. Always yeah. keys. We gotta keep but it classy. Last time I <laughs> shotgun under beer, I was on a boat and I just like most of it ended up all over me and yeah. not so much in my mouth. So I don't think I can do it correctly. At no, all. I always yeah. cheated. That's why I always went sideways and then I would just dip it so it like spill out. Like, I'm done. I, okay, do I, I, don't, I don't mean to interrupt, but we have a hundred dollar donation. There's oh, no no. Okay. Mr. Um, Maxwell Haddad has donated one hundred dollars. How did I know it would be Maxwell? Okay. How did I you gotta, yeah, hold yeah. on? You gotta say it right. It's Maxwell Haddad. 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 Sorry. Uh, he okay. says, he wow. simply says do it, PG. So Beth, you're obviously involved in that as well. So. Do it what? Do, okay. He said do it, PG, but I'm including Beth in that as well. Okay. So. Let me uh let uh, me get a beer. I'll I'm be not back gonna get the whole thing down. I'll well, be right. Oh <laughs> thank, thank you so much, Maxwell. All of our uh, streamlabs and super chats are going oh to the God. Trevor project. I don't think I've tonight. ever tried to do it sitting. So <laughs> you want in on I it? mean, this I mean, Jess, if, no, you wanted, I can't. if you want to partake, <laughs> I might, be the, might be the Sorry. first. <laughs> Might be the first but not gonna better to throw up on screen. <laughs> I mean, we wouldn't know if you tip some out, just saying. 
Look at that. There we go. The Hi, commission Jay. Self. The commish. Thank you, Jay. Oh, Hello, Jay. <laughs> uh, while, while Beth gets back on board, I want to read one Streamlabs that has, that has come in so far. This is from Daniel. I so just wanted to say hi to all these amazing rookies. I'm a player in one of the fan leagues myself and have seen a lot of Peggy and Christina's matches. Glad to see you all in the Schmodown. You ladies are killing it, as well as Beth and Jess, too. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Thank you. Daniel. Love it. Okay. All right, ladies, you all ready? Yeah. yeah, I supposed to hold it. I'm gonna use scissors. I know that's. Can I? Can I just say that I appreciate how Ladies Night has just turned into like <laughs> into Bros <laughs> Night, a huge, <laughs> like this huge party. Like, this is yes. so bad. We're we are taking so back shotgunning beers. We're taking it back for the ladies. Yeah. All right, I'm ready? Go for it. I already poked mine. So. <laughs> uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Watch the microphone. Watch the microphones. <laughs> oh my yes, god. Yes. 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 Oh! Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Impressive. There it is. There it is. I'm a lady. <laughs> whoa, She's whoa, a lady. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm a lady. <laughs> the, the ladies can also shot. I'm still, I've still got some left. Oh, God, I'm at work. <laughs> I am so happy right now. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> wow. I'm a cool. hey. The rookies come in and it's just parties. It <laughs> oh, my God. Cool. Um, well, college was great, guys. Um, <laughs> there you go. There you go. Thank you, Maxwell, for that. And uh, I think that's a perfect. Oh, I did not. Oh, 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 I'm not gonna shotgun it, but I will. I will drink it quickly. Thank, thank you. Oh, thank you for the lady. Yes. Thank you, I love how we have the towel. Yes. Yeah. You have the towel. <laughs> It's like my lady. <laughs> I texted him and I was like, "Can you bring me a Coors Light, please?" <laughs> please, sir. Uh, Cheers. Well, I think that's a perfect oh way to end this group, and uh, I just want to say to the to the four of you, um, it's been an absolute delight to have you involved in this league and to talking with you on multiple streams. Um, you guys have been crushing it. Obviously, everyone loves having you guys involved, and uh, I can't wait to have more conversations and see what you guys do in this league going forward. So, just a big thank you, and uh, keep crushing it, ladies. Thank you. And keep Literally. checking your inbox for uh, the next happy hour invitation. <laughs> yes. Clearly, it's going to be happening soon. Yes. Yeah, I know. Already. <laughs> <laughs> I already. Thanks so much for having. Me. I only have all the alcohol content beers. Like I'm an IPA girl and like stout, so like I can't shotgun that without dying. <laughs> but yeah. I'll be better prepared for happy hour. <laughs> <laughs> well, have a good night and uh, good luck, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. you. Thank you. Good night. Oh, goodness. This turned into happy hour real freaking quick. Yeah. Oh. Well, I must say, and I, I know that our group is going to be coming in here any second. This this is not stopping anytime soon with the group that we have coming in. Uh, it is a fun group. I cannot wait to talk to the five of them. Before we get to that, we do have one more video that has been waiting in the wing. It is from someone who has clearly laid the groundwork for everyone involved in this. Um, she has been competing for years. She is finally being recognized as one of the greatest competitors this league has. That is none other than Janine the Machine. We love the POV crew, Janine the Machine here. Sorry I couldn't be there for Ladies Appreciation Night, but I just wanted to send a message to say thank you guys for doing this again. The last time you did it, it was such a special, powerful uh, statement to celebrate the amazing women of this league. So I'm so glad you're doing it again. Um, and I'm just excited to be even a small part of that story. I remember watching this game with amazing women like Alicia Malone, of course, Rachel Cushing, Clark Wolf, Brianne Chandler, Stacey Howard, killing it with the entrances. Uh, all of those things inspired me to be the competitor that I am today and got me into this game. Game and made me feel like I could do it too. So thank you to all the women who came before and all the women who are coming in after. There are some amazing female competitors in this game now and I love it. Uh, shout out to the amazing women behind the scenes. My girl Abby for killing it. Um, you know, the amazing female managers. Gotta shout out my girl Roxy and the amazing female fans for always uplifting us, for diversifying the fan base because, you know, this game would not be the same without us. So thank you guys and I love you. Oh. Amazing. I love Janine. I pulled a Christian and shoved food wow, in Wow, Brian. <laughs> wow. Uh, keep, keep eating, <laughs> Brian. Uh, I, I, I freaking love Janine. And, and yeah. like we've said with multiple women on this show today, she's she's been part of the Schmodown for, for quite time. some time. And 
she has she's made her mark and she's freaking killing it and i've said it on the show before i've said it to her i'm i'm always team janine man i don't care who she's competing against i am i'm always team janine she's a uh, she's she's, an og she's an og she's an og she's She's an inspiration and and i've always been on that i've always been on that janine bandwagon and i i love her to pieces i love her so much well with that said oh go ahead go ahead sorry she's just so she's so amazing and yeah she has been a part of this for quite some time and it's you know it's it's about time that people start recognizing her for how Damn great right. she is. Damn right. um, and uh, yeah, I just, I can't wait to see where she goes from here because she was already great. No denying that. And she's just proving people that she has a place in this league and she's not, yeah, she's not going anywhere. And we, we talked about we talked about it earlier in the show the Janine Marisol match. If that's not if that's not match of the year this season, uh, y'all like that match. That was, was what we call uh, an instant classic. Hundred <laughs> yeah. percent, and it meant and like more so not just but they were two amazing competitors. It meant so much for women, women of color. It it, it was such a such it made such an impact and like like uh shannon and roxy said they all shared a moment after that match that uh, none of us can ever be able to describe because it was all behind the scenes it was between all of them involved and y'all if 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 that i'm i I, that match is for sure going to be nominated this year and yeah yeah, absolutely that's that's going to be my number one in my book it's it's it was just a up there. Match. It is definitely up there. Well, uh, like I mentioned, we have an incredible group to end this amazing ladies appreciation night. Let's not put it off any further. Uh, let's go and bring the five of them in. We have Rachel Silvestrini, Claudia <gasps> Dolph, Taylor Robinson, Clee <laughs> Wiggins, and Marisol McKee all joining Hello. us. Hello. Hi. Hello. 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 Uh, Rachel Taylor, I'm sorry. Look at the corruption representation yeah. we have. <laughs> oh here my goodness! <laughs> just want to just want to throw that out there. Just saying. Yeah. So, someone's a fair weather yeah. fan. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> we coordinated. coordinated. Just because we're fans, now. And, and you coordinated. And, and, and you coordinated. Here, let's, let's I'm not even. There we go. I'm not even. There we go. I'm not even joking. When Claudia and Clee came into the uh, the Zoom chat earlier, like at the same time, we were like, "Did you guys fucking arrange this? <laughs> Did you guys talk about this?" <laughs> always intentional. We're always intentional. Always. Yes. Welcome to corruption, baby. They're all. Oh, like, geez. This isn't a corruption stream. Now let's let's. <laughs> it's a let's ladies of corruption. A little bit. Let's, let's... <laughs> yeah, ladies of corruption. Um, well, just just a big thank you for joining us, first of all, and and hanging tight. I've seen you guys in the the backstage Zoom chat chatting mm-hmm. up. So I've heard. I'm sure you guys have had great conversations there. But I want to continue that here, and we'll. St- I'm sure we'll get to the nonsense with some kind of question or something later. But I want to start with the show out stuff, um, just because it's. It's why we're kind of all been brought. Of course, she's gonna Aww. pop in now. They're gonna pop in now out of all places. Of course, of course. I mean, I know that's not aimed to me, but I love you too, Shannon. I also love Shannon. Yes, Shannon. Yes. Yes. Shannon once hopped on my back because she couldn't find Mike in a crowd. So you know. Oh wait. Oh, look, look. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. She's like, look, I need all- your height. Come here. I was like, all right. <laughs> All of corruption apparently oh, is coming uh, uh, Adam, Coyote. Knows. Hey, Adam. Adam Thank knows you, how Adam. we play here at certain point of view. We're all about that top shelf life. That's how we yeah. that's mm-hmm. how we do here in certain point of view. Goodness. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. As Adam. I drink my Coors Light. I, I got <laughs> we started this. Yeah, and my um, my corona. Yes. <laughs> um so just just kind of like a quick start off with the Shmonat stuff before we get to some crazy stuff. Um this is it's been crazy and we have a mixture here of people who've been here forever newcomers kind of middle ground uh i just want to get everyone's thoughts on kind of where it's where it's come from uh how it's been being involved in it behind the scenes in front of the camera let's just go down the road taylor i'll start with you we can kind of just go from there oh man okay well i feel like i have an interesting perspective because i started out 
quite a long time ago as like a reaction channel, just someone who came in as a big fan of the show um, and, and really got into it. It was, it was something that took up a lot of my time and I was really passionate about right away. Um, and then I got welcomed into the community. You know, Christian, Christian reached out to me and started inviting me to come to matches. And, and it just kind of snowballed from there. And, and I just have such an appreciation for what the fan community was back then and what it's grown into now. It's, it's insane to think about. It's such a huge community now and it's fantastic. Um, but then also coming from the side of having competed twice now, it's, it's such a weird thing to try and reconcile yourself with because I'm such a big fan of the show and I always have been, but also now like being in the competitor side of the community and having kind of seen the community just from the fan side, but then I've also seen it from the competitor side and everything in between. And it's just like, when I try to think about how much it's grown and, and how much it's meant to me just as a personal journey, you know, it's been four or five years of my life now, at least that that's been kind of tied up in all this. And um, I couldn't, I couldn't ask for anything better. This community just means like so much to me, honestly, and seeing just how the reaction community, like the after show community has grown since I was doing it back in the day is like, it blows my mind to think about. Rachel? Well, I mean, I got involved with this because I answered the call when Christian asked if there were any females who wanted to compete. And I very assuredly answered with a text of, uh, of me raising my hand <laughs> being like, I me please um and from then on it was like great you're in and i was like oh oh shit i i didn't think this full <laughs> okay cool um and i got thrown in and it was amazing i had so much fun and like i i researched the community and there's it's just the community has grown the league has grown in such amazing ways like it yeah it used to be a guys club but it was never, I never felt that it was like exclusionary to females. I think that it was just a lot of bros hanging out. And when girls showed up, they were welcomed in. Um, but I'm so glad to be able to like go into a taping uh, in studio now and be like, oh my God, does anybody have like mascara? Because I forgot mine and have like six people reach out and be like, yeah, I've got mascara. Like it's, it's, it's small things like that that mean the world. To, ha to be able to surround yourself with as many amazing women as we have, not just here in this panel, but like in the league and in the fandom, like it's, it's, it's fantastic. That's awesome. uh, Claudia. Um, well, it, it's interesting because I don't necessarily feel new, mostly because I'm, I'm 43 and, it, and it's hard to feel new. Uh, in any in any situation in my life at this point but no i've known i've known christian for a really long time so i was around when they first started the youtube movie review mm -hmm. like a long long time ago and i've followed the iteration you know and the progression of the show you know as it's gotten bigger and bigger and obviously better and um and then he asked me and then you know asked if i wanted to participate and this was actually i don't i don't know time anymore either because of 2020 <laughs> yeah. i was gonna say last a couple of years ago but i think it was more like three years ago i was supposed to compete then my aunt passed away and so i had to drop out of that uh thanks aunt saradel you know, <laughs> put it off for a couple more seasons How dare you die. But then, <laughs> yeah but then <laughs> she, have have laughed. she was a lovely southern lady um, uh, and but then, uh, you know, got the call, you know, two years ago now, is it two years, a year ago, whatever. But, um, it was, you know, right before pandemic times, like, I think we shot my match, like literally a couple of days before we went into lockdown. But before that, I just kept getting traded and traded and traded. And I kind of wanted to keep that bit going. Cause that was pretty funny. I thought <laughs> like if I just never played a match and just kept getting traded for like a couple of years, like a long run gag. Um, but you know, like it's been a blast. I can't wait to play again. And I have to say it's been, thank you first of all, for having me tonight. And of it's been a pleasure to be able to connect with this community and these ladies throughout the pandemic, you know, because it sort of saved my brain at times, you know, being able to talk to people outside of my pod. That was nice. 
Absolutely. Clean? Uh, clean. Yeah, I'm so over the moon ha- to be in Shmoda. I mean, I came in last year, um, and I sort my first match was a super last minute match. Like, literally, they came to me and Craig, the Barbarian, and were like, "You guys want to compete?" And then ten minutes later, we were sitting at the desk. And we were both like, okay. And he, he had his fur with him. <laughs> <laughs> but I was half drunk on Shannon Champagne. and <laughs> just, I think I was in studio for that, actually. Yeah, yeah you were. I'm, I'm just surprised I did as well as I did when he had such a spectacular match. So even though that gave me, like, my first loss, it's still, like, I'm just like, but I did great. So I don't care. And ever since then and but being drafted by shannon was like the best thing ever like i mean i've been on i've been on collider a, a bunch of times before that as well as other sort of uh similar channels like you know like screen junkies and and whatnot so i'm just i, I had wanted to be on it i'd asked mark about it uh he's like i'll speak to christian and then you know boom 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 here i am and i'm and corruption is the best faction i've could have been drafted to so i'm incredibly happy about that that was the right answer clay <laughs> <laughs> yeah i do what i can you know. i'm so glad that malcolm just texted me about the uh, upcoming matches i'm like okay hello what's going on over the <laughs> and marisol. finally marisol yeah um uh like w- with my start with um i started i'm i'm a fan from day one like like through and through Bro, like with like down um <laughs> and is there an is there an echo is my audio okay no nope, you're good no, you're good. Fine. good okay um i was a fan through and through um and i think one of the differences uh, or just for me just for myself like i was for all the fans that are, we see the, the beautiest community for all the fans that we see that are like very vocal and very active and very, very connected with everybody. There are so many more. Those are just the ones that we see. There are so many more that are just, you know, just quiet people, just shy people who, who like enjoy and have a very like one-on-one, very personal relationship with like the things that they love um, and have kind of that one way road with things they love. And I think I was absolutely in that second camp. Um, of fans that I just, I love, like I, I, I was introduced um, to the show um, from a friend who also loves movies as much as I do. And they were like, oh, you gotta watch this. And and I fell in love with it from there. And it was very much like, it was almost like a personal relationship, like me and the Schmodown, um, getting to love it as a fan. And it wasn't something that I quite experienced by sharing it with other people. It was very much a personal relationship. And, um, and then um, my friend and I went to finally, um, went to a live show, uh, or we went to Orlando. We went to a live show in Orlando, and um, it was really, like, honestly, it was under my friend's encouragement that um, that I, I kind of crossed this threshold where I was like, this doesn't need to be something that I just enjoy in my own little bubble. This is something that I can get involved in. This is something that I could put myself forward in, and, like, like, why not? Like, you know, like, you're standing on, like, the precipice there, and you're like, oh, just, why not just take, is, like, actually one of those decisions where I was like, why not just take a leap? Why not try this? Why not go for this? Um, and that's a, an important moment in people's lives no matter what, but I really credit the Schmodown with being something like that for me in my life was a moment where I decided to take a leap um, oh, into something yes. that I never, in, in, in a lot of ways, into, into an area that I had never really explored before. Um, and and it blossomed from there. Like each step that I get further and further involved in the Shmodown has been directly tied to like it's the it what brings me deeper and deeper into Shmodown is not just like knowing things about movies. Uh, that is that is that is important, of course. That's why we're all. That's something that does connect us all. But like specifically with my relationship, my connection, and my emotional connection to Shmodown. Shmodown has been a person along the way, each way. Like, it was like somebody who shared their love of it with me that first even introduced me to it. It's somebody who loved it and who cared about me, who got me to even speak up and get involved in it. And then in Orlando, I met Shannon and Mike and Chance. And then the people that would then become like my family, my faction, I met them. And it's the people who connected me further and further to it. I met, I met Dan and Mara in Orlando. I met Christian in Orlando. Um, and it was just the people who just cemented, like, I was like, this is something I want to do. This is something I want to be a part of further and further. Not just like, I just want to answer questions and be really good at something. Like, it, it was the people every day from the beginning. Um, 
And that's been so such my part of like etched into my DNA um, and my profile with, with my growth in this in this league um, and in this community. Um, and and I don't take it for granted. I'm just really grateful for it. And each person, like all of you guys here on the screen, each person that I get to know more and more every day just enriches that for me. Um, and I think that's the best thing about this. This this could we could be like a a, a we could be like a bocce ball like community. I don't care what <laughs> we're about. Like, like, I, I, like it doesn't even matter. It's not important like what we're actually about. It's it's these connections and all the people who make it. It wouldn't be what it is without like the people who have have like I said enriched it for me every step along the way. And that's the heart of it. As an Italian, I approve the bocce ball comment. <laughs> <laughs> That is fair. That is fair. Uh, Molly, did you want to go next? Sure. Um, I've kind of been talking to people about giving advice for anyone out there who might be watching or listening uh, that wants to get involved in the Schmodown, whether it be playing on the trivia side or getting involved, you know, behind the camera, behind the scenes, editing, things like that. Um, what advice might you give to someone who is trying to get more involved? <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to bring it up. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. Uh, yeah, no, just a nice spot up. <laughs> general advice for anyone out there, specifically women, trying to get more involved in, in this because it can be a little bit intimidating for women to join the Schmodown. Would anybody like to start? Anyone can go. Well, um, I, I guess. Just, oh, go ahead, Taylor. No, that's all right. Um, I guess I would say like um, it's it's something that you have to want to do because you're passionate about it. Um, the community is a great place to be, and you make great friends when you get involved. But it's definitely something that you need to be passionate about the reason that I started a reaction channel was because I was so passionate about the show. And that to me was a way that I could engage with the community um, and, and reach people and people would comment on the videos. And when I would post videos up, people would message me about it. And that was kind of the way that I tried to reach out to other people to get connected. I know that there are people who are shy in the community and they don't feel comfortable being on camera or they don't feel comfortable reaching out, but just finding a way that you're passionate about and and that can really reach out to people is probably something I would say to think about. Um, my way of doing that was reactions. I turned on the camera and I was like, well, we're gonna see how this goes and maybe people will like it and maybe I'll make friends and and maybe I won't. But you know, whether that's starting a channel or writing articles about it or being someone who wants to talk about stats, if that's your thing, um, that finding a way that connects something you love with the Schmodown to something else you're passionate about is, is a good way to reach out to people, just from my experience. In terms of competing, um, just put yourself out there. It's terrifying. And when I raised my hand to do it the first time, I was like, why did I do this? Why, what, why? Um, but it was something I wanted to do. And I knew that I needed to push myself as someone with a lot of social anxiety and someone who has a hard time putting themselves out there I didn't want that to stop me from doing it. Like I wanted to be that person that said, I'm terrified of doing this, but I love it. And I don't want to just not do it because it scares me because it's something that I'm going to have to put work into to be comfortable with it. And I think that, you know, pretty much anyone in this community, I don't want to speak for everyone else, but you can reach out to us. Like if you have questions or if, or if you want encouragement or if you want advice, like, most of us, I would, if not all of us, are are here. Like we will talk to you. We'll we want this to be a community. We want to make friends. We want to grow the community, especially women. If there are women out there who who want advice or just want someone to talk to about the league because they love it, like just we're we're all here. We all want to make friends. Like just just come talk to us. I know it can be scary, but I promise. I promise we'll be nice. I promise we want to make friends and and make people feel welcome because. It is really intimidating and it was really hard for for me to get over at first because I'm terrified of reaching out to people. Like it gives me a lot of anxiety to do it. But once you do, this community is such a welcoming place to be. It's so wonderful. You you uh you might also be kidnapped to another country. 
<laughs> I mean, I mean look, 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 I only know of one case where that's actually happened so far, but I guess it's possible. Yeah, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still waiting for that to happen. Um, <laughs> Rachel. I think Rachel's I think DMs that, are open if anyone wants to kidnap <laughs> It's true. Preferably somewhere English speaking, um, <laughs> because I do not have a brain for languages. Um, no, I agree with Taylor. I think I, because I used to work behind the scenes a lot with like live entertainment and I was very, very comfortable back there. Um, my first time being on screen was so incredibly nerve wracking. Um, I can't even put it into words. I was sweating so much backstage and like, like I think I had like a roll of paper towels just like constantly patting me down, trying to like not to wipe off the makeup. Um, but it's it's some if, if it's something that you're passionate about and you like literally the thing that dr that brought me to Schmodown was the fact that I love movies and I think that that got lost a little bit in the shuffle of trying to grow the league uh, in the last few seasons but we're coming back around and the fact is is that this 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 game is based on the fact that we all love movies so much that we're willing to create characters and fake rivalries and go on screen and like smack talk with strangers that we haven't actually met in person but we've you know through this last year and a half of like just completely bonded over the internet with and just have fun because we all just love movies so much um and if that's you and you really want to get involved then literally just like taylor said reach out the door may be closed but it's unlocked and all you have to do is knock that's all you have to do. Just knock. And we are there. We're there to answer questions, hold hands, give advice. Like, it, it, every, I don't think I've met a person in this league that is like, don't talk to me. I don't know who you are. Like, everyone is so Marisol's open. like that. <laughs> I mean, uh, she that kind of was the first time I met her. She, like, did, she like, did not want to meet me. Um, <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, honestly, Marisol's, Marisol's the perfect example of this. I met Marisol in New York after the live event in New York in August because her friend was there and she, her, he literally walked up to me and was like, my friend really wants to, wants to meet you. She's a huge fan. And I'm like, oh my God, that's such a weird thing for me to hear. I love that. Where is she? And then she walked up and I was like, oh my God, yes. And then she told me that she was like thinking about wanting to compete. I'm like, oh my God, yes. We need more women. We need more women of color. Like, please come compete. I'm like, what's your name? I'm going to tell it to Christian. We're going to get you involved. And like, it literally was like somebody walking up to me at the edge of a pool and being like, my friend wants to learn to swim. And I'm like, great, deep end. Um, <laughs> but like, that's, it's, that's what the Shmodan is. Like you, you jump into the deep end with so much faith and so much love for what you want to do. And like, it's, it's, it's insanity and just reach out, honestly, reach out wherever you, cause I would love to, I would love to see a faction that is like 90% female. Yes. Please. Yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tag off of what, oh, sorry. Uh, oh, no, I'll tag off of what, yeah, both you ladies said and, uh, because what what Taylor brought up, like that, that's what I was thinking too. Uh, it can be scary, it can be intimidating, but we have one life. This is what we got, and I mean, for what? I mean, as far as I know, I, I mean, I, I I don't know, but from what, as far as I know, we have one life. You've got one, you know, you've got this one opportunity, and if it's something that you really, really love give it a shot give it a shot don't let the don't let fear stop you because there's plenty of things and and the, and it's easier said than done and again i have time and experience and a lot of therapy on my side at this point mm -hmm. that i've been able to practice and have these tools in my back pocket so that i can get to a place where i'm not as intimidated but there are other things like cleta stand up and you know christian and mark and all those guys that it, that's something that I cannot even imagine. Like I got asked to do one of those monologue shows and I said, yes, and I tried it. It is not for me. I don't need to do it again, <laughs> but, but I tried it, you know? So if this is something that you truly, truly love and you really, really, you watch these matches and you really want to be a part of it and you're terrified, it, that's fine. That's fine. It's okay. Just say yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 100%. completely. Like, 
like it's okay like like i i was i was talking with you ladies about this earlier like it's okay to not like in order to go forward in this you don't need to suddenly be like the most like you don't need to be and everybody's touched on this and 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 rachel cushing touched on this um earlier when she was talking like putting putting yourself out there and going forward doesn't mean you suddenly have to not have any fear like you don't have to be like i i i'm like completely invincible and and you don't need to kick a door down and and just say like you're 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 the queen of the world like it's not about making sure you you seem suddenly like you completely become something that you're not it's okay to be exactly who you are um and just know that that is that being exactly who you are is more than good enough like that is that is that is that is what deserves deserves to be seen and deserves to be recognized um and deserves its place just alongside everything else because you know it, it's funny like like i and i could attest to this because this is my journey myself like like um like i like i was completely content i was very confident i was very confident in myself, but also happy in my own bubble and like thought I was okay right there. And I don't, I didn't need, I, I like, I stand by this. Like I don't need somebody else to tell me I'm worthy to feel, to feel worthy. But at the same time, like, like something really simple, like, like Rachel, like meeting you and, and meeting Janine, like in New York and, and, meeting people and just feeling that camaraderie and meeting people and realizing like, wait a minute, like, like there are like, this is, I could see myself in these people that I'm talking to and, and, and it's not, it's not that I don't have that. I, I always had that strength and ability in myself, but there's something to be said, which Cushing was touching on this earlier. There's something to just be said about, about being women being present and being there for each other and how like invaluable it is like how much that means and how much that just takes things to the next level which you didn't not because not because not because we need it in order to feel special about ourselves but because we deserve to feel connected to each other and because we're stronger together um we're even we're even stronger together um and I and I felt that um, after meeting you guys and, and and you know like I came away from it and I was like why the hell not like why the hell not like yeah like 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 let's do that and that's and that's the beauty of it and that's the most important thing to remember like especially if you're a female competitor and and you know like on the fence about all of this like you are you are amazing and perfect by yourself like like exactly as you are by yourself um, and when you're ready like Rachel you said like like the door's unlocked whenever you're ready just knock like when you're ready you are going to join a it's right here you'll join a legion of people men and women who are ready to just to just buoy you and just and just and and make you feel as special as you always have been um and just and just shine a light on that um something that was always there um and it's really it's really damn empowering um and 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 it's important um without being pandering it's 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 really it's really important and it's and it's special and unique and something we should never lose sight of and i'm something i'm really grateful to be a part of i love Please? that so much um yeah i mean i i think you know the other ladies have said it um very well but i i mean i just for myself um and for other you know um women men whoever you are who are interested in joining the schmo down i mean for myself it just came from i was never intimidated in terms of wanting to get into the schmo down i mean as soon as i sort of found out about it then i used you know pretty much i think mark was the one i hit up the most but i used every avenue i had into the schmo down i mean through comedy i knew you know a couple of competitors i already knew jay i knew christian like sort of uh, just through the scene but you know, I was really good friend. I am really good friends with Mark's ex, Danny, and I know Jay, you know, pretty well. So I probably hit up them the most, but I know Dan Merle as well. And it just, I like sort of, so I sort of just kept knocking at that door um, through every avenue I had. But at the same time, like I come from a family of like mostly women and strong women. And so I never felt like, but I have, you know, men in my family who have done, you know, amazing things, but they never make the women in our family feel any less than we can do whatever they 
do and vice versa. So I've never felt that dynamic for myself. And maybe that's just, you know, me being lucky or me just sort of recognizing something and, and running with that ball. But I just think that nobody should be intimidated if they want to try something they've never tried before or become part of something that they're don't, you know, quite know how to get into it. There are so many ways you can get into it. I was lucky to know people who were already part of Schmodown, but um, even if I hadn't been, you know, I would have found a way because if I want to be part of something and if you want to be part of something, you should, you can, there are ways, you just have to be creative, um, you know, think of ways like, you know, I mean, Taylor's way, that's, an, uh, I mean, that's not a way I would never have thought of doing. I don't, you know, I'm, I'm, Claudia, you're not the oldest one here. So, um, <laughs> you know, I don't make react videos. <laughs> because I'm too old to jump on that bandwagon necessarily. You but, don't want to start an unboxing channel? Just <laughs> I mean, if it's unboxing kitchenware that I bought on Amazon. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, 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 I can hook you up. I have. I mean, I've got a DB8 Instapot. So it's hard. You know how many views that would probably get unboxing? Probably a lot. Oh my god. Let's do it, Clay. PJ Sean, we have a new guest for box. That's neither, <laughs> that's neither here nor there. I mean, I'm not that much. I'm only a few months older than Claudia, I think. But it's, um, you know, it's, you know, if you guys want to watch my cooking channel, I'll start it soon. It's fine. Um, <laughs> if you go to my Instagram, you can see the stuff I make. We have a new guest on. I know. My, my boyfriend's fat. I have to keep him fed. So... <laughs> I wish I, wish I had that excuse, Clay. It's just me. <laughs> but, you know, if, just find a way or make one. That's like, the, the, you know, that's a motto within sort of um, the entertainment community and the black community. Um, just find a way or make one. And, and it's, it's, a way, it's a way to live. It sounds cliche. It sounds like an aphorism. Um, but it works if you, if you really implement it. It just... You know, Kim, just think about what you're good at. If you love movies and the minutia of the trivia of, you know, of movies or something that you are just passionate about and that, you know, my family always comes to me to, for stuff like this. And so when, as soon as this league became a thing, you know, and I told my family about it, they were just like, and you are not a competitor. I'm like, I will be someday. Don't worry, you worry about it. <laughs> you, know? <laughs> and, you know, and a few years later I was, so it's, just, you know, that's that's the only advice that I can offer is just don't be intimidated. Nobody here is a monster and find a way or make one. I mean, it depends on how early you text any of us, but like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, oh, I'm old really again. Dumb. I'm up at five. So you can text yeah. me. Oh. I get up around 3, 30, 4 o'clock. Oh, yeah, but, see, oh. but if they text you at 11 p.m., you're like, what is going on? Yeah. Yeah. Just like, make sure, oh, make sure if you're gonna if you're gonna, if you're gonna text me, hours. please please get your time zones right. If you're, gonna yeah. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. Taylor lives in the future, everybody. In case <laughs> yeah, Taylor, knows what yeah, Taylor is in the future because she's in tomorrow right now. <laughs> Uh, well, that, that was all really, really incredible advice. All five different perspectives. That was that was amazing. So thank you, ladies. We do have a couple of stream labs that have come through real quick. The first one's from Style and Moose uh, with a twenty dollars donation. It says, "Just want to donate and thank you all." So thank you, Style and Moose. Very much appreciated. And then the next one's from Johnny Five for Life, and he says, uh, "Hello to all the lovely ladies tonight. I love the showdown and all the matches. However, my favorite matches are the ones where you can tell the competitors are having a lot of fun. Example: Taylor your match versus Greg Alba." Um, what are some of your favorite, or so, what are some of your fun favorite matches? Oh, I got this one, guys. Oh. I'm oh. sorry. I didn't, oh. We were we were literally talking about this uh, in the Zoom, and I think Jill was there for this taping. There Probably. has never been a match. Okay, there are two matches that that bring to mind the best times I've ever had watching, and that is the blacks, the first Black Cinema oh. match that we yes. did in studio. <laughs> So, it took us like an hour and a half to film. I want the uncut version. I it know it exists so somewhere. Good. It needs to be released. That shit was so funny. I was release the uncut. Literally, <laughs> people were falling out of their chairs. I, I was, was literally going to say. I think people were on the floor, literally <laughs> laughing their asses off. It was my, so 
good. Mama so Silvestrini was there sitting next to me, and at one point she turns to me and she goes, I can laugh at this, right? And I'm like, Yes, you can. This shit is hilarious. <laughs> it was so good. That it was it was that match and um Dagnino versus Robert Meyer Burnett was one of the funniest oh, things I've ever witnessed too. in person. Um honestly, like it's 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 one of those things that like and like Klee, your match against uh your match against Barbarian, that shit had me rolling. I was laughing <laughs> yeah. so hard. It was, just, it was so much. I was it just was like, insanity. what is it? And I was like, you guys want to play? And then we're like, okay. And then it was like, pictures. Okay, here you go. Next time. <laughs> it was, it was so, so like every time I see that picture of myself in like one of the Shmona composites, I'm just like, I look like I don't know what the fuck is happening. <laughs> Nobody does. Everybody looks really discombobulated. It was so perfect. It and was like, honestly. Like, yeah, and like my leg had been swollen because I'd been doing a bunch of bullshit the day before. So I was walking with a cane and I was drunk on champagne and I was just like, okay, let's do this. There it is, every mouth. That's my, my favorite. Three of my favorite moments of in studio. Done. Yeah, uh. the latest, the latest uh, Black Cinema <laughs> exhibition match. I was just like, it was so <laughs> joyful and Cleese dropping f bombs. Like, yes. I his business. I was like, I was, I was, I was laughing so hard. It was great. So good. <laughs> So that's amazing uh so i i want i want to interrupt just real quick and we'll continue this but we just got another very very nice donation hundred dollar donation from one mark ellis and he says cone doggy is snoring so pooping popping in excuse me popping in is so high. <laughs> whatever uh Cleesville has the clue, coolest bounty hunter purse ever molly i see the cl <laughs> he, oh, he, yeah. His ex gave me that purse. So, <laughs> that's why he knows. <laughs> I, uh, and I yeah. use it all the time. It's like my everyday purse. <laughs> uh, but yeah, continue. Fun matches in this one. Anybody got um, I think one of my favorite studio memories um, was actually Spectacular 2. It was the first big event I was ever in the studio for. And the manager bowl mm. killed me. The manager oh, bowl okay. was. It was Fife and Dagnino and Jay Washington and who else was there? Dagnino. I think it was just but, him, was it? No, uh, wasn't Christian involved in that? No, I, I don't know. I think there was one other person in it. I'll but um, it but, okay. but I just remember that being, the that was like one of the first events that I had ever been to. It was just this long day of chaos as the spectacular is. <laughs> and And that match was just... It was just, I love manager matches so much, and I don't know if we're ever going to get another one, but that one just lives in my memory. Ricky because... Haber. Ricky Haber. Yes, that's right. I mean, that's I right. Mean, I would love had, another manager match. When we had the managers awesome. earlier tonight, we we threw that out there about a minute. They said they would all do absolutely terrible, and I said, that's what makes it great. As long as it for... doesn't count for points, then exactly. yes, yeah. I agree. <laughs> Like just a manageable, it, ex That'll make just it, get, it could it could be an exhibition match. Just yeah. get yeah. everyone involved. Like it would be a hoot. A manager exhibition match would be yeah. awesome. Mark, Mark I would is just really watch it. I just so want make no pitch. stakes. I just no want to see it because I want to see Mike coaching Shannon. I think. Oh, 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 you might be on to something with that one. Oh man. The yelling that that would ensue. <laughs> oh my goodness! And the I just, just frustration oh. would be off the charts, and I would love it. I would just want to take a shot every time Shannon would tell him to shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and just be oh, man, the other round one. Drinking game. Yeah, Shannon would be <laughs> oh, so great. Man. Yeah, that would be great. <laughs> there'd be a great drinking game we could make out of that. Exchanges like manager would be for for Gucci. Like I don't know who we would have managing Gucci for that match. Can you manage Gucci? Can, 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 can you manage Gucci? Yeah. Can you manage oh, well, Someone would yeah, have to try, it. right? Yeah. <laughs> if it's digital, could we edit in Tom managing Gucci? Because that would be. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Oh my gosh! That'd be amazing. Yeah. Shannon's such an excellent manager that, like, I, I was on backstage earlier, like, either this, I can't even, I don't even know what is time anymore, but, um, <laughs> um, but like, maybe it was this year. Uh, I was on backstage and, like, Shannon and Dagnino, we kind of got, like, a little, like, mini manager match because Shannon mm -hmm. and Dagnino played each other on backstage and I was managing Shannon. And I was just like, you know, like, it's not what would Jesus do? It's what would Shannon Barney do? And I was just like, and I was just like, just talk to Shannon how Shannon talks to me. And I, and I, and I, <laughs> 
Like, he I feel like that's how she would be. Great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think like that guy. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's an idea. Now that's an idea. Just, I think I'm the person who spent the most time with Gucci because I literally got a ride back from San Diego Comic Con with him and Erica back to LA. So I spent three hours in the car <laughs> with him and Erica. And let me tell you, that is. If anybody deserves a Nobel Peace Prize, yes. Oh my God. <laughs> no, 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 Mark, Mark it, needs to be some, it needs to be somebody who just doesn't show up. <laughs> he just has to. They, they just like put it off on somebody else. Oh, oh, it's just like a really crappy printout of Dagnino, just pasted <laughs> on the wall, and like, <laughs> like a flat. Oh my god! Stanley. Can you be in Draco in the Finstock mask again? Oh, oh my god. Yeah, there, there we go. There we go. <laughs> nice yeah. callback to season three. Uh, Four? Oh goodness. Oh, uh, Jill, did you have anything Schmodown or fun related you wanted to ask the ladies? I, I mean, been, we've been a lot of Schmodown related. Give us something fun. Okay. Oh, girl. Okay. <laughs> Um, We've been real serious this. this yeah, we have. Serious. Let's okay. Let's, something fun. Um, if you could have a dream show to, showdown match, whether you are involved or not, what would your dream match be? <laughs> well, I'm hoping. I guess that's also. I guess it's also Schmodown related, but it's a fun one. <laughs> I mean, I'm, now, I'm hoping that it'll be the the spectacular opening. Um, I challenge straight out Jericho to a Kevin Smith off. Yes. <laughs> I want to wow. Smith at the table. Okay. Yes. You, would, you would wreck shop, girl. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I want it so bad. <laughs> if that uh, is. Uh, I want, uh, I will go on record. If that is the only match I get this season, I will die happy. I'm fine. I will retire. <laughs> that's it. I don't care. No, I can't face Kevin Smith. I want to, like, that's that's like facing somebody in their life match. Like, they know their life better than anybody. Like, I'm not a stalker. I don't know those things that he knows about his own movies. I want to face Jericho, and I want Kevin Smith to be at the table and congratulate me afterwards for kicking me Jericho's ass. <laughs> Amazing. Um, I'll say, even though he's on my own faction, uh, I want to be the first person to play Ben Bateman in a Star Wars match. Uh, Who do I send my money to? <laughs> <laughs> Let's make this happen. Also, also, side note, happy birthday, Ben. Happy birthday, Ben. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Side note. Oh, goodness. <laughs> uh, just because we're old buds, and I know I would win. I want to play Brett Sheridan. Oh my god! <laughs> Please give that to me. That would be oh. so much fun. Wait, would you rather play? Do you want to play uh, Brett or the Flirt and Flouse? Oh no no Brett. Oh that's what he is for Flirt and Flouse. Oh my god, that was yes. that's my favorite match that I've ever. That's the funny was when he pulled that out. I was like, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you put like Kevin like, like, Smith. You know, and my boyfriend was watching with me, and Ed was like, "Is this what the Schmodown is?" <laughs> I, and I was texting him. I was like, and I was like "Are you?" No, he's, like, yes. the whole he's gone. <laughs> he's gone somewhere else with this. Everybody, I was like, "What is that? like the whole that whole intro?" I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> that's when you knew there were no hinges on the door. Like, that's yeah. It. <laughs> yeah. To, to everybody who wants to get in the Schmodown, just if you if you're that weird, you could probably get in. Yeah, oh, that God. was it. Was so amazing, though. I'm like that level of commitment. I could. I don't. I don't know that I'm capable of it, but I was. Yeah. I loved it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, any, awesome. any other? Any other matches? Any other? Uh, well, I think Marisol's coming up too. Marisol and yeah, yep. Marisol's facing Kevin Smith. Marisol, Kevin Smith is That's coming up. Yeah. Yay! Girl. Yeah, I'm Not incredibly jealous. jealous at all. Of that. Yeah. Oh, Not I'm at jealous. All. <laughs> I'm gonna, I can't even be sarcastic. I'm super jealous. Um, <laughs> oh no, that was so. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do this for you, Rachel. That's all I gotta say. I'm, yes. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna channel you. I'm just gonna feel your 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 chi. All right, it, in me that entire match. I'm just gonna I'm gonna do it for you. All right. <laughs> you should, you should dress up as Jay. I'm not even joking. It would throw oh him God. so much. It's hilarious. <laughs> Blonde wig and all. Just fucking do it. It would be still, so just great. Still totally do like the Lady Justice persona, <laughs> but dressed as Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Lady I Jay. Haven't, 
I haven't ruled out. I haven't real. Yeah, exactly. I haven't ruled out dressing up as Buddy Jesus or any of his characters from his yes. from his movie. Yes. So, so stay tuned. We'll, we'll talk. Oh I'll help God. you out with that. I see what Mark Ellis just put in the chat. That's never happening. <laughs> Me versus <laughs> Lee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me versus Ed. <laughs> Like, I mean, he would maybe do it if it was an exhibition, but it would probably have to be Star Trek, I think. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Oh, yes. Yeah, oh, I got God. him into Star Trek when we first started dating. He'd only ever seen, like, maybe two or three episodes of TNG in his whole life. And then he recently, like, I'm actually in the middle of a Star Trek rewatch that is by Stardate, which is the stupidest, most nerdiest oh thing God. I've ever done in my Ooh. whole life. Ooh. That makes sense. Make... Nope, I like it. <laughs> I had to make a spreadsheet because... It's not, you have to like, I had to like Google like every single episode of every show. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and there is good. like a website that sort of has them, but it's a little bit off. So then I had to like fix their errors. I had to, go, oh my God, it's so That's amazing. amazing. <laughs> because it's like my a- pandemic, it's like my ongoing pandemic project. It's so <laughs> Oh my God. That is it. so cool. Because there's I like love a- Excel spreadsheets. I'm like addicted to Excel and it's, oh my God. Yes. So many, so me many spreadsheets. Sheets. Once it's yeah. complete, I'm going to post it. So you guys will see just how ridiculous. Spreadsheets are my crack. Yeah. Oh my I love God. Them. Like there's, a, there's a chronological rewatch of The Clone Wars. So, like, Ooh. this is piquing my interest right now. Yeah, but just my star <laughs> date, especially when you get into between, like, TNG, Deep Space Nine, and Voyager, when they're all on the air at the same time, it's the fucking madness. It's too much. <laughs> and then the TNG movies start coming out, and you're just like, Jesus Christ, it's so <laughs> That's where I started to lose my mind a little bit. <laughs> Uh, all right, we did get one Streamlabs and one Super Chat. Uh, right here, Logan Burton with the $50 donation. Thank you so much, oh, Logan. Logan. Uh, no question, Logan. just wanted to show my appreciation for this show and the amazing ladies of the Schmodown. I found the Schmodown this past year and wanted to thank this great community for being so welcoming and great. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, and then the, yeah, the Coyote <laughs> himself also stepping in, a round robin for the five competitors. There you go, he's got one for you guys. Mm. Oh, I would love to face the ladies. Like the ladies, a ladies of Schmodown like free for all would be awesome. Oh, oh my god! Oh, that'd be so good. oh fine. That would be so good. Could we get oh, could we get god. Rachel uh, Cushing and Clark to call that instead of Christian and and Mark? Yes. Oh, yes. 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 Ever. It would yeah, take that like would be nineteen great, hours because yeah. we would all just evolve into stories and it'd be fantastic. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I but think somebody has real. to answer that. To answer oh, uh, Adam's question, I think it's pretty clear that Eva Uge- Janaya Doubtfire would absolutely destroy. 100%. I, yeah, think, exactly. I think. I you think. Never, you never bet against Robin Williams. Are you fucking stupid? No. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> He's in a dress and pantyhose. Yeah, you definitely mm-hmm. don't yeah. bet against him. All right. All right. <laughs> I will say definitely one thing don't. that I've kind of always had in the back of my mind that I would love to see is like, ap- like after each round, like a competitor has to eat like a hot wing or something, kind of like hot hot ones. like a hot just, ones. Yeah, just oh, kind of see if that. Oh, I volunteer. I love chicken wings. I so love. Much. Uh, I love spice. I've got you know. So yeah. just you know, yep. You know, throw it out a there. A schmodown <laughs> hot the wing crossover. <laughs> oh. Yes, please. Is that is that the next? Uh, Late ladies night, late night show that we're all gonna get together Uh-oh. to do with a hot Uh-oh. ones crossover. Uh-oh. Hot ones? Oh, 100%. Don't tell them with a good time. Uh-huh. I'll lose. I'll lose. Yeah, I, I, like, I, like, I don't do volume, but spice, I can do spice. No, no. I, I, I can do both. But I, like I can't both. Eat, like I can't mukbang, but I can spice it up. <laughs> I'll, I'll, the kids, I'll let Molly right? take over for that one. I'll just be the kids yeah. do the mukbangs. That's right. On the, on the, on the mukbang, yeah, mukbang. <laughs> You know what, Drew? Yeah. You, and I can, you and I can host, Molly can compete, and we'll just sit back and drink, like, at yes. that. Yes. <laughs> like the good old days. <laughs> I miss yeah, you so much. I, uh... I miss you so much. <laughs> um, um, well, to, to finish this off, I have, a, I have a fun question that came up earlier with another group that I figured might be fun for this specific group. Um, do you have an alcohol or non-alcoholic <laughs> beverage that screams your personality? <laughs> Ooh. Non or alcoholic, <laughs> up to you. Do 
Do I even need to answer at this point? Uh, Rachel's, is, Rachel's is Jameson. Uh, you're referring to my boyfriend, uh, Jameson. We've had some <laughs> rocky years, uh, but I love him nonetheless. Um, if I could get Jameson and Ginger together and have that three-way, that's me all the way. Uh -huh. <laughs> she, honest to God, she is the reason why my studio Jameson is a thing, is this mm -hmm. one right here. And thank it's God for that, because her fault. <laughs> Thank God you started bringing that because mine kept getting demolished every week and I was like, I can't afford to do this. I'm not making enough in the showdown to afford these handles of booze every week. Uh, I got you. Uh, Mark you know Ellis, Mark? You, I'm Mark coming was down clearly... for the line. I was going to bring you some brownies from mom, but you know. Oh. Ooh. oh. Mom, uh, Mark must not have been here when um, Beth May and Peggy and oh, shotgun their course. Shotgun like, shotgun their course, course. Like, course. Yeah. Mine's empty so. now, so shotgun over. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm drinking uh. beer now, but that's only because I made fish tacos yesterday. But I, oh. no, that's what I cook. I mean, I cook, but um, I love vodka, and vodka is who I am through and through. <laughs> I am, I am probably yes. about sixty-five percent vodka at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Have so you guys watched uh, Mayor of Easttown? Not yet. Not yeah, I've yet. seen the first Not episode. Yet. It's pretty Yeah, I watched so the first episode. Well, Gene Smart plays a lot of cards and drinks Manhattans, and that's oh, me. No. It's uh, Manhattans oh. and Jeopardy, mostly. Like, my, my faction mates will know. I'm like, I'm going to be late to our study sessions because I've got to watch my Jeopardy with my Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, I love that's that. Me. Jean Smart is one of the most underrated actresses of all time. I just want oh, to say she's that. brilliant. Oh. I, and I love that she's getting this little resurgence with HBO. Yeah. First oh, I know, I know. Now, if yeah. if yeah. I could I grow up and be a combination of Jean Smart and uh, Christine Bransky, like, honestly. Oh. Yeah. I was and like, then, yeah, and then, they're just like, and, HBO is in the Jean Smart business yeah. right now. <laughs> exactly. But then, but then, like, once I reach my 80s, I want to be a combination of Cloris Leachman and Betty White. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Like, okay. I need to make that progress. Like... I know. I have I have lofty dreams. Soon. <laughs> yeah. I want to be like when I'm that old. I want to be like Betty White and Cecily Tyson. Like I want to live to be that old. I want to have had all the tumultuous relationships, but also the like then in a steady one. So I've had the tumultuous ones. Now I'm in a steady one like Betty White was, but you know mm -hmm. Cecily Tyson dated Miles Davis and stuff. But I know that was not a good time. <laughs> So Betty White's out here like outing all the the closeted gays from from years and years ago. Yeah. She's yeah. like, I love her so you know much. what? She's like, they're all dead now. So okay. <laughs> <laughs> but now, but now I want their life stories reenacted with like Matt Bomer. Like that's all I want. Yeah. Now. yeah. <laughs> just, just give me all those. Just give me all those bio movies. Yes, exactly. Because Betty White's got all the tea, and she's like, I'm gonna die. So <laughs> all this doesn't matter. Betty White has all the tea. Uh, Taylor, Taylor, what is your, uh, what, what would your personality be? Drink alcohol so, Probably, I would probably have to go with a cider of some sort. And the reason yeah. I say that is because I only really drink socially. Um, so my drinking has fallen off a cliff over the last year or so, because there's been no social things happening, <laughs> which isn't a bad thing, except no. now if I drink anything, it just knocks me on my ass. Like, I have one cider, and I'm like, all right, kids, time for bed. I can't, I can't, I can't do this. So that's me, I think, summed up at the moment. Why do you think my bed is right there? <laughs> Rachel just leans back. I'm like, I'm like this far away from just like moving my laptop and being like, okay, so let's talk yep. about this. <laughs> Uh, Mar Marisol, I think I may know what yours is. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. there you go. Uh, <laughs> hey, Brandy knows that's, what's up. That's why you and Sean get along so well. <laughs> <laughs> we just like sipping some whiskey. Um, yeah. I do. I am. That is my go-to. I am. I am. I'm straightforward. I just love sipping whiskey. I. I that is my go-to. Um, I used to be a Jack Daniels. I don't person, think I know this. So I get it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I knew well, this about her. I, I, um, I, I mean, I've, I've gone through, I, I'm, I'm, um, you know, I'm an equal opportunity alcoholic. So I have, <laughs> I've, I've, I've like over the years, I've just dabbled in I everything. Need that on, I need that I, <laughs> no, 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 you're not an alcoholic. Alcoholics go to meetings. You're a drunk like the rest of us. <laughs> All right. The, the, the accepted euf euphemism is 
equal opportunity alcoholic. Okay. Um, I, over the years, <laughs> over the years, I've, I've dabbled with all of it. Like, you know, like and in college, I was just like, I was just like, ever clear in Hawaiian punch. But trash oh, <laughs> 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 can punch. <laughs> but, but um um yeah at this point I've kind of settled out into just like like straight whiskey. That's my bag. Um but uh when I go out and I try to be like like sophisticated, sophisticated. um uh, <laughs> I <laughs> I do <laughs> um uh, one of my favorite drinks that I learned from one of one of the jobs I had um, serving a couple of years ago was just um, I learned something that kind of straddled the line between my love for movies and a love for drinks, and I it just became my obsession, which is called the Godfather, which is is it's um it's um blended scotch. Um, I think the recipe, honestly, the recipe is out of control. The recipe is honestly like half blended scotch, half amaretto. Um, mm. which is just like, ooh, like it's too much amaretto. That's too much amaretto. Um, no, that's too much for me. Everybody, everybody's their own person. Everybody's beautiful. Um, but, um, I, it's too much for me. So I tweak it and I do mostly scotch. Um, and I put like a splash of amaretto just to, just, just to, just, just kind of like sweeten just it up. Just kind of make it, yeah, just, just kind of sweeten up, <laughs> throw a couple, throw a couple rocks in there. Um, um, and that is just like, the chef's kiss and it makes me feel like Marlon Brando and um <laughs> and uh, and, talking like this though <laughs> <laughs> so that I think encompasses my 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 uh drink and 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 passion profile as in a cocktail and a drink godfather oh, I get it well, when you come to LA we're gonna take you to black market liquor that's what we're yeah. gonna do oh, oh that's that's awesome. Awesome. That's it's the awesome. Antonio LaFosso, one of my favorite celebrity shows. Okay. I love Antonio LaFosso. <laughs> I love her. I loved her on her original season of Top Chef. I okay, love so, all okay. Stars. so total total sidebar. I've 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 never I watch all those cooking shows. I've never watched Top Chef in my life. <gasps> And Girl. so, like my friends were like, "How have you not watched Top Chef?" So I'm watching all of Top Chef because it's all like Luke. I'm like, I know all these yeah. people. I know Antonia. Yes. I know him. Like, I know her. Top Chef, top chef uh, breaks people. <laughs> Love Top Chef. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Anyway. Here you go with Mark. Never <laughs> 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 oh. leave the cannoli. Just take the board. <laughs> That was a cool missing from my danger zone match. I was, I was, I was listening for that, and then they, then they said. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, we do have one last Streamlabs before we, uh, before we start to head out here. This is from the lovely Brandy with a twenty-five dollar donation, and I will say this: uh, while everyone is here, that puts us over the six hundred dollar mark tonight for donations. Wow! Uh, that is all going awesome. to the Trevor Project. Thank you to everyone who has donated, and she simply says, "No question." Just love for the ladies and love for the view crew for celebrating them. Um, that is a, a great way to end it as our final group. Uh, you, you five are incredible. I'm so happy that it was you five to end the stream. It was an absolute blast getting to talk to both Claudia and Cleve for the first time as well. Um, thank you all for coming on and, and you know your dedication to this league, this community, your involvement. It's greatly appreciated from fans, but also from us as part of the after show community as well. The work shows. Um, I know it's hard behind the scenes, but it, it definitely shows, and we cannot thank you guys enough. So, thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having us. Thank Thank you. Us. Well, Support so ladies. Clee, 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 and Sabrina's match is coming up. All right. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. It is coming. It's, it's it coming, is coming up real soon. Yeah. Yeah. If, um, I'm sure yeah, it's going to be a great excited. one. Support ladies. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> you, you five have a great night. Taylor, have a great day. Because. <laughs> Um, and thank you. Say hello to tomorrow on. for us. <laughs> I will. Uh, th thank you. Uh, thank, you again, thank you again, ladies, for coming on. Talk soon. Thank, thank you, thank you so much. Bye. Bye. Love you. Bye. 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 Um, so, side note, really quick. Um, uh, uh, Mark, I, w w what did I make you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. Good to know. I saw that well, and I was like, what did I do? Good I don't to know. know what I made. Don't, don't drink. Jill's drinks. You're no. going to get knocked on your ass. <laughs> and Molly. Well, then definitely um... don't meet, drink mine. <laughs> yeah. Don't drink Molly's. <laughs> I was well, going to say, I, mean, I, I didn't talk about my liquor, but it, it has to be tequila, right? Oh, yes, yeah. it does that's, have to that's be That's a Molly tequila. drink, clearly. So. Yeah, I mean, I, I really like salty foods, and that's a drink that you can just eat straight salt with. So, yes, give me all the salt and the tequila 
<laughs> at the same time. Oh, Lord. Uh, well, yeah. I want to say before everyone yeah. starts to kind of head out, uh, this has been an incredible four hours. Uh, this has been awesome. Uh, all, all the incredible women who have come on this show and stopped by and hung out, whether it's Schmodown or non Schmodown, we had a lot of fun tonight. Not just Schmodown, kind of got to see uh, different sides. A lot of the ladies that you see in character, part of factions during these matches. Uh, and we just wanted to put them in the forefront and give them a chance for those who don't see them quite often. Like, you know, th there's not times that you see Klee and Claudia on screen a lot, right? And a lot of these other women. So I'm, I'm very happy that they were able to come on and kind of get a, a spotlight on them. And it, it was a total blast. Doing with you four or you three was a total blast. So I do, I do want to say, I want to say that I feel like the shift between, thank you, Mark Ellis, everybody, the uh, absolute treasure <laughs> that Mark Ellis is. Um, but I, I want to say that I, I could definitely feel a shift in kind of attitude between uh, our first ladies night and this one. Cause like our first ladies night, it, there was, a, there was a lot of work that had to happen, you know, in the, in the community. And I feel like we're, we've definitely grown a lot since then. And you can tell from the ladies we had on this show tonight, we were having a good time. We were having fun. Everyone's super positive. And what, and but like like Rachel said in her video, it, it still happens to this day, you know, and we still need to call out those people and and I but I feel like a lot really has changed um, in the past year and it's it's incredible to see and it's really inspiring. We've gotten so many more amazing strong women in this community, competitors, not competitors behind the scenes, fans and it's it's grown so much just in this year alone and I'm excited to see uh, what uh, Ladies Appreciation Night Part Two. Uh, part we'll part Three is going to be crazy <laughs> next year. That, that's gonna be nuts next year. We just need to start that one at like 9 a.m. Yeah, start with mimosas. That might just be a straight happy hour theme. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's just great. Uh, no, Jake, you and I that. don't need to be there for that one. <laughs> I mean, if it's if it's anything like I'm expecting, I don't know if I want to be there for that. Yeah, one. I'm, I'm, Monday morning for work might be awful. Oh, I'm gonna take that awful. Monday off. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe we have to do it on Saturday next year. Maybe because <laughs> it's gonna go into Sunday. Yeah. Um, but yeah, to, to again to everyone who donated, I mean, we raised over six hundred dollars for the Trevor Project. Everybody. Dude. Um, absolutely That's incredible. Amazing. Uh, and you know, just a little behind the scenes stuff, uh, because we were kind of just putting stuff together very quickly with, uh, some small cancellations right up the go. We decided on the exact charity to do so like a couple hours before the show. And now we get to put that money towards that charity. Um, and we cannot be happy enough for, for that. But I know that there's also a number of women that we did not have the show. Uh, there were a couple late cancellations as well. Uh, we did reach out to everybody. Time just didn't work out for everybody, but Jill does have a list that she wants to read off real quick to make sure that they are mentioned with the show. Yeah, of course. Let me hold on. I, I don't want to. If I'm forgetting anyone, I apologize. But I think I'm sure the chat will correct this. The chat will, but I think I think I I cut. I'm pretty one. sure I we have wanna, them all. Pretty sure. I just want to, of course, um, shout out to the OG women in this division: Rachel Cushing, Clark Wolf. Emma Fife, Brianne Chandler. Yeah. Um, Y'all paved the way for us and we thank you so, so much. Um, Grace Hancock, uh, Janine, the machine. We saw a lovely video from her. Sabrina Ramirez, Abby Friel, Steph Sabra, Laura Kelly, Kim Taylor Foster, Jen Sturger, uh, Megan Sanborn, who works backstage for Schmodown, uh, Perry Nemiroff, Lacey Gillerin, Brittany Young. There's so many amazing women we have. Abby Friel. Abby, I, I said Abby for you. Oh, did we? Oh, no. I, Abby. I want to say it again. Abby. I want to say it again. <laughs> we, love, we, we talked about Abby a lot on the show today and we love her dearly. And there's so many spectacular women in this space behind the scenes in front of the camera. Like, like even when um, Kim came on with Courtney, the manager's like, this is the first time I'm meeting Kim. And it's, yep. uh, there's so many people backstage who make this show what it is and you've paved the way for so many people so many competitors so many fans like i said if it if it weren't for the prominent female competitors in this league i don't know if i would have continued watching to be honest and so many and i'm sure i'm not the only fan who has said that um they really paved the way for a lot of people and i the women we had on the show today the women who couldn't be here i speaking for myself and i'm sure a lot of other people i can't 
thank you enough. And uh, whenever I see you guys in person, many hugs will be shared. Um, and just, just thank you. Thank you for all that you do for us. Absolutely. This, this league is nothing without you at all. Mm -hmm. So it's, it makes the league. Uh, all right. Any final words before we uh, head out guys? <sighs> I think we go out playing that. Uh, I think video. we do. I think so. Ooh. I think we do. I think so. All right. Call. For one more time, uh, the great nerd chronic stepping up as usual. Here is the ladies of the Schmodown. Thank you to everyone who's been watching, commenting, all of our guests, and enjoy this incredible tribute. Have a good night, everybody. You know, oh, there should be a women's league. There's no women's league. Yeah. There's no women's league. We are the league. We're in the league, and we're the winners right now. I am from my future, never knew what I was meant for. Scared to take a step, because if I left it, it would mean more. If I go to battle, will I make it back? And if I never do, will I wish I had? I'm, I'm proud of it. I'm proud that we're both two amazing women, but today and the skill on display today has nothing to do with the fact that we're women. These are just two elite competitors playing today and going to the wire, period.